Alright, and I think we are live. Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, one thing I want to just quickly establish is that this is Immortal Empires and not the Realms of Chaos campaign, which could cause a fair bit of confusion, so if you're wondering why this might look different and if you're new to the game, that's probably why. This is the big map and uh, this is my first time playing Kislev in Immortal Empires. It's going to be on Legendary, I have not done any test runs or anything to that effect here, so this could go disastrously bad, and I thought, you know what, I could just decide to flex and just do a, a couple of run-throughs and find the optimal route, or I could humiliate myself in front of my audience, which always tends to be entertaining for everyone involved. I tend to enjoy the challenge, and I tend to push through a few things I'd probably not do otherwise, so... I, uh, I do appreciate that, so yeah, we're going to do that, and I'm just throwing the link in my Discord. Discord is free, uh, if you'd like to join that, that's a completely free community. If you'd like some other perks, Patreon is the place to go. Uh, and there we go. Sorry. Sorry guys, at everyone. Alright, so going as Katarin, we're playing very hard. Legendary, of course. Let's get into it. So, from what I've understood of the map here, I've only, of course, had a bit of limited dealings with this corner of the map so far. Most of my experience has been with Elven Factions, so I've been mainly playing on the uh, western side of the map. So, the east, I've got to admit, a bit new, bit, bit newbie to, to the, that area, certainly on the harder levels of difficulty, but we will see just how quickly we get humbled, see just how quickly it all falls apart on us, but that's half of the fun, isn't it? So... We'll see <laughs> see just how humbled we become out of all of this. Hey, Brennis, how you doing, mate? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you're doing well. Oh, a couple of people in there already. Thanks, guys. I uh, hope everyone's doing good. A few people jumping in. Thank you so much for jumping in. This uh, Well, over here it's Friday. I think it might be Thursday in <laughs> probably more parts of the world than not. Okay, let's kick this off. So, I've actually got no clue. This is a brand new campaign and a few All people... The stands behind me. They sure do. So, uh, some people like to see just the 20 minute guides where I've worked it all out. Other people want to see me work it out. So this is... You're going to see a complete green run through. Now the, quest, the truth is, would I start off on Legendary? If it's a faction I know really well and a faction I love, I probably would. This is one I probably would. Because I'd probably get through a few turns and just go, why? Am I not on the harder difficulty and jump in? So let's build ourselves a stall. Knock down the barracks because the barracks is for Kislev are only really worth it if you can get up to uh, tier 2. So we don't need that yet. And we have a battle, but I've not played as Kislev for ages. Oh my god, a mammoth. Holy shit, what a first fight. God damn. Holy shit, uh, what a way to start. Um, yay, video games. I like video games. Well, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got another chat in here. My chat on this app just never loads properly. Let's see if it works a bit better on this side. Okay, so... F I've got a question here. Let me just pull it over. Sorry, guys. I am the world's most useless live streamer, I'm sorry. Getting better at it. Just new, right? Just new. Uh, so first Katarin or first time doing something weird? Uh, first of all, welcome to stream, science. Um, first time playing Katarin in Immortal Empires. Uh, I've got to, I think, the third Realm of Chaos twice in a row and it bugged out. So for those that don't know, the Realms of Chaos campaign was one of uh, CA's infamous rocky starts. And with it, it was very, very, very difficult to complete a campaign because it was riddled with bugs, riddled with issues, and I got to the Realm of Slaanesh twice in a row, and it just fucking died on me. I could not proceed anymore, the game would lock up. For those that know how long that takes, can understand how infuriating that is. I'm actually going to get her to start ahead, see if we can drop a few spells. 
and see if we can harass these guys. So we're going to hotkey these guys two separate numbers. Let's throw our leopard. It's, this thing can't skirmish. No. Nah. Okay. We're going to peel back here and give ourselves a bit more room to work. Yeah, we're going in the corner here, guys, but not quite. See, we've got a natural piece of terrain here that we can use. Alright, so what we want to do is separate this army up. Ooh, okay, so what's the, the speed on these guys? They have a speed of 90, we have a speed of 84. So we've got to be careful we don't get kited away here, but hopefully we can tempt them back to our ranks here. So, don't forget your main formation. We're just going to send him on a bit of a waypoint there to attract some attention. Alright, so we need nice big spaces. Why is that? Because we have mammoths and they will just mow through these guys. They are big burly cossars. So, they're good infantry, but that'll only do so much when you've got a freaking mammoth kicking your ass. Uh, we've got naval warfare. The mammoth is definitely surprised. Welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, Turi, hello there. Welcome. Oh, sorry, Turkey. Uh, welcome as well. Uh, where are we? It's, <laughs> it's fun and pain complain, 100%. Yes! Okay. Okay, the good thing is, let's just tilt these guys this way. These guys are surely coming out soon. Now, I'm actually going to slow everyone else but the Mammoth, right? I want this Mammoth to come in. I need him to come in first. Okay, guys. Fire. Okay, the Armored Cossars have guns, so we can't really rely on them. Come on, just break them. We just need them to shatter. This will slow them. Okay, come on. One more volley. One more volley. Everyone focus. Focus down. Yep. This is exactly what we wanted. Take down their biggest threat first before it can do anything really serious to us. And because it's high, watch this. Because it's a big creature, the gunfire won't be inhibited by our own troops. So, great spot. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, Ice Sheet, slow them down just a bit more. Okay, for those that don't know, Ice Sheet is like the signature spell for Kislev. In my mind, it is just such a good spell. Katarin, we need you to run a forward and just tank just a little bit. It's not ideal how we're tanking with our cavalry. Okay, it's shattered. Yep, yeah, you know what, fuck it. Let's not try to be heroes here. Okay, the cavalry are getting their asses kicked, but that's okay. I don't want them to completely get wiped, so... Okay, she's not going to win that fight. Oh, come on, sweetie. Get out. Get out. Get out. Just trying to panic cast before she uh, runs off the map. Okay, it looks like his army losses have, uh, have hit. Good. Okay, now, of course, we need to turn guard mode off. Sorry, guys. I'll be with the chat in just a moment. It's a bit of a tricky fight. Could have done that better. So what could we have done better? We didn't really use our cavalry and get those charges in. But that's fine. All right, we'll just get him to chew these uh, infantry up, because we'll get a second fight out of this, no doubt. Uh, okay, looking at the chat, we've got just the size of our shoes is incredible. Hey, Kanako, how you doing, man? Can Katarin, Katarin get it down to literally one wins of magic cost two? I believe she can, Noble. I reckon she can get it down to, I think, at least two. Um, but it is just such a good spell. Um, I think when assessing with like certain schools of magic. There is usually, despite all of them, there's usually one or two which just synergize so well with the game plan. And these schools of magic, they would be crap with so many t uh, different factions, right? But with the fact that you're trying to keep everyone boxed in with your cavalry 
and then just under straight lines of fire. This is exactly what wind, uh, sorry, ice and tempest magic do well, which is why they're so good in my mind. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, everyone else has jumped in. Appreciate your company on this fine Friday or Thursday. Now, hopefully I didn't lose my cavalry. That'll really fucking make me sad. God damn. Just die. Come on. I think the cavalry probably will have died. That upsets me because I love the winged lances. Okay. I think the new rule, I don't know if it's the same rules it used to be, but I think if they run off the battlefield and they've got less than 10% health, they just die, which is kind of annoying. I should have pulled them out earlier, that was a bit silly. I could have used, I should have used Katarin and the, um, this guy to be the anvil and got the, uh, horses and just run them around the side. <laughs> Doing well, appreciate you applying the star power to bump up your uploads. No worries, man. <laughs> anytime, anytime, my friend. Cool, cool. Um, <laughs> I like video games. Yeah, video games. You heard it first here, folks. Thanks, mate. And uh, hopefully no one minds me playing uh, kids. Yes! They lived, guys. They lived. I'm so stoked. So we could get... Do we really need the money? Or do we need the troops? You see, I'm worried if we can't pull it off later. We've got no other way to replenish yet, so I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so he did die. This could be tricky, but we're going to do it. What is more important? You want that? Do they have a lord in this? Do they have a character guarding it? They don't have any characters. They do have some heavily armored troops. That could be problematic. So what I'll do is I'll get death fog just to deal with them. It is mine. And we're going for it. Yep. Okay, so let's have a read. 10% numbers, not 10% HP, though usually one and the same. Oh, thanks, Brenners. Okay, uh, Naval, when they... Uh, maybe if they shatter, then they're dead. Never really paid too much attention to it. Uh, the idea is, is that when... If, you, if you're in a crew of your really good friends and your mercenaries, or you just... You, do you know what I mean? Everyone's got their subgroups of people and all your mates get slaughtered and just say there's like a civil war, you probably not going to fight for this person again. It's like, they've had so many losses. They're just like, fuck this. We're not going back. Last time you led us, you got, you killed Jimmy. We lost Toby. You know, they're, they're all dead because of your shitty leadership. You'll make a shit house king. Or queen in this case. Okay. Now this is actually a really terrible army to besiege with because we mostly have gunfire. And limited arrows, but guess what guys, we are versing Norska, which in my opinion are the weakest faction against um, arrows in the entire game. If you are any faction with any range capability, early Norska are just like asking for it. Like, I, I feel bad. <laughs> if this was an open battle, I would feel bad. I'd pity Norska in, in the early stages. Well, in this case, let's just go up and um, we're going to win this by army losses, and I can see some really easy opportunities there. Right. More importantly, these opportunities we can use our gunfire. Move around. Right. Just a bit more. Be patient. Okay, cool. And do you think you're going somewhere? No, you're not. Come on, guys. Move up. This is why this was going to be a bit tricky. 
Cool, okay, we've got goaded them to come in. So for those that are new to Kislev, you've got your armored Cossars, which of course have armor, but they've also got a, uh, a small hand cannon as well. So it's not huge amounts of AP. It's not like a... But 7 armor piercing damage, given that your standard arrows probably have like 4 maybe, that's... It makes a difference. In context though, it's being used on units that don't have a lot of armor to start with, so you kind of, it's enough to punch through what they do have in these early stages. Let's bring this uh, little pussy cat up here. Okay. Let's focus. Ice sheets. Yep. Oh fuck, it didn't click. No! So you can hold alt and it makes it easier to, um, to aim these things. Increases cooldowns. Oh, all right. For the motherland. I go. So we're trying to avoid losses here. I know we're kind of eating some arrow fire, but we just want to win this through army losses. Shatter, shatter, shatter. Come on. As soon as they shatter, we we're just going to stop shooting at them. I'll even give the order for them to stop. But they're not interested. Okay. Instead, I'll just make them move up. Okay, so let's make a new formation. Up here. Arrows behind there. Cossars up here. And arrows behind them. Can this do enough damage? I should have rebanded off the... Oh, will it reband? No. Up. It's kind of funny how janky this is when you don't have any um, actual archers to shoot over. Over the top, come on. One more volley, come on, break. Now, you might be wondering why am I not taking down the towers. The reason is ammo is too precious, right? Shooting down the towers won't win the fight. And if we run out of ammo, having to fight them in melee... The good thing is, it's, it's refreshing being these big burly uh, Cossars, because if you run out of ammo, you can actually do pretty well in melee. It's not like it's not like elves where you lose so much of your punch once you've, you've lost that. Okay. Pull back, pull back. Nice, got a re rebound in there, good. Focus down. Going for a quick shatter. Okay. Does save the Zard mean you're trying to keep Boris alive? Yes, it does. Uh, so, my goal is if I can't save him, I'm going to go up and try and resurrect him uh, as soon as feasible. But my actual first goal is I'm going to try and secure the south. Um, I'm really really concerned about Clan Mulder. So this looks like a fucking hard campaign, by the way. I've not made that clear, probably, from the start. This looks just as rough as Realms of Chaos, although I haven't played it since Valkyr was in there. One of our Discord members, um, apologies, I can't remember who, was saying, the introduction of Valkyr has actually really thrown a spanner in the works to my guide of how to um, get through those early turns quite easily. And I can understand why, because... I encourage the player to go up and try to clear the north, but then what you're doing is you're actually making Valkyr have less resistance to go through. So maybe the new the new optimal route, actually you go go after them, take guard mode off. So this is the advantage of having cavalry in these units, is that especially in sieges, right? While they're running away, we can make them shatter and just remove them from the fight completely. What are you doing, mate? Uh, where are the archers? Can I get that into this? You don't have enough health though, it's troubling me a little bit. Ooh, 
Come on, finish him off, finish him off. So I would love to take out Boris, uh, sorry, to be able to go out and rescue him, but it all depends. It might take a fair bit of gold to win him over. You don't get to confederate him like this in the original campaign, so I don't even know what he's like to deal with. All that leave us with, leave us to six overall. I'd say this will win the fight if we can land that. Oh fuck, she's still taking arrow damage. What the fuck? Why is this guy down here? Oh shit, he's still getting shot. Come on, come on. What happened? Right. Woo! Didn't realize he was getting shot there, jeez. Um, I will say I find the early supporter race much tighter in Immortal Empires without all the free devotion from the missions. Uh, okay. Uh, tackle, got to build church to the support. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, we're going to have to, so maybe we'll have to prioritize. The, the economy doesn't seem so bad. I don't know why that might be. We're only rocking one army and it's very small right now, but... I feel like we're not doing as rough on the economy to start off with, but we're going to have to build another stack, like, I reckon turn five. <laughs> the church just costs prayers. Exactly, we need faith. We need faith to keep this uh, gravy train going. Ah, oh, you fuckers! Got rid of my lances. God damn it, that's so annoying. The ah, oh, it breaks my heart. I love winged lances as well, and there's I, I can't justify building them, so that's why I'm so upset that I lost those ones. Okay, what can you do? I was thinking about getting, um, using one of these, but I really can't afford a revolt at this point. One left. But we can. Where are we? Where's the the mother lance up here? That's right. So we can take them down 50 supporters so when he gets up to like the 40 so that's kind of my plan is I'm going to try and use money and just uh, buy buy him off to stop him getting to that first supporter milestone getting that first one I recall being really really useful now do we need money or do we need oh, it's tough to decide so what have we got Let's have a look at the lay of the land. So this looks like our first province. That's quite easily done. We have a gold mine there, which is really good. A timely arrival. Okay. Keep out or we'll eat ya. That might be tempting to get because I'm uh, Ungram's down here. We have Ungram down here, and we've got uh, what's his face? We've got the Hell Pit around here. I'm pretty sure the Hell Pit will probably either clear out them or them first. I, then he'll probably go for them or us, depending depending what happens. Okay. Oh, we could get... That's why we, the economy is so bad, they have to outlay so much money to get like absolutely nothing back. I think it's worth it worth a go. Fuck it, let's do it. Gotta have faith we can hold things. Ah uh, wait, no 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 no. We need that. My rule grows absolute. Okay. I think we need a ice maiden first of all. Tour of the uh, motherland. Salyax, that's that's the one that I like. Salyak. Use this wisely, my people. We could go for that one instead. We'll see. Let's do so, some trade. It is time. Okay, they're probably all toasted, yes. all minor factions. <sighs> the ice Don't like my goes. odds here, guys. <laughs> Mr. Franz. The Empire. You're pretty neutral at the moment. 
Okay, so who is really against us? Who's anti-Kislev? Oh, minus 70. So these guys. Um, can we join any of their wars? So that's the Robesman clan. Soon you will face the fist of Kislev. If they attack us at the same time, we can't afford that war, right? So this tribe is probably a minor faction. I'm actually willing to join this fight in the hopes that I never have to fight it. I know I usually talk against taking people's money, but we can give them money if they need it. Why that? One rug. Cool. This action does right not have there, my and just checking. So the Empire, they all like us across here. Well, they like the Empire at least. No shit. Um, so once we clear here, so basically getting the southern border friendly with the Empire and the Dwarfs is the first priority. After that, we can move forward. Let's get some control. And we'll end the turn. Alright, so... Robeson will not attack you. Oh, really? That's good to know. I wish I'd known that before I started another war. <laughs> oh, well. Nah, <laughs> you got got to have faith in your head. Okay, Mortal Empires with Katarin is hard. Don't even start with a hero. Yeah, you don't. Do, do you not actually get that... Frost Maiden hero straight away. God damn, so sh catching up on the chat. So the rights are not worth it early game. Should recruit another lord at Kislev for recruiting. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll consider getting another lord pretty soon then. The gold mine is in Azag starting province, just heads up. Okay, uh, Azag is uh, right about here if I remember right. Cool. There it is, yep. Alright, okay, cool. We, we can work with this. Cheers the heads up. So I think we need to build a, a second stack sooner than later. Let's continue the trip down here. So we're going to take a step to here. 50% movement. Because we've got bitter cold here to Move. contend with. Pop into encamp stance. May as well shuffle forward as close as we can. And get another two Cossars. Okay, they're still strong. They're not going to attack us. They're not going to attack us. I'll raise another army when I see a threat. Something that breaks through there, that's when I'll, that'll be the mark we make another army. I just don't want to bankrupt ourselves and get too poor too quickly. And here we can get... What do we want? Do we want a tradable? What do you reckon, chat? Should we go growth or trade? That would really speed things up. Actually, uh, we'll go growth. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the ass. We'll go growth. Did I build two Cossars? Did I remember to build Cossars? I better fucking... Won't be that long until you're just reading Super Chats. Uh, we're well, well way off that, man. It's actually... That's the hardest part of streaming, actually. It's part, like... It, blessed to have it as an issue, but I uh, find the hardest thing is to not um, make mistakes. As well as actually treat your chat with respect. It's with it enough attention, so... Much. That's... That's the tricky part. Jeez. Okay, cool. So I did remember to hire the troops. The Will this be a hard battle is the question. You've got 10 troops in there. You've got... Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in there. So 17 versus 11. Should have been more because I lost my fucking forces. That's a hard fight. That is a straight up hard fight. I kind of wish I had listened before and just hired some more troops at Kislev. That would be the optimal play. None shall question me. Okay. I decide. Oh, fuck. Wow. What is with these armies? God damn, this is a tough start. Kaneko, what's your current favorite band? Oof. Oh, that is, that is, uh, difficult to answer, actually. So much. I had a bit of Metallica renaissance because of, uh, Stranger Things with, uh, Master of Puppets. I had a blast in the past and listened to that. So, I guess that's the, uh, for those, uh, anyone that follows Stranger Things, had a bit of a dip in Season 3. Season 4 was really good if you're into that sort of thing. So highly recommend. Second growth. 
that they have another mammoth. God damn, okay, Nabel, you are all over this, my friend. If I'd listened to you last turn, we would have had two more full units of Cossars, and we'd be doing a shitload better. Man, I already want to restart this, eh? Growth and kids love churches, money, mirror settlements, that's how you do it. Yep. Yep. 100%. Yeah, Master is all, all time in in the uh, GOAT contention, I would say. Hey Hobbs, how you doing mate? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, this campaign is going balls up. I already am at the point where I'm like, fuck, I want to restart it because I've got the first three moves already dialed and it would make it so much easier. But we'll see if we can do this. I don't know if this fight's possible, to be honest. It probably is. I, and we could maybe cheese it with... <laughs> Actually, guys, we could possibly cheese it with our uh, leopard. Do these things have stalk? It's got hide. No, nah, it doesn't have stalk. Although, if we can sneaky hide him in the trees here. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I doubt this will amount to anything, but this will be absolutely hilarious if we can pull this off. The other thing is, watch. you guys want to watch me botch something, right? I will control A to select everyone and bring everyone, including that little leopard, to here. And that leopard's going to run straight through the entire settlement and regret ever being born. Alright, so we're going to go barcode formation here because the path fighting in this game is garbage. Two, three. Where the fuck's this guy? There he is. Okay, cool. Let's uh, move up and see what comes of this. Katarin, you poor girl, you've been beat up pretty bad. I've not been good to you. Okay, well, good thing is, I think we'll be able to take this uh, mammoth out pretty much off the bat. Let's see if he's just going to... Calmly let us just set up. Not rushing. No nothing. I should have just let my uh Alright. Do I don't wanna waste my winds of magic on that? Yep. They die. Yeah, now we've got him. Come on. Come on, guns. Go, guns. Go, the guns. Yes. Well, so far, so good. Step one, going good. Do you guys really want to try this? Okay. Alright, you can try to run up my guns. There is a long historical line of success of that working. If you really want to try it. Okay, cool. So now we're going to put our barcodes over here and snipe out these trolls. Because what we've got to plan for you guys, we've got to plan for when we are out of ammo, okay? This is one of the vices of going against Norska is that our burly Cossars can tangle with most things, but Norskans actually will give us some trouble in Malay. Although, of the order type factions, other than dwarfs, these guys are... They're up there. They're up there. I have a lot of respect for Cossars. Okay. Okay, you guys. Man, there's so much to kill here. I've got no idea how the fuck I'm going to get get away with this. Plus, I'm kind of still warming back up with Kislev as well. There's usually a few fights of getting my ass kicked at the start. So where are we? You need a patriarch at the start. Yeah, it would really help. Yeah, man, tackle. This is going to be really, really tough. Yeah, brand new campaign just started. 
Yeah, 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 Hobbs, yeah, sorry, man, this is a brand new one. About to head to bed and he saw me live, gonna watch the stream for a bit. Thank you so much, man, appreciate that. Uh, it's optimal to put the commandment in Kids Lab and just recruit a ton of Cossars from there. Yes, yes, I get what you mean. Actually, I didn't consider using the commandment, man, that's a really good idea. That's a great idea, actually, I didn't even think of that. Good job. And you can get the growth building, which of course reduces further reduction of, um, of, uh, recruitment costs as well, so, yeah. Trying to get a really good uh, angled shot, but I can't get it. Okay. You guys moving up. You guys move up here. And you two move up there. Fast forward biting me in the ass just a little bit. And the Ice Maiden's Kiss is it's good on the battlefield, it's fucking crap in battle in in uh, settlement battles like this. Get this and we'll get some ricochet action. There we go. Alright, they're shattered. No point wasting ammo. Let's take these guys down. How the fuck are we gonna kill all these guys? Come on. Oh dear, alright, getting shot now, getting shot. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to pull this one off, guys. I think it's a bit too tight. Them. Oh, it's a terrible one. What a miss. Can the cat uh, go into break supplies? It probably can, but I just don't think it's going to do much. We'll, we'll, we'll see what it does. I think it's just going to get itself killed and it's going to work against us because late game, once this actually does get to a melee fight, it can actually do some good damage there. Y you know what I mean? It actually could go in and um, we'll see. Let's, let's just give it a go, you know? If you think all might be lost, sometimes just take try something new, right? So if you, even if you lose, you might have learned something. Come on. Where are these coming from? Where's where is this powered up from? Is that the one? Where's that one? Oh, why isn't it telling me which one it is? Oh, it's that one, man. That's so so out of the way. Oh. Okay. Let's pull it together. Oh, it's not worth it. Come on, another few more. Let's keep it moving. I don't think we're going to get it. No. That's unfortunate. 
keep moving. Sorry, I shouldn't keep her standing still. That's a terrible idea. Alright, focus these guys down now. It's closer than we think, though. bit more, a bit more in there would have done. Oh, fuck. Alright, so we've got the Cossars there. If we can just get them to line the wall there. I am really, really keen to just hit the fucking restart button. Because I reckon we can use the second army that we build there to actually start conquering in the opposite direction. <laughs> you need to keep your right flank in check. Yeah, thanks, man. Try to let Ungrim have the gold mine province uh, so he could actually survive. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. Oh no! Oh no, my uh, my little kitty cat's getting beat up. Alright, we need these guys to flank around. You're not doing anything, are you? Get around. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. That way. That way. That way. Oh no, I've got to get Katarin killed. No. No. I think my uh, little kitty cat's dead too. Oh, we've done all right. We've done all right, but it's not enough. We're not going to be able to take him down quick enough. I mean, on the plus side, if we bring them down here, we don't have too much shooting at us. Oh, you guys have ammo? I thought they were out of ammo. God damn, okay, I'm a bit tired, hey. What the fuck am I doing? Absolutely muffed that. I've got guys with arrows that I'm in melee already, jeez. What are we doing? What is this nonsense? attacking you oh man this is like the worst 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 like I said there's always a dog shit performance at the start but there's always one and only one so we're good after this so what do you guys reckon should we just there was only what two two easy battles at the start what do you reckon guys restart this or just quickly restart the campaign because I reckon we could actually find a really strong early start with our navels yeah, alright, let's just fucking start it over, guys. Let's... Let's give it another fucking crack from the start of the campaign. Because, I know what we're doing, so turn two. New campaign. Yep. As I hold goal, Maras, Sorry, Carl. I am ready. <laughs> hey, Kim, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, absolutely jackknifed, that. Absolute that fight was winnable, though. I will stand by that fight being winnable, but... I think the losses we would incur there would slow us down. Yeah, cheers guys. Thanks for the uh, support for the campaign reboot. Because the thing is, though, we could limp along, but this is what would happen. It would be frustrating because the next time we would have to sit and recruit to be able to take the next settlement. But at the same time, they are probably also recruiting, so it's just going to slow things right down. Second Lord and Kislev recruit. Yep, 100%. Uh, tackle and naval warfare, you guys are right on point. That is 100% the goal. So I think turn two, wait, so that was turn one we took that, turn two we recruited. So turn two is when we need to build the second lord and hire two more units. Could even do a turn one. Could technically do a turn one. 
You know what, fuck it, Let, let's go all out. Let, this time I'm gonna go absolutely nuts. Have I missed a super chat in there? Sorry? Oh yeah, Kaneko. Yeah, thanks so much man, appreciate the support. All the stands behind me. Yep, alright. By the way, who uh, who was it that recommended? Alright, let's just run in there. I, I'm going to... We could auto-resolve it, but let's not. This time, I'm going to get those... <laughs> get those winged Cossars, I'm going to like, keep them like sacred lamb. Keep them nice and safe. Do it turn one. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah, we're going all out recruitment, trying to get ourselves a nice beefy Cossar stack. You can never have too many Cossars. Well, un unless you're broke. Once you get broke, then then... <laughs> Total War it is, mate. <laughs> Keep that thing working. Yep, 100%. Uh, let's... I don't mind where we were last time. It was more of an execution thing. Okay. Cossars. We're going to rain some death on them. These guys. Okay, so. Yeah, come on. This is good. They're, we're, we're splitting up. We're splitting them up. Come on. Okay, cool. Uh, ice cheat. Slow down, baby. Stop shooting, I didn't tell you to stop shooting, guys. Yes, that's good, drop. Come on, do you want to shoot this guy? I think you do. Yeah, slow them down. Yeah, focus that way, I want them turning this way. Alright, we're playing good now, we're playing good. So you know what, just uh, stand, stand there. You guys are not acting very intelligently. I'm going to use our ice archers over here to slow these guys in particular. Oh no, I missed him. <laughs> Alright. Come on, kitty, get the fuck out. This is not working for you. Okay. Good, they're broken. Okay, take guard mode off there. Kitty cat, you can go after these guys. Charge. This should get close to breaking them, I think. There we go. Wasn't that a little bit better this time? Okay, everyone turned guard mode off. Oh shit, I turned it on with everyone. Turn it off, turn it off. Oh wait, actually, I need to wipe these guys. Okay, wow, well, he went down pretty fast this time. Yeah, he did. Cossack Spear is so much more effective than regular Cossars. So they'll help you kill those nasty mountains and trolls. I just can't get behind Cossar Spears. I find um, that, that my logic is this. I do agree that they are a better line holder unit, and I'm usually a massive advocate for spear based units. But here's the thing like, is 
well, what's their, uh, they don't have any special damage that they inflict. Oops, that's melee damage, right? But, they I think they deal more, do they deal more armor piercing? They don't have a spear, right? But, they deal pretty good damage for a melee unit regardless, right? But, the upkeep reduction that they have allows you to field more of these guys, and these guys will hold the line way better and way more consistently against anything else than the spears. So what I do is I save money by giving no spears to these guys, and I'll upgrade four of my Cossars to Armored Cossars, and that's the way I spread my costs. Um, it sounds like you've got a good system that works for you. Absolutely not refuting that at all. Um, if we can kill this guy, we'll get a little bit more cash. Love that extra money. Come on. They are struggling. <laughs> they are really struggling this time. Uh, welcome to the chat, anyone else that's uh, come in. Happy Friday. Come on. This guy has earned his freedom, but we can't have it. We can't have it. So, some brilliant ideas from the chat. This time around, we are going all out recruitment. We are getting massed, massed Cossars as soon as possible. Achieving this by the uh, Edict in Kislev itself, as well as the growth building, which will reduce as a base 10%, and that only gets better. That building also will reduce global recruitment, which is really good. These guys are a fantastic faction for hiring abroad. Come on. Yeah, we'll take the numbers. Send Let's take the numbers. Sarina Catherine of Kiss. Death fog. My rule grows absolute. And on the field we go, taking this settlement again, so... Pretty much the same as uh, this time, uh, as last time, sorry. If anyone has any other amazing ideas on how to quickly take this thing, I'm all ears. Try to ambush the next army works for you. That could work. So you're saying you uh, move up in ambush stance. I'm pretty sure that it's bitter cold out there, so unless you're in ambush stance, you'll take attrition. Interested to hear if you can get around that. Let's try this. Let's try these narrow corridors. If, see if this uh, works a bit differently. Doing the same fight again, we might as well try something just a little bit different. You can go one there, you two can go, say, around there. Alright. Quick and dirty. And they'll probably get shot at. But that's okay. Maybe a bit too close. Maybe a little bit too close. Actually, do, what, do, what do gun weapons work like in this uh, barcode formation? Do they do alright? How do you guys handle it? Not bad. Not bad. Maybe, maybe guns in, in barcode is, is the way to go as well. What the fuck are you doing? I did not ask you to do that. Get back. You're too keen, lads. Alright, let's uh, ice sheet this. Ooh, 
really unsure what you guys are going for here. It's just that shorter range that's actually hurting us. So the, the bullet weapons seem to be hitting okay. That's the, the fun thing. I don't know what... The thing is though, when I move the template, it keeps on wanting to move the archers up. This should give them a lot of opportunity. It looks like they're getting some good shots in. I'm pretty impressed with that. I always have been using like a long wide formation for them, thinking that it would work. You come back and your cavalry is still in good shape. Yep. Yes they are. We are doing much better this time. Are you guys just walking? They are just walking. Oh, that's a good one. Could have been a great one. Let's go. What happens if we aim though? If we give him a target? Yeah, it gets a bit pear shaped. They're coming back. Oops, don't come back. Like that. Say, I'm, I'm a fan of barcode formation with uh, with the armored cossars now, like well, with any short range handgun weapon, like in settlement battles. You won't see me ever use this on the battlefield, but I find barcode formations really, really help with the pathfinding. Um, otherwise, oh, I, I will whinge like an old woman <laughs> about the pathfinding in this game if I don't use it. It's just uh, just this sort of thing. You try to move things around, it's just so. Uh, Let's cast the death bolt. What, what's it? What's this actually even do? I forgot what it does. So it's not an armor-piercing one. But that's the only problem. They're so close to breaking. All right, cavalry. Let's just charge these guys in. They need to get some experience as well. So. The arrow is the only thing that's really going to hurt us. Let's keep her moving. Keep her moving. He's got his shield up the front in case they do return fire. So we're going to get these guys to attack and we'll see if there's still any experience. So what we're doing is watching the uh, kill count go up. If the experience goes up, 
which it is not, right? So sometimes you'll see that keep going up. And that's the case, you are still accruing experience. I don't know what the requirement is, but sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. Okay, chew these guys up. It mildly hurts. <laughs> Did you say barcode formation? Yeah, I call it barcode formation. It's um, Katarin not going uh, face tanking those uh, tower shots is going to help too. Yeah, she was... Yeah, I take a while to warm up I think, when I'm on stream. I think it's it's just practice, honestly. Like, the, the first few fights, you're trying to get that balance between your chat and, um, and uh, not playing like shit. <laughs> You get XP when you run down a broken unit uh, before the army losses. Yeah. Uh, after the army losses as well. Maybe it was a bug in Warhammer 2, but I definitely saw it happen sometimes. Um, but that would be the test I would do, is just hovering it over the XP marker, and if it keeps racking up, it's it's going good. If not, yeah. <laughs> hey, History Matters, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, no pointy ears. I know, I, know, I needed a, um... I needed a, a break from elves, I think. And, uh, some people were having trouble with this campaign, so I thought, you know what, My I like Kislev. Let's see how it's all going. Nice, we got a 10% ward save. So, yeah... Let's get a route marcher just in case. A gift Nothing worse than ever falling short gods. of your distance. Defy chaos. And this is the big change we're doing this time, guys. We are going to get the recruitment. It's hero recruitment 25%. We're going to get this one. So local recruitment uh, decrease as well as we increase our capacity. So I think 5% extra movement is pretty good. Yeah. I decide going for that. Only the most skilled may serve. We could, if we wanted to make a stack super, super quick, we could do that. But that's going a bit too far. I'm, I'm happy with this. They are one people. And we'll get that. We need to rush ourselves uh, an extra frost mage, uh, frost maiden, I should say. I do wonder, is it better to go down here? Because we could get the upgraded Saliax Lullaby, which I do like. Now nah, we can get the extra 5% campaign the movement there, that's Orthodox also good. Provides. And Kislev, we will also decrease our recruitment by another 20%, so... I forgot to do my diplomacy, fuck! <laughs> that's alright. Uh, 60 minutes in one turn. Gather had a few restarts. Yeah, we had one restart. Um, we got to a, a siege battle where I botched it, but it was definitely doable. Could definitely have done it. But at this point, I'd lost my horses in a previous fight, and it was just the whole thing would have been playing catch up. And yeah, we had some really great ideas in the chat as well, and I want to see them in action. <laughs> Which is better than most of the most managed. Well, this is the very first time I've played the campaign, oh, yeah. so technically the second. You guys have seen the first and the second. So before we go anywhere, let's see what that's going to cost us, and we'll work with that. One this turn, we can move to here 50%. Ambush stance. Might as well take another step in that direction. Cool. Alright, that's it. Let's have a look at diplomacy. So. Everyone seems pretty confident they're not going to declare war on me. Ready what if I give them a gift? A bloody demonstration of a boyer's power. I don't have a lot of money, that's the thing. If they fight us, we shall deal with it. Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll oh, that's a good trade agreement. God damn, that's a nice trade agreement. Uh, well, I don't have enough money to make it work. Well, how about... We take that. Mm -hmm. 
What's the gift back cost? Oh, it cost me a little bit too much. I would have gifted you that back, mate, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who called... Friends of the Lord Empire. France, Come. the honour is mine. There we go, the two heads of state shaking hands, seeing the bigger picture. So be it. Indeed. Who called? Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheathed blade? Now, I don't want to sign with this guy because he's fighting Angry Bush. Angry shrub over over there, so I'd rather keep my head down. We'll sign. He's naturally going to start liking us, right? So we'll sign that yes. trade deal when it becomes kind of a free course. endeavor for us. Cool. I'm happy with this so far. No one else we so. can sign. Frost Weaver. They'll probably get. Re oh man, see, they're already on their way out. They've already lost their first major battle. They are certainly not long for this world. Okay, this is like playing the Western Roman Empire in Attila. Dude, nothing is worse than playing Western Roman Empire in Attila. I would rather... I, when I did my Total War Attila, Western Roman Empire Guard, I, at that moment, I, I declared I've retired from Attila. Attila can go fuck itself. <laughs> Except, wait, the, the, the expansions are good. But the people that fucking go, Attila, you should play Total War Attila's ground campaign. No. Fuck off, that is a shithouse campaign. I don't know why so many people defend it. And my, here's my mark. Sorry, this is my only thing I rant about. It's total Attila sucks balls. Age of Al of Charlemagne is great. The Last Roman is great. I love that time period. The fall of the West, you've got so many amazing heavyweights of history in that moment. And the gameplay is just god-awful. Particularly for the Roman factions. But even for the Germanic Lord factions, it's just all. fucking tedious. And for the people that advocate for it, who's streaming it? F look online right now. Find me, find me one person Lord fucking streaming the it. Promise. They're not because the game is not fun. Rant done. It's just it, disingenuous fucking garbage to keep on defending that game. <laughs> so I feel so strongly about it because people go out and they buy the game. They get their ass kicked and it's not even fun getting your ass kicked. I'll get my ass kicked in this game for ages. Like, I did the, the, the Boris uh, Realms of Chaos. That was agony. But it was fun agony, you know. Getting kicked in the nuts can be fun. You know, it can be a good laugh. You know, all the boys can have a bit of a, a bit of a giggle at that, you know. There, there's fun pain and there's tedious pain. But, yeah. I recommend... Uh, you get either getting what you had or hard bankrolling Dracaena because they're dealing with Throt and Azazel from the word go. God damn, you are a bible of knowledge, Naval. Absolutely. Feel free to join the Discord, by the way, mate. And that goes to anyone here, guys. Um, there is a Patreon, but that's only if you do uh, want to support that way. The Discord is completely free. Ask anything. Throw your ideas up there. Take ideas. It's all a free idea exchange, so everyone's welcome. Tell us what you really think, yeah. That that's my only like really hardcore like <laughs> gripe is is Attila, to be honest. Most We may as well just hop over here and wait for uh, the good times to roll. This wasn't a bad entry point, really. It wasn't too bad and oh this is nicer. I do like this, this is nice. Nice open arcs. Let's give this a go. Okay, Zarina, up here. Elven rant armor. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that's that that's as uh, windy as I get. Actually, no, the windiest I got was when I had to do Realms of Chaos on Legendary. That was <laughs> that was that was just yeah. It's quite funny because with the way Realms of Chaos work, you're constantly reminded of going, I would be doing so well if I didn't have to go into these damn rifts. It, it's, it's amusing how it... The, it's got, always got this never-ending story of, I would, would be going good, but... There's always this but, and this reason why things don't quite go well. Uh, raise our... Uh, <laughs> A little, no, doppelganger. Cheers, man. 
You've had so many co-op campaigns, hard crash by now, you know most of the starts. Nicely done, man. Yeah, is, is anyone else having much luck with co-op campaigns? Um, at some point I wouldn't mind doing some... Uh, some multiplayer streams with some of the biggest streamers, but... I think if you have two people with two audiences, and you're having crashes, it's just... Uh, two lots of <laughs> really disappointed people. So... But I do do definitely want to do that. We should we should be looking to do more of that. Man, she shifts quite quickly, doesn't she? Alright, so we're just gonna have this guy a bit more slanted out this way. Because I don't want to get flanked on that side. Okay. That is not going to result in good use of ammo, so let's move up a bit more. Yeah, if they flank us, fuck them. We'll have these guys here. I wish this thing just had a bit more range, we could get some really good shots in, but it's just a bit short. There we go, this should be nice. This should be nice, this is gonna be- what's- what's going up there? I don't know what this is. Is that a bug, or is that- I can put them there? Is that new? Oh, that is new. That's kind of cool. That's cool. They've just patched us. If you hold spacebar now, guys, it'll actually come up with um, templates of where you can station your guys. And they can shoot really badly from there. And miss most of their shots. Hey. Reinforcements are here. Beautiful. Nice. I'm just going to number you guys. Give me number nine. Why not? Now, move your asses up here. Oh, shit! <laughs> what a surprise! Fuck! Mammoth out of nowhere. Gunfire for the win. Good stuff. doing. Lord of the oh, Zarina, are we <laughs> You needed more Cossars. Yes, yes, okay, fair enough. I will uh, learn my lessons somewhere. <laughs> I think you're right there, Naval, but guess what? We're going to build more Cossars. Alright, come back here. Come back, kitty. Keep shooting guys, keep shooting, and uh, that should be nice. Oh. Nice. Oh Raz is the old people talk for teas, misspelt it. I've never heard that word before. <laughs> but anyway, I'm from a different country as well, so maybe that's it. Dude, you should see, uh, what Australians do to the English language is fucking stupid. We have nicknames for things that make the word longer, right? You're like, a, a nickname is meant to be a shortening of a word. Like, instead of bottle shop, there'll be bottle o. Steve is Steve-o. Just add o's and e's on the ends of stuff for no reason. <laughs> it's hilarious. 
And the only reason I've ever found is we just do. It's just how we roll. Like the most you'll find is like some abbreviations like break even, like breakfast, we'll call brekkie. <laughs> So over here in Australia and go, you ready for brekkie? It's breakfast. Afternoon is Arvo. So we could even... I could actually, if I could be bothered with a micro, we could break these guys into several squads and just go around capturing stuff, but I just <laughs> I cannot be bothered with that. Okay. So... You guys are going to move up. You guys are going to barcode up about there, I think. That looks about nice. It's pretty nice. I'm shooting whatever, wherever. Let's do land enough damage to break this army. Wish you guys were there. If everyone's wondering why I didn't wait for the reinforcements, it's because I just... Having more towers to just mark, like wade through, I just don't think really is worth it. it. It might be. I need to do some testing on that because maybe that is better, but kind of marching through tower fire is really what kind of wrecks you over the long term battle. So, what we're doing here is even though these guys aren't shooting, they're using their shields to hold the front. Shit, what are you guys doing? Just go into squares and just shoot. Just one of these guys. Just one of you. Getting a bit low on ammo in this little squad here, but it's all right. For the motherland, it is my path. Armored crossers. Here we are. The Big Let our winged lancers get a few kills. Let them get killed a bit. All right, that charge is worn off. Let's pull back. guys doing. Alright, they cleared their first target. The rest of you, let's focus this down. Well, actually, you know what? Fuck, let's focus their bleeder down. Oh, not you, sorry. I just seen Katarin over the side of the map. Katarin, if we can drop their leader, I think we'll be able to end this battle. Okay, actually, Armored Cossars, pull back. Pull back, because I don't want them to be lost from this battle. Come on. Come on, Wing Lancers. Come on. Okay, how are you guys doing? Lord is nearly dead. Come on, drop. Okay. Okay, you guys are doing okay now. That's good. Okay. No, don't run off the map, you assholes. Do not run off. I need you. I need you in my life. Oh, fuck. That was bad. You guys. Alright. Of the bear. 
Go. He's down. Right, so if we can just, we want these shots in their back. If we can just get a better spot for you guys to stand, like that. Right. Come on, guys, pull your shit together. Getting close to Amulus is gone. Yes, there we are. Hooray! Alright. Let's just end it. Alright. Alright. Hey, um, Naval Warfare is off. Oh, so sorry, uh, Hobbs is falling asleep. Dude, have a good night. Thank you so much for jumping in. Sorry I missed your message. Okay, let's catch up on this. <laughs> I'm not edgy enough. <laughs> that's, that's a compliment. Nice. Okay, uh, Shazza, Kaza, yeah, the good examples, man. Good examples. I feel like micro and settlement battles can be <laughs> like naming in King Killer Chronicles. Yeah, it's hard, man. For a first noble, you're deciding between Pigeon Chest and Intolerable. <laughs> I guess we know what he's going to be doing with his life. Yeah. Just anything that doesn't do damage to your settlements on the, uh, on the campaign map, that's pretty much what you're after. Yes, you need some more influence. Hobbs, thank you so much for dropping by, though. And for everyone else that's uh, still with me, thank you. And we managed to save everyone. Occupy. The motherland grows. Sarina Catherine of Kiz. Now. It is tempting to get a church. Very tempting to get a church. Hey, Kava, how you doing? Welcome to the, to the stream. What does anyone else think? Anyone got any takes? Should we get go for the church or go for the? Oh, this guy can get campaign movement. Get that. No other may wield it. So I'll just level up, Katarin. They are one people. <laughs> Her reporting. So we can get that. That. I think discount ice sheet is always great. A gift from Kislev's great gods. Lord of the provinces. So let's have a read of this situation. These guys are definitely fallen. Let us so I'm actually going to take their money because they're fucked. There's no way they're living until next turn. But here's the deal. That's Clan Molder coming for them. Which means I think they're going to come for us. I think we're next on the chopping block, lads. So let's prepare. We need yet another... Ooh, campaign line of sight. I do like magical items. Sure, why not? My rule is Let's go for the fun one. Only the most skilled may serve. Cool. Now we could invoke one of these and we'll get some supporters. But I can't really afford to fight the Chaos that Armies up yet, so we're not going to do that yet. Keep the influence. Italian order correct. Ah, <laughs> nice. Aroma is good. Okay. The Tsarina. We need to start moving towards this uh, this race for supporters. He's already off the mark. Now, how are we going to work? Let's. We need to plan our diplomacy out now, guys, because otherwise we will be overrun. So, Clan Mulder is coming down south to us from here. I think we're next. I've got no way of being sure of that. But we have this settlement here. It's going to look pretty poorly defended. I can't see him not going for that. Because he's going to be down here. So his main army will be here. But he could maybe go for these guys. They'll get wiped out by the Great Orthodoxy. Never yield. Now, we could try to improve things with the Ropesman clan. We could try to do it. You sought to undermine my rule. Oh, that, that gift costs a lot, though. You will die. Your love does cost a lot, my friend. Not going to lie. 
I think he's got he's too busy. He's gonna be too busy to fight. Azag will come from the south as well. That is true. That is true. We need all the money we can get. Oh, this yeah. one, two, three, four. We're gonna be in the negatives next turn. My rule. My in a big sort of way. So we can reduce that. By putting everyone in her army. Six plus 14 would actually get us there. Okay, so that's what we need to do. So, combine that. Power is my right. My decision is law. There we go, and now we can afford some more Cossars. And Azazel from the northwest before too long. God damn, this is a fucking hard campaign, guys. Holy shit, we're getting in trouble. So we need to secure this really aggressively and be ready to hold the fort here. So getting walls on here and defending here. So I think for now, let's try to not go north of this. There's been some really good comments on gifting these guys to make sure they can hold out in their, their front as well. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Here's wait. I've got one reason not to do that, and that's next turn. Lord of the we'll be able to upgrade this city instead. That is one thing we could do otherwise. None shall question me. One, two, three, four, five, six. See how it goes. Can you kill a Ska Azag before Skaven hit? That's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and rush him down. At least curtail him so there's nothing left of him and hopefully make a good friend out of Unger and Minefist. If we can do that, then maybe we've got a chance here, but yeah. This this is the kids love we know and love. Just feeling overextended, completely vulnerable. Good question. That negative 69 relationship, is it still worth a gift to them? The trend of improving also counts. If they're negative and going down or negative and static, the chances are much higher of declaring war. If it's going on the up, it actually does matter. That will actually do a good way to um, prevent them from declaring war. So we can up... Why can't we upgrade that? Oh, we don't have the growth. I'm a tool. We've got one more turn until we have the growth. That's fine. Double so check there. <laughs> They're willing to peace out for some reason. They're totally cool with Mistress it. Of ice. it suits my purposes. Okay. This should be quite easy. And get a gold mine as well. 100%. 100%. So the idea here is to use Ungra Mine Fist as the south border. So we'll have the Empire, we'll have the Dwarfs. And hopefully from there, then we can concentrate all of our effort north. And it'll be trying to fight our way probably to uh, Prague and Erengrad. And just fence that shit off. Spend our time building that up. Fortify all those small cities to tier 3 garrisons. And then from there, we'll be doing kind of... I'd imagine uh, almost sallying out. And try to even just raise some of their main cities to break their power. And then we'll go for a conquest. So there's going to be, I think, a, a defensive war of uh, small campaigns. To play it safe and not get overextended. Because Kislev buildings are expensive, so failed campaigns with Kislev are a really, really bad idea. When I say failed campaigns, you know, if you, you go and go and attack and it just doesn't work for you. That's why we decided to to restart. It would have just really slowed us. Okay. You know what, these guys, you guys can sit out. You guys have been getting pounded for like the last few turns. Same with you. Same with you guys. The peasantry can take care of this. Life ain't fair in Kislev. Okay. 
Okay, we've got four and five. Let's move up. Start battle. These guys are moving to here. And you guys are moving to here. Fast forward. And for some reason, people are walking. Alright. Take your time, whatever. through that because we can just playing really defensive on the outside here okay so move a couple of these guys oh wait then the Clear them, cool. Move these guys up here. Oh no, they're coming. Well, if we move here, we'll get much straighter shots on them. That should end it. Come on guys, this is over. Barcode up. So this is why I use barcodes. It's just much easier to put large concentrations of rage units. Actually, this this might finish it. Cool. Ah, this is done. I'm not going to waste you guys' time for a little bit of gold. <laughs> okay, you get a gold mine. You didn't know that. Uh, quick question: Why can you trade with factions? Why can you trade with factions you don't have a border with? Oh my god, I knew, knew the answer to this. I learned the answer to this this morning, actually. So there's there's a couple of reasons. It can be from ports, uh, because naval routes also count. But they lowered the restriction of, um, uh, of joining territories as well. Also, with trading settlements themselves, basically, if there's a raised settlement, a neutral settlement in the middle now, you don't have to own that. They can actually pass through that and uh, go for the next one through there as well. So there's way less restrictions and things on neutral territory now, which means that you can now trade through those or they're considered, um, you don't need to have that as a friendly territory in the middle. So it's been great. It's one of the reasons why high elves are so strong right now is it doesn't appear that way, but it's so easy to trade now with everyone. Do we need to take some more gold by... Is it worth it? Is it worth the instability? For 600 gold. Oh, loot and occupy. Should we? Should we? Should we? You know, I will do it this time. I will do it this time because buildings are expensive with Kislev. And we will need a few more of them. Governor. Okay. Moving away to the higher level spells. Yeah, we're just going to go down the magic line. We, we seem to be doing fine with our Cossars. It, it would be nice to get firing drills. I won't won't lie, that is tempting to get. I'm really tempted to get it actually, but Heart with of Winter, this, that I spell can come in clutch, especially against factions like Greenskins. I'm not going to hire any more from this... Uh, Prepare your I tell you what, I'll actually go go here with them. Just to protect it, help it build up. And we have a full uh, problems this time, so what's the best way to go about this? Let's get the control, under control, and we have an adamant. We can choose ones which will increase growth, replenishment, or... Oh, I do like money though, but 25 growth. Actually, I didn't choose you. Fuck off, I didn't choose you. Did I? Did it make me choose this guy? I didn't want you. Damn it! I wanted a different guy. Ah oh, well, life goes on. Still pretty good. 
Cool. Any cool items that we can apply to our characters? Nothing of much significance, so... Give that to you. Art Star Ring. Cool, I love it. Could hire one more Kossar here. And I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The risk of uh, falling short with that settlement is something I don't want to deal with. Okay, uh, they eliminated the restrictions on trade agreements. It's often made no law sense, like Emmerich and Malice and Warhammer 2 having no access to trade when their heart lands, despite having uh, no the sea routes uh, not on the map. I do agree. He has been chosen. Heart of Winter is one of your favorite spells of all time. If you can pen a bunch of units into it for the duration, oof. I have seen my, some of my most decisive moments as Kislev were one with Heart of Winter. Hey, what the fuck? Go, you little gyrocopter. I've never noticed that. How cool is that, guys? Look at him. Ah, oh, where'd he go? But we can also now get a Ice Maiden. Now, which school of magic to get? Get one of each. Get yourself a Lord of one type and the other of the other. I, I just don't... I just like having lots of options, hey? I just never see the point in, in doubling up on on magic types. So, Azag, you have two settlements in total and you are really vulnerable right now. This is... Oh, this is, this is a tasty opportunity. So... Let's move here in ambush stance. Oh fuck! You must go unseen. God damn! Holy shit! What a fight this is gonna be! Oh, that is disheartening. Oh, oh, fuck! And he's going to be hiring some more. Fifty percent chance that she won't be discovered there, right? We could declare war and there's a chance that he might send Azak over there. Now who's at war with them? Get on with it. These giants. So here, before we sign anything with the giants though, what's their deal? They are hated. Oh, they're improving. It's improving. I don't really want them to live. <laughs> if you get what I mean. But still, you I'll, I'll take your money. Fuck it. So the boss is gonna have ya. Oh yes, you can pay me all that. You're small. So we've declared war on them. We'll see how this ends up uh, going for us. If we wanted to be really, really careful. My decision is law. Nice. Lord of all. They are still alive. They're not destroyed yet. So this faction to the north has Clan Mulder probably about to turn them into rubble. Before... Nice. Our war with um, Azag has improved our relations with these guys. So we could potentially turn them around into a friend. Now, we could go to the negative and hire ourselves another army here if we're really, really worried. But then we can't afford that upgrade, which we kind of need. Am I willing to fight two of their fucking stacks with one of my armies? I think. Oh, do I want that or that? They're both really good. Use this wisely, my people. Who called? So. Frost Weaver. The Drizina Enclave. You guys are so dead, Our but you know, I'll united. take your money. Strength. I'll put it to good use. What about Eddie? Nice. Most. One rug. This action does not have my consent. Ooh, all right, fingers crossed, guys. Will they come and run into my ambush? Will they come and double-team us? 
and uh, smashes back to the Stone Age. We will see. Okay. Holy shit. We asked for this. We did ask for it. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> I'm so overconfident. Alright. Let's do it. If we had Heart of Winter, man, we could take this. Easy. If you call us, um, ice damage would heal elemental bears. That, that could be fun. We use our money better uh, than they will. Well, yeah, we get to live. Gift uh, uh, Karak Ungor to uh, Ungrim. That's a cool idea. That's actually a really cool idea. I like your I like your thinking, Yossi. We've got some really good uh, diplomacy minds in the chat today. I appreciate it. There's no dwarf. It's a ghost ship. <laughs> there wasn't, was there? Uh, Agent Brenners, uh, all use Skaven, Dwarf, and Underways. There are many other ways for good transport. Yep. More Kossars. Alright. Alright, caught up on that. Now let's... Okay, so this... Do we want the, Do we want the high ground, Anakin? <laughs> Will it make much difference? Well, the edge of the map is right here. That's really annoying. I would have loved to have used this. This would have been really, really cool. They're going to come in at us like that. So, I... the fact we can't get behind here, that just really reduces my confidence. Otherwise, coming back here, that that's nice. That's what we're doing. We're going to use this here. So let's go. Let's get everyone here about like that. So we'll go. Because there's so many of them, right? Don't just do a standard checkerboard. Give yourself a bit more breathing room, right? We we don't have to be that careful if you're like if you're elves or so or people that get you know we, lighter infantry. When I say lighter, you know they go flying a bit more. Like maybe elves skaven. If you get smashed really hard in melee by enemy charges, give yourself a little bit more space. Because when they come through, they'll bowl you over much more. We've got Kossars here, so we could do a lot worse, okay? This small unit doesn't look like much, but it will slow down an enemy. Actually, I'll actually uh, keep the length of my formation back a bit as well. Okay, cavalry down there. Armored Kossars, you guys are possibly going to die today, so, um, yeah, thanks, and stuff. So, we'll have one unit here, which we'll put our faster unit, of course, on the furthest uh, side away. Let's start. Actually, let's have a quick look. You'd be really tempted to corner camp. Oh, 100% we're corner camping this time. I don't have much choice. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's uh, there's no way we, we can do this without, getting corner, without corner camping, I believe. Why the fuck can't we go further back than that? Oh, man, that's misleading. Oh, dear. Okay. Stay calm. Holy shit. There is literally like nowhere for us to run back to. Man, I feel so gypped. So what we're trying to do is trying to provoke this uh, main army into um, attacking before their reinforcements come in. We don't have any. Uh... So a whole minute. No, 
Nice. Go on, back it out. Go on, kitty cat. They, this might not be enough to shake them out of their formation. I think they might hold steadfast. Man, and they've got a fucking uh, catapult as well. Are they coming? Are they coming? Kind of looks like they are. Nope. Nope. They're holding tight. Oh boy, guys. We are in some serious trouble. We are in so much trouble. It's one of these things I don't know how it's even going to go. I think we're just going to get overrun by the green tide. Where's History Matters? You'd be loving this, man. you got a, a big burly green skin army coming to absolutely level me. Don't really care if I lose the leopard though, so. Man, Heart of Winter, please, if I had that. We're just like a couple of levels off getting it too, hey, it's such a tease. Yeah, why do invisible walls thwart us? I got, yeah, I do feel a bit hard done by. Although, we might get their catapults taken down. This flank here, that's really rough. Okay, so let's get the Armoured Cossars. We need them to hold something serious on this frontier. We will live and die by this flank holding. And holding firm, so... You here, you guys go here. Fucking hell. Good, well at least they've tied up to the um, artillery. And they will win that fight, so that's great. Oh fuck, I didn't I just click on my Oh I clicked my units, fuck! Didn't mean it. No no don't 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 cancel. Oh thank fuck, I thought I just cast on my guys. <laughs> oh just way to level the odds, right? Looks like a good shot. Nice. a little bit of damage here. Getting a little bit of damage, that's good. Yeah, I do not care if we lose that. If the, the longevity of that little thing is like <laughs> literally the most inconsequential thing that I have to worry about right now. You know, I'm actually going to use Ice Sheet back here to slow that second round of enemies. So far, so good. So far, so good. Nice, nice and calm. Keep things calm. All under control. Okay, so that's bad that they've uh, that they've broken. Nice. 
Okay, so let's focus these guys down. For the people. Uh, slow them. Repositioning. Defenders of this place. Okay, big guns. Okay, let's. Oh, there's. There's Azag. Is it worth focusing him? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, we're gonna try and go all out and uh, take out. Uh, what? Okay, let's shoot into their backs. Okay, if we can kill this, uh, kill their lord, come on, guys. Come on, shoot him! I think focusing down on the, um, the Lord has not worked for us here. What I would not give for a Heart of Winter right now. Come on. Come on, break them. Break them. Break. Yep. Can we just break a few more of them? Actually, no, break them. Break them. Ah, oh, come on, let Katarin get out. If Katarin falls, we're fucked. Come on. It's that catapult that's fucking us. If we can just maybe dump them into the, all arrows of this guy, break that wing there. I think we're just under overwhelmed here, guys. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh, I didn't even see these guys. They're still alive. Actually, getting them to shut down the archers is probably a better idea. So close, so close, so close. Alright, take out. Come on, go where's Ag. As Ag, sorry, not where's Ag. Wrong Zag. Oh no, she's down, that's it. Oh, sorry guys, fucked it. Oh man, that's doable. Maybe use an invocation before the battle. Yeah, that might have helped, eh? Let's have a look.
Sorry, champions. Sorry, sorry. Try, was trying not to barrack for the greenies against you. Yeah, nice. Secret mushroom. Actually, any uh, Lord Saga in chat? Uh, Warhammer Fantasy Orc mushrooms are like 40k. No, are they? Ooh. Maybe if they needed uh, an invocation for this. Don't think they had the devotion. Uh, we didn't. No, we needed to. We we decided to build a chapel. So, the way around this. That was close. That was close. We just needed a way to pin down their lord. Yeah, that's that's one hell of a green tide. That was much closer in a way than I thought. I thought that would be way, way more one-sided. If we dropped their lord, we would have won. If we killed Azag, it would have been it. But keeping him still for long enough and isolating him is the hard part. Now the question is, is there a better place on that map to deploy? Because we went up in that corner thinking that we could actually move back. So here we went up here, but we couldn't actually get that far back. Whereas down here we might have a bit more of an advantage. Hmm, is that impassable there? No, it's not. Okay. So this time around, let's try this. We're gonna go like this. Gonna go deep, check a board this time. Took, we took a risk. <laughs> and this is what happens. We paid the price. This was something we were prepared to face. Didn't think it through properly, but was willing to accept if it happened. You guys can go back here. Alright. Now we need to find a way to shut down that artillery because the artillery was arguably what actually finished us off there because artillery, being under artillery fire, if you guys don't know, it gives you a really massive debuff to your, um, or, or under any type of fire, but especially artillery fire, it gives a massive debuff to your leadership. So units that are just there in those late stages, getting hammered by artillery is just the biggest way to demoralize them off the battlefield. Okay. Now, this time around, you guys are going to be up this way. Okay, let's do it. For the people! I will not brook cowardice, hesitation, or failure! Fight until your last breath! I think this might be a good spot here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let's let's find out. Otherwise, you need to draw him into the uh, ambush. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit bit of a sticky situation for sure. So what we'll do is we'll start with these guys up here. Yeah, maybe I can actually bait some artillery out. So for those that don't know, I, do, I refuse to uh, waste regular ammunition, but artillery is another story. Sticky, standing around when you have an artillery disadvantage is not a wise idea. Wow, this is just really painful. I do wonder if we'd actually run ahead with uh, with her, would would they have actually come towards us first? Keep 
Alright, come on. So happy, uh, general speeches are back. Simple as that. 100%. I think Medieval 2 had the best general speeches. This is actually shaping up to be way worse than the last time because they're basically forming up to attack us all at once. And what the fuck are you guys doing? Come on, do something. You attacked me. This is a little bit irritating because like they attacked me and they're, now they're just standing there. Okay. <laughs> they just run off the field. Okay, that was apparently the magic thing they were waiting for. Alright. Will they shoot at her? I think they are. Ooh, that's useful to know. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, this is like getting outflanked the movie. Okay. So all we'll do is we'll slow these guys down so the furthest flank takes a bit longer to get here. So, pivot these guys around. Okay, pulling back here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, saving that uh, again, fairy friend. <laughs> Nicely said. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, look around here. Can we get these guys? Can, can, can we focus him? Come on, guys. Focus him. Focus him. Actually, shoot the fucking orc. It's not hard. Aim at him and fire your fucking weapons. Come on. Shoot. Come on. Oh, man, this, this happened last time, mate. You try to... Try to get that decisive, um... They're just fucking not shooting. Oh, man, it's so irritating. Is this, is this path fighting? Am I doing something wrong here, guys? But this is like twice in a row. We've had amazing target opportunities. And they just don't fucking shoot. Like, this wasn't happening in earlier patches, like... Like, literally, they've just broken my front line the time it's taken to even think about shooting. Raging. Raging right now. Like... <laughs> saluting the leopard off the, the field, yeah. But I want to shoot the Lord, he's got they've got such a good shot there, but they just won't fucking shoot at him. Like it's just infuriating.
Like, the time that we've wasted, like... If after this again, I'm just gonna fucking ignore them and just cart them around like this. It's because they don't seem to be shooting at them, they just don't want to shoot. Yeah, we're fucked. This ain't gonna work. We let our front line just get melted. Let's just try this. What, what happens if we just shoot? Everyone, control A, shoot at this guy. Will they do it now? So... Some of them are doing it now. Some are doing it. He stopped. Even if they're pitting, they're just not shooting. You guys seeing this? Now, they're shooting on auto fire. What the fuck is going on? Is it? I'm actually gonna report this to CA. Like, am I doing something wrong, guys? I'm so open-minded to being doing something wrong here, but my guys are just not fucking focusing. One out of all of them, and they all had clear line of sight. No one was attacking those guys. Like, can, can um, just add Delta for that uh, because it wouldn't let me. Go back, but um, does, does anyone know what the fuck's going on there? Because that's twice now that we've let them just approach. That one we might not have won. The first one we definitely would have won if we'd never decided to shoot their lord. So you just dealt with bomber you were pretty proud of. I'm so not following that. Shadow of Mordor and War had some good speeches. It did actually, yeah. Um, I'll just write down to make. Oh, just to say. Where are we? Okay, small single entity tracking. That's uh, pretty good. We got a feedback uh, channel that we can use to um, send to CA, and they do. They're pretty good. They do encourage you to use it, and it's a coincidence. A lot of what, what you do see put in there does actually get implemented, so that's good. But that I can make no sense of. Sometimes, like there's a reason. Like you go look down, and like there's a variation in the ground. You've seen someone today having a problem, and um, you've had it, but in just like one battle out of a few. Maybe it's the, it's like the level of the ground. Do you know what I mean? Maybe if it's not completely flat, they do it bad because that was a really big problem in early Warhammer 2. But that's really frustrating because he's not that hard to take down. Do you know what I mean? He's not actually super, super buff Lord. So that alone would normally make them a really good target to take down first. It could be something with a hotfix. That's why I'm actually um, considering that. Um... And that's the reason why I went control A and select everyone, got them to shoot, and just to prove, like, is this... Do you know what I mean? Am I just lining up the shots wrong? Like, I'm so willing to be the reason why it's wrong, but... You know, I, I, can, I can handle if I fuck something up, I need to do it better, but it's like, if something was never possible, that's frustrating because you never had a chance. Which side do you think would be better? Or was this side actually the better one to go? Let's go this way. Sorry about the third fight, guys. Honestly, we should have done it the first time, but... Uh, this is as moody as you'll see me in a stream. <laughs> well, I don't like re redoing fights anyway. Um, I used to actually have a hard rule against uh, restarting any fights. I would always take the uh, the outcome and just keep rolling with it. But the way I figured though is that you can actually learn a lot from retrying a fight. You learn how to do the maps better. You learn more about your army, more about their army. And yeah, I've really softened on that stance of just, um, yeah, ro take rolling with the punches. I still try to do it where I can, but is it worth missing out on learning opportunities just to be tough? I'm like, probably not. 
Medical is so fun. You play, uh, played a long time ago, blew up several paladins, playing the game stupidly against the Russians in Nalsec and stuff. <laughs> hey, um, you know, how you doing? <laughs> nice that you're streaming when you start working. Well, hopefully you can watch it work. Some people can. Other people, uh, obviously can't. But some people, uh, just let the audio roll or something like that. I've done that before. Okay. I do wonder if the hotfix is just derp this or... Here's the other thing is, is it because the ground isn't completely level up those spots here? But he was over here though, that's the problem, he was already there. But I'm trying to find reasons why it's me. <laughs> Dude, I want it to be my fault so I can fix something, but... If the game is just fucking derping... Man, I usually try to, to be understanding and uh, try to, you know, be patient and... Um, yeah, and be... Means no, don't, don't. Obviously stand for, uh, hard you for, um, CA win. and just forgive everything they do, but at the same time, it's... I'm not one of these people that one thing goes wrong, I act like they don't care about us. Like, no one's actively trying to ruin your experience of the game. <laughs> Like, you know, I try to see the bigger picture and that sort of thing. And be relatively patient and understanding, but like, man, you can't be issuing hotfixes when they make problems, you know? Because the thing is, the first cut of Immortal Empires, I've got to say, I was impressed. There was um, a lot of the, the bugs, while we, we had the early access, they addressed those, and... Yeah, they were the really big ones, uh, and they weren't even really that big, guys. They were like things like Imric with Kalidor not being able to confederate Kalidor, stuff like that. And they fixed them. They were there in the main launch. I was actually really, really impressed with the launch uh, build that they released. It's just a bit rough to go back a step, you know? Easy come, easy go. Okay, let's hit fast forward. Let's see if we can use Katarin to uh, nimbly outmaneuver these uh, artillery shots. Okay, I had some issues yesterday in your Realm of Chaos final battle where the Celestian crossbow would not shoot Bellicor, however, Zhao and Ming were on their line of sight. Yeah, okay, so other people having this as well. Thanks. Eve Online stuff. Yeah. Dude, it's alright. Talk about what you want, mate. It's a free country. Or well, free stream that borders many countries. Uh, thanks uh, for joining the stream. Anyone else that's hopped in as well? So they're not shooting. Oh, but they oh, I fast forwarded it actually, so. Going to get her. We take out these two units before they even engage, that'd be great. She's on horseback now, so that's great. If I could charge him. Doing good. Nice. Taking position. Armored 
Oh my god, if you could please, please, please come here by yourself, I will be incredibly happy. So we'll do is send her back there, and we'll use our ice sheet to slow everyone else but their legendary lord. So hopefully we can take him, gun him down. I'm pulling out the um oh shit out out ouch the reason why I'm pulling the leopard out is so it gets its charge bonus back again the people drool them. Sarina, Catherine. I'm not even gonna target see they're targeting better without me fucking even aiming at them it's so annoying I'd love to take down that caster, but that caster's pretty far away, so... Come on, just kill him! Okay. Oops. Misclick, the mightiest spell of all. The spell that undoes kings. Oh man, I forgot to have a flank protection. Get out. Come on. Nice. Good. Come on. Shoot, guys. Come on. Stop fucking around. This is a serious business. I need you all on your best behavior. Keep shooting, keep shooting, run them off the field. This is good, this is good. Uh, you guys, blast them off. You know what? Is it worth it? This is such a waste of magic, but I um, don't trust my archers to do it. Fuck, don't do that. Shoot. Ah, oh, you're seriously going to derp out of me now. No. Okay, come on. Come on, break. Break. Repositioning. I think we're fucked again. No. Oh, I think we're screwed, guys. Fuck. Big gun, big guns are still alive. God damn, I think we have to retreat. On this day, I don't appear to be able to win this fight.
Come on, get one more charge in on him. Very well. Make Can I get a charge on this guy? Can I get the charge? Come on, one more chat, one more attack. For the motherland. Are you attacking? It is so. It is my path. Valiant's defeat. God damn. Exactly, EP, exactly. Three against one, fuck me. What's he got left? Fuck, he's got a whole army. If he, uh... God damn, that was definitely an ill-fated decision to get in there that early. Just retreat and try to ambush them again. Other than that or, yeah, they, they're going to run down. I don't think I can outrun them though. That's the thing. Is I think that this is at the end of their, um, their movements. We've done nowhere near, near enough damage. And we'll just get completely mashed. Alright, that's all we can do. All we can do is uh, try to retreat, otherwise it's a final stand. <laughs> Disaster campaign, holy shit. Oh, we can't take those losses. Alright. Last try. And you know, if, even if we lose the army, we're just going to play on. We're just going to retreat. If we lose the army, we're just going to keep on rolling with the punches. We'll uh, roll this back from the to, from the end. This will be good. This will be classic Elven plot armor. <laughs> Streaming from the uh, the brink. All right. How's everyone? Has everyone else found any bugs so far besides what we found? I mean, we found one today, which is cool. I'll report it after. But that's so frustrating, man. Not being able to focus down a lord when they're a caster, like. That's the advantage of, uh, like, if they've got magic, they're going to do way more damage to you, but the weakness is, is that you can snipe their lords out way easier, and it really helps on Legendary to help nullify their leadership buffs. <laughs> Start the heroic music. Alright. Worst case, your economy gets a boost while you lick your wounds. Yeah, uh, it's pretty disastrous, honestly, because, yeah. <laughs> but we'll fucking, we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. That was one of the reasons why I kept on, um, usually not restarting my saves. Like, I'd just play through the loss, because once you... To show you can come back, here we go, guys, retreating. It wastes my time. Oh, they're keen. They're keen. Okay. Okay. Sarina Catherine of Kiss. We just what if I had um, Heart of Winter, we'd be set. So I need one more level, guys. If I had one more level, we could have easily won that fight. Oh, that's so such a kick of the balls. So, so to let you guys know, if I was writing this run, what I would do is I'd find a way to get her the experience to get that spell to make this easier, right? So that might even mean we might find like a I'd find somewhere around here to get that experience because look at this, we're like. I know, sort of less than two and a half thousand experience from getting that spell. If we have that, we could easily do it. So, yeah, we can't. So we need Tempest Magic because she's a nice mage. This gives us the other side of magic. Now, we could go, we could stand out the front of this, right, and then use the ambush stance there. Make a new Lord of Jacoba. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking, History Matters, that you took the uh, words right out of my mouth. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Your queen requires we only have 45% ambush chance, but it's not too bad. This guy is going to be out in two turns. I 
think the extra ambush chance of 10% is something I would like to have. So we're going to hire him. Oh man, we are broke. God damn, we are so broke. Oh, did she win? Did she repel the rats? For the good of our lands, may our pact in. Did you guys. Did you actually do it? Did you. fucking. Oh, yeah. repel the rats? God damn, good on you. Well, since they've done that, maybe we could even send them down here because I'm not really worried until that, that falls. Oh, we can well. force march them back if that does fall the next turn. Oh, yeah. Never yield. Bow to me. Oh. Not a good looking settlement by any stretch of the imagination, but that's okay. One leg. I'm almost tempted to let them attack the settlement itself and to, and to hop back here in ambush stance. I'd rather eat a squeak! I'm actually so tempted to do that. Ah, uh, fuck it. And what can Sigma's will? Okay, we might as well trade. They're trading with the Empire. Friend and make your offer. Give me some money because we're so poor. Okay, 365. Done. Very well. Cool. Alright, and yes. ending our turn. We live another day, champions. Get the units from the city too. Yeah, it's they're not gonna really add up to much though. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, we get a few more, few more helpers. I feel like their army's even stronger than it was before now. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well. Oh, we can choose. There we go. All right. Control large army off. You guys are fucked now. Festus is over that way, yes. That's so true. It is... Yeah, this th this is going to be a much easier fight now. He's forced now to lead with his strongest units, so we can take them down first, and then the rest is clean up. So... I just wanted to avoid doing ambush cheese for it, but we had to. It's not even really that cheesy, it's, it is actually probably what you would do, right? We're going to, of course, deploy near our reinforcements. I'm getting some really great advice in this, uh, this live chat, by the way, guys. Keep it up. Love everything you're doing. Okay, move up to there. Drop you. 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 Cavalry off to the flank. Here. And I'm not afraid to put my heavy hitters up the front this time. Because they're starting with their heavy hitters this time. So they attacked us first. You know what? I actually don't mind. They're not as stupid as they used to be, are they? With their tactics. Not just running in to die like they used to. God damn, that was a solid rock to the face. Alright, so what the fuck are you guys doing? I reckon that uh, one day they're going to get rid of the control large army thing. I don't see that staying in the 
in the later editions of the game because it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion. But the game is balanced for you to be able to do it, so, you know. I mean, when there's things like lightning strike in the game as well, it's like... You gotta kinda pick your battles. Oh my god, you poor... You hate this little cat, don't you? I genuinely want to target this guy, but I'm worried that they won't. Let, let's see. Let's have a laugh and see how badly they can do this. Let's move forward a few steps, try to avoid the shot. Sort of worked. And they stopped shooting. That wasn't too bad. But still, they... It definitely doesn't add up that many of them just deciding not to shoot. They're still shooting? It's flatter terrain, so maybe it's a pathfinding issue. See, this at least makes some sense, right? They're shooting through trees, there's there's things I can attribute to the bad aiming. The other one was completely in the open, there was absolutely no reason I could uh, could even conceive that they might not be operating at the max. him down. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Not happening, not happening guys. Oh nice. Come on Kosa, he's on foot so he's gonna take a while to get here. Come on, just break this little pocket here, break it. Guns. This is where we need to be careful. Come on, get out. Come on, 
going, guys. All right, cool. All right, we're benefiting now from setting up so close to our uh, reinforcements. Good, we've got a good formation here. They're able to uh, keep on supporting each other, keep peppering each other with arrows. As you guys retreat, make sure that you catch them and then get them facing the correct way. Take out the trolls. Don't want to lose my winged hut glances. Want to get the trolls? I'd love to take out that, that hero. He's got a hero and another lord, but I'm just worried that they're just not going to shoot. Okay. Beat the side out of things. He died doing what he loved. Yes, he did. Lightning strike, you mean attack and ambush stance? Ha, <laughs> nicely said. Nicely said. That's why Skaven ambushes used to be so busted. It's like, um, you, you basically had, like, lightning strike, but you could also use your reinforcements. So it's like, super lightning strike in a way. Uh, you guys are out of arrows, so we'll use these guys to tie them up. If you guys have any common sense left... Down. Oh shit. Come on, hopefully this charge will shatter him. are a bit squished up, but we can work with it. So, always holding ult and moving the, the formation up. It's got a good arc, which it does here. So we're trying to get around as many different angles as we can. So, Masha, it sounds like a melee name. We do not want her to get in too close. This is gonna go. We've got a Boyer versus or oh, big ass orc. Come on. Yeah, take that. Follow the bear. Taking point. Of duty, sir. Sarina Katarin. Chris moving. Obey the orthodoxy. God damn, how many more of these guys do they have? Another three archers. So three more archers, and then we're good. Okay. Okay, move up. We're in a good spot. I think it's looking pretty good. Like we've won the battle easily. Like we've got a, another couple of reinforcements left, but uh, we've got to make sure we now don't lose anything too important. We've got no magic left, so we're going to go for a few decisive charges. So people are had to get around the leadership debuffs. You just got to use tactics. You got to use things like charges, rear charges, the exhaustion level. So she's fresh now. So she's not debuffed from fatigue. These guys most likely are. So we're using a charge bonus, hitting them in arrear, so we've inflated her stats, deflating their leadership. 
Over 13 seconds, that charge bonus will uh, diminish, so that'll give it basically two attacks. Two, re like, two really good attacks, and then... You know what? Let's go for the, this guy. Still fresh. Yep. Okay, looking good. Ammo problems. Now we're, we're okay. We're okay. Oh my god. Uh, although... Okay, so this is what we don't want. We want to keep a couple of guys in the reserve so they don't get fatigued. Because that's the one thing is that we, what we can bring to the, to the uh, situation is fresh troops. And, it, and it's easy to forget, and it's easy to ignore, but in tight fights like this, fatigue and charges are the things that will help you win those fights at the very end of the, that, that 11th hour. That's what wins it for you. Alright, so what we'll do is we're going to form up again. Now the only concern is that they have ammo left and we don't. So we have two cavalry units, including uh, Katarin. We're both going to number them number one because she can no longer cast spells anyway. Okay. Doing a lot better this time. Uh, I don't bother leaving them in anymore. The diminishing bonus uh, gets pretty bad by the time you can uh, wrangle it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, good charges, man. Charges will... will... Yeah, hard to even, even if you're playing on easy or normal, guys, give it a go. If you have tight fights, rest... Have, do this. Tie one unit up, pull the other one out, let it rest. Line up your charge so the most amount of surface area will hit. Like, don't just run them in that way. Two guys are going to hit if we do it that way. This is risky because they can get countercharged here. But... Stretch them out to a wider line, and now fucking bang! Now look at that. Oh, bro, wait. Look at that. All these guys getting hit, and they are broken. Now we're going to 180, so they don't get hit in the rear. Surprise, cuck bag. Alright, so now this is the biggest risk, is I don't want to lose my uh, cavalry. We've got a big beefy unit here, so... Come on. I so don't want to lose my, uh... Shall just charge them in there. Let's run these guys up, fuck it. Take off guard mode. He can just uh, hunt them down till they die. Alright, they just refuse to die now. Let's hit fast forward.
see this? See how they're all piling in there? That's not actually doing anything. Yeah, it's getting around their flanks that actually did the difference there. And we need to uh, hunt these guys down as much as we can. Uh, where are their characters? Do they have any characters left in the field? They do have this guy. That's fine. Okay, uh, with these kind of fights you have good success when you split your Cossars into two armies, one baiting, the other one shooting from the trees. Uh, yeah, that's that's another great tactic actually, very good, especially if they have um, shields. These guys weren't too shield heavy, I mean they did have a good amount of uh, orcs, but... Yeah, it always, it always does depend, it definitely does depend. But yeah, splitting up uh, and having a second force shoot into the rear really can help. I was more too worried about being overrun, in this case here. So absolutely want to murder this as much of this army as we can. Can they even catch? No. Alright. Yeah, Q want the victory jingle. Da 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 da. Well, uh, cheers for sticking with me, guys. It's been one sticky stream. Oh no! Gonna lose my armored cossars. It's been an honor, lads. Respect, respect, and love for uh, for Kislev, for the glory. We will bury you in the angry shrub named Draco. Well, that absolutely ruined my army. <laughs> I so hope we didn't lose our um our ice guard. Very nervous about that. Whew. Damn it, I lost the ice guard. Okay. To the mines with that. There will be sweet, sweet revenge. Now, depending what happens in the north will depend what we do this time. Because if if the uh, Drazina's enclave enclave are handling everything just the fine, winds of magic twist into a squall. The Raven God is up ah, to nice. something. I no can't remember how tough that battle is. Will suffer. Oh shit! Okay. They're coming. They are coming, like, next turn. We've got two turns, I think, till they get here, I'd say. One, maybe two, maybe three. Maybe three turns. Okay, we'll give him some movements. Okay. Let's go Heart of Winter. That's some more magic. My rule grows absolute. Well, now we can make... Nice. So who's down here? We've got these guys. They shouldn't attack us because we're attacking the guys they are at war with. So, first up, we may as well get this guy to help us. He moves up, and Katarin can... Attack. Uh, we'll do that in the battlefield. Because we can do that without getting hurt. A battle is tough. It's, uh, it's a Zinch ambush. Ah, oh, that's right. That one's tough. Yeah, that is tough. And, uh, Han Arrow, how are you doing? Yep, uh, this is Kiz level, right? The the best case scenario is we move our way down to friendly territory. So at least this uh, oh shit, um, at least this results. Oh wait. In uh, us closing off the front. I mean, that's what you want when you extend out, right? Is you want to go out and you want to close off a front, either by conquest or going meeting a border with an ally. If you don't do that, and you don't uh, cripple an enemy's ability to re recruit, replenish, build up, you, you know, 
it's an uphill battle from there. Land is power. Armored Cossars. Keep your armored Cossars off the front line this time. Try to do a little bit of damage here and there. Now this guy, we're going to send him out. He can tank all the damage because we're disbanding him next turn. Almost likely disbanding him. We'll just have a look at what else we could do. I don't even trust you guys to focus something down now. Any chance you guys might try to hit this, this guy. They do not like the idea of shooting, do they? It's just not working, they are not shooting correctly at, at individual entities. If I leave them aiming the right direction, there's a good chance they'll shoot, but if I tell them to, they just won't do it. Like, I think what's happening is they're trying to find the right path to shoot, but they just can't understand it. See, like, look at that. No, the guy, he's great. I don't know what to do here! What do I do? <laughs> oh, there we go, thank god. Like... I don't think they'll actually do what I need them to do. Oh, what I'll do is I'll just get them to face the right direction. <laughs> I'll just point them in the right direction and they'll probably do it. It worked! Right. All right. That's done. Okay. Uh, where are we? So, has anyone started a Cole Stalton campaign in IE? I can't imagine he's got it any easier. Dude totally doesn't. He totally would not. Uh, Hadara, your first Warhammer 3 campaign uh, was Katarin, and it was super tough. It required almost a requirement to wipe out Azag because Ungrim doesn't do shit. Well, good. I'm glad that, that that's worked for you because that looks like what we're doing, brother. Uh, welcome to the stream as well. Good to have you on board. Okay, well that army is absolutely flattened, so that's good. Now we might need to heal up for a turn. That's not much, is it? That is not much at all. I think we're gonna need the, the money. Tsarina is merciful. 
think we're going to need, need another force oh, over yeah. there sooner than we think. Okay, so this has two, four, six, eight, nine units. Most of them are goblins, though, so pretty easy to beat. Baron of the Motherland. He can reach in force march, right? So that's the trick. Oh, yeah. So this is all we're doing this turn. He's going to run back here, force march. Because I think... I reckon I can probably take his stack. Where's Clan Mulder? Let's see Clan Mulder's uh, balance of power. They have... Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, Throt the Unclean is a force to be reckoned with. I'm going to give Katarin... Does she have the ancillary... Let's go. Kisselvite Kosso. Yeah, sure. One this guy can still make it, so. He doesn't get any extra Let upkeep for that, but that's fine. Freely. He can have another two units. Chaos. She can move. Here, in ambush stance. Queen. Will that get us there next turn? That's my only concern. My supremacy is assured. Surely, surely we can reach that. Right? Yeah, it's 20. Surely we can reach it. Yeah, easy. Just getting paranoid. That's all. A symbol of my. Firing two units from there. He's looking good there. He's got his four. And just to be absolutely sure, let's... Oh, we can't bring him out of retirement. He's one turn away. Could get our adamant out there. That'd be fun, but I will probably get him killed. <laughs> so, no. I think we'll go for... Plus five leadership in our own territory. I think that's going to be really useful for defending, so get him... And this will make us go into the red for a turn, but it'll hopefully all be okay. Okay, hero strength. I'm drawing blanks at the moment. She can give the whole army plus 7%. That's just amazing. Of course we'll get that. I was thinking, do, do they actually have themselves have a ranged weapon? They don't, do they? And we can get... Oh, we can't get them just yet. But we'll be able to soon. Alright. I think we have to get that. That'll decrease our construction time. Any more trade deals? None at all. You want to confederate? Nope. The good thing is, I think just the natural way and the natural forces that be will pull them into our sphere of influence. Alright, so. Goddamn drunk Kisselvites can't aim. Feels like it. How you doing anyway, Trinquin? Good to see you in the chat. Adam Mules, hey, what's go, go what's good, bro? Uh, this campaign's okay, but I am good, and I hope you're good. Hanara, we're attacking Cathay Caravans. Will help out uh, early game financing. Mm, that's actually a good idea. Hadn't even thought of that. Like I said, this is a blind campaign, and I thought it would actually just be fun to jump into something that's not elves. I have two more Wood Elf videos coming out, and then I think we're moving on for a little bit of high elf stuff because people, I, people are asking for it. I wanted to live it there, and then we're probably moving on to something like Empire or whatever. Oh, oh there we go. There is a kiss. Oh shit. Do I want to alienate myself with, why can't I attack? Hmm. It's worth a lot, isn't it? It is worth a lot of money. Where the fuck did that army come from? I feel like it's like such bullshit that I <laughs> can recruit so quick. I'd rather eat a squeak. Your double. You're not frightened yet. Born to rule. 
Mistress of Ice. We can probably jump. It's such a hard fight that it's going to be really yeah. tough, guys. Nine units mostly shit, Stop but then right this is probably mostly orcs. Ice Queen. Bow to me. We'll deal with that in just a moment. Born. 10k minimum. The well, thing is, will that cause us more or less problems? Because we will be able to trade with them soon enough. But does it does it actually declare war on them? Never heal. Yeah, it's it's a it's a declaration of war if we Queen do it. Tsarina, witch, ruler supreme. So we, we would have a lot of busted up units. Get That's the thing I don't feel comfortable about. Defy chaos. I just don't think Your I can win the fight. Got a full stack essentially, now. and a couple of extra heroes. I've got Let me think a really beaten now. up stack. I do have Heart of Winter. I do have that up my sleeve, but bring me glass. Boya. I do not tolerate hesitation. Acceptable. Bring me pass. Okay, disband him. Power is my right. Hit the caravan and take another turn to replenish. Seems sus at AF. You need the money early on to full refuel your economy. How are you doing, uh, by the way, Adrian? Thanks for uh, the heads up. I think, uh, you know what, fuck it, it's, oh, it's so tempting, isn't it? It's just not a very Kislev thing to do. It's the only thing I don't, don't like about it, but. At the same time. It'll take you at least 30 turns to hit that R. Everyone else seems pretty fucking. All right. Alright, we're going to raid the caravan, guys. I can't believe we're doing this. Alright. Okay. We are officially a bunch of desperate raiders. The desperate things and measures we did to defend Kislev in her time of need. Alright, the chat wins. The chat wins. Hopefully they'll forgive us in the long term. Can't order resolve it. Oh, nah, I'd rather, uh, <laughs> rather not auto resolve that. We'll throw this guy at the front. And as uh, someone else rightly pointed out, this actually gives us something active to do while we replenish our numbers over the next uh, couple of turns. So, this has been a bit of a failure in the sense that we didn't get to counterattack and take their capital. That would have been the decisive end of the war. That would, If we did that, this campaign would be going fucking amazing. We'd be not held back at all, but... You get that sometimes, that's all I can say. It happens. Fight with bravery and honor. Do not disappoint Orson, Saliak, Dash, and Thor. Alright, if you guys want to chill out while I get my help, yep, no worries. Twenty seconds. Okay, what's that gonna do? Send a full army across the world? <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, I I get that, but um, I know we we'll, we we'll like to trade one day. But I do agree. These uh, the numbers don't lie. Where they go? They're there. Okay. Well, since this is my lowly garrison, it will be treated as such.
they are just letting us completely uh, form up around them. Um, great strategy, by the way, lads. Great strategy. So, while we play Kislev Pinsir <laughs> around them. Man, those uh, celestial crossbows are poof, not going anywhere. That's exactly what we wanted. They're attacking the um, secondary army. Heart of Winter for a bit of fun on the corner there. So we have these guys to keep on shooting these um, archers down. And everyone else, focus them down. So, meanwhile... Oh, yep, they're getting melted by the <laughs> Heart of Winter. Ouch. It's not going to do much to them. Yeah, they're not giving up. They've got some spirit. Cathay, Cathay, I know you are. Slash units. even try to shoot this guy now. Will you even give it a go? I've never, I don't think I've actually attacked a caravan before. No, I have, I have, I have. I was like, not, not in, uh, Mortal, in Mortal Empires though. Not in a Mortal Empires. As have I ever done that before in a total, <laughs> yeah, that's true, that is true, that the, uh, the AI is a bit, uh, prone to going for long marches. In Warhammer 3 at least. Come on. Oh, no, don't push him over the line. Don't help him. Ah, oh, you dicks. You got away. Could have done that cleaner, but I just want to uh, keep moving on with things.
that's what we wanted. The settlement garrison took most of the the heat from that. Some serious high tier units in there, though. It's not a not a slouchy uh, little honor guard for the uh, the caravan. So we need, most of all, we, we, we'll get the money from raiding the caravan, but we really need to heal up our units. So getting her to garrison this next turn, she has to finish in the garrison. That's pretty much the compulsory element here. Now, 700 gold would be nice, but we clearly don't need it too badly. They will serve the mother. Cool. Of Kismet. Okay. Can level up Heart of Winter even more. Yeah, sure. With this, I guard Kislev. This shall be cut. That will help. Now also. Me before you kill. Oh, yeah. We'll heal those units up. Take the boyer there. can stay here. Hunker, no Hunker. point getting rid of him. Boya. Only the most skilled may serve. No one's declared war up here yet. Yet. We have two enemies. Oh my god, he's Be nearly gone, dead. Miscreant. <laughs> Shit. Good luck. Uh, we'll go infantry. Getting inside the castle will get us up and running really nicely. And that's pretty much a turn done, guys. Looking good. We've got defense at the top here, defense at the bottom. Just can't put him away. It's just absolute hell. It's tempting to hire some more units. If you auto-resolve those and get close to 20k, nicely done. That'd be awesome. Because uh, the auto-resolve would wipe the entire army, so you'd get all the gold from uh, the units themselves. Pretty clever. Pretty clever. I'm going to hire this guy. It's going to cost us a lot of money, right? But we can get another four Corsars on the field quickly. That is important to us. Why can't she do it? There. Ah, oh, because her army is full. Well, if that's the case... We are both servants. You and I. I reject They're not coming here next turn. Power. At least this has given us the funds to uh, operate at a loss for just long enough. A good call to not order that fight. Yeah, I, I know it'd be good to get more money, but truthfully, we need to put away... Uh, what's his name? We need to put away um, Azag. If we put him, if we'd put him away in that first My fight, Lord. man, a this campaign we'd be going a change in your mutual so so smooth. <laughs> More Corsars, 100%. Rally the serfs. I love this troll finder county. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a massive hoe when it comes to campaign the movement. It's uh. I do go excessive in it, I will hands down admit that, but god damn it has never let me down. So I'm going to take two units from Katarin that are fully healed. Alright, he's going to go into ambush stance, like so. And she can hire two more there. Oh, it's tempting, tempting, tempting. Does, is, who's clan molder fighting? Have they found themselves a new enemy? I must eat, feed. He's heading north now, so I think we're we're off his. Oh yeah. We're off his oh, radar yeah. right now, so that's cool. This might seem a bit silly, right? But Baron of the Motherland. If this guy comes down, delivers his troops to that guy. Bring me class. 
We'd have two. We need two stacks that can be two of his stacks. Roshkodar by blood. Bow to me. Oh, that's nice. Do I not have the market building there? God damn. How did that go? And that's because I've rushed through my turns. We, we haven't needed this. We've lost money this game. <laughs> oh, what a tool I am. What a tool. Governor of Kislev's lands. Well, this guy... I do not tolerate hesitation. ...can run down here. Or he could hire another four units, but that's really going to push the bank. It's going to stretch the bank pretty bad. This is what we'll do. Let's run this guy over here. This guy can force match to replace him. And that should do us. Six turns to make a critical action. So us place here. Double check diplomacy. We could shake some hands, but I'm Who worried calls? that will cause more harm than good. Although you, I will trade By with you. Sigma's will, come in peace. I don't think you've got any enemies, so I don't feel bad Very well. taking most. Yes. Cool. Okay. You can bait ambush uh, with the second lord. I could. I could. Absolutely could. Could do that. I'd rather actually just heal up and make sure we can just decisively go through. We've, we've taken enough risks and it slowed us down. I just want to make some nice, calm, <laughs> concise attacks that actually 100% work. I love these fast dead turn times. Okay. Lord of all. Boyar of Kislev. Never yield. Seeking power. What happened to you? Did you just get did you get your ass kicked, son? Did you just get your ass kicked, I say? They had an encounter, it seems. I think they won, but only just. I do it for Kislev. Only just. So if I give, she can force march all the way up there, right? So this is what we'll do. Kislev's chosen. So he's right on the border, right? So if we move up here and give him, I said march. Two units. Oh, sorry. Uh, give him two Second units of ours, right? He takes two of them. She can come back here and chill and hire another two. No that's that's overkill. We can we can handle that. We can so handle that. Why am I being such a bitch about this? Chaos. Never we must go unseen. Kislev goes forth! It cements my power. Move or die. Ice cream. Okay, let's move up here. Stamp On the border. Chaos. She's good. I make the law. He doesn't need more units. Improper for nobility. You know what? March. Send him force event. march. You want him? <laughs> Come and claim him. Oh fuck. There we are. High ball. Advance for Kislev. Cool. Kislev's chosen. He should be able to win there. And over here we'll build ourselves resource building. Stall is expensive, but you gotta spend money to make money. Anyone yes. wanna trade? Onward. Honor to your ancestors. I will take that. But also, sure. I'll gift you some money back. Oh, dude, why do you have to be so rich? I don't want to spend that on you. Fuck it. Sigma's will. 
probably going to bite me in the ass by doing that. Aye, you have got so many enemies, man. You've got no we'll chance. Ah, oh, well. Enter. Lord of all. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot about him. Whoops, indeed. Ah. Well, it looks like our, our uh, ambush didn't trigger in time, so... This is actually going to be fucking rough. Nasty Skalkers. Okay. Control Large Army will actually still benefit us, because it'll only stop our cavalry from landing. I should have had my, uh, <laughs> I got greedy, I wanted to have, to maybe think that they would come from the bottom, and that we could intercept them that way. Can you get a successful ambush, um, just one time? Now what happened was, is that they came around, they, uh, I had, uh, my ambushing army a little bit sort of down behind, thinking that would work, trying to get the replenishment. I should have had her in front, and they would have run into it. Hopefully it doesn't really amount to much. Cool. So, she's over here. So we just need to set ourselves up. Alright here. Just like this. On top of each other, I don't mind. Okay, cool. So what we're doing is we're forming up a line to... St oh, for fuck's sake, I'm an idiot. <laughs> But we're forming up a line here, so they we buy our forces that are walking in with a bit of time to make a formation. So we'll check aboard these guys. Well, like so. And these guys are every every meaning of the word line holder. Okay. There we are. So she'll come in. Oh, there we are. Speak of the devil. Yes. Cut that in moving. So sometimes like this, the easiest thing to do is just to get your units one at a time and just literally place them. So he can go there. He can go here. 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 There. Just like that, and just work your way across, and you, as long as you're methodical, you can actually check aboard up an army in a pretty effective formation in no time at all. bit further. Yeah, there we are. Okay, let's drop an ice patch. There we are. Cool, so hopefully this flank here will uh, move in sooner. Because of that, we'll move our army up a little bit more to better meet them. So we've got a bit of time left. Even if they're already basically in range, when you slow them down, you slow down their ability to, um, it makes them easier targets to hit, right? So you're actually still helping yourself out. Let's uh, focus down these arrows. We should first take them down. Cool. 
Yeah, probably it's broken then. The frost bringer. I wish I had enough uh, magic for um, a heart of winter. That'd be so nice right now. The queen marches for the motherland. The frost are mine. Sons of Kisra, lend this power. They die. Taking position. The motherland finest for Kisra. Oh dear. Don't let him die. Of witches. Sons of Kislev. Oh no. That's right. You guys are standing on top of each other a little bit too much for my taste. Let's uh, do this and disrupt these arches, make our life a lot easier, give us some breathing room. Back out. So obviously this is not what you want. I've, uh, maybe we could have given ourselves a bit more breathing room with uh, the entrance to the map. Okay, pretty close to breaking, come on. Do it, lads. Back out. Pull our horses back. Good. Smash these guys, it will break them. Good. Smash these guys to break them. Nice side on shot like that. Decent amount of damage. Okay. What we'll do is take guard mode off them and just get them to chase these guys down. And now we'll focus down this. Rock spiders giving us a hard time as we expected. So uh, slowed them down. Fuck me, I forgot how much armor they have. 120 shit. Oh damn, they've got four of them. Very good. <laughs> Aren't you guys focusing on this guy? Okay, now attack them. So obviously he's trying to shatter them so they don't come back. Cool, you know what? It's broken. We'll uh, finish them off later. And we'll do is we'll cast this. So you just give them a bit more of a slowdown. So we can take them apart one at a time. Because they are doing some good damage to us. There's no two ways about that. Okay, at least they followed these horses out here. We drew 
draw a, uh, a path. And this is the power of cavalry, right? We can really control their movement. So they've run out of ammo, so I don't want them running through and disrupting their shooting. Come on, keep shooting, keep shooting. It is my path. Oh, get out of the fucking way, Katarin. You are going to lose that fight. Crossers! You have many talents. Punching giants is not one of them. Okay, it's broken. It's good. Come on, get off, get off, get off, get off it. Okay, let's slow everything down in this area here. Okay, change over this one. Don't tell me we're losing. No! Don't run away! What are you doing? We can win this! Ah, oh, don't give up. Oh, we can't now. You guys decided to leave. Man, this is a fucking hard campaign. This was hard. Fuck me. Jumping on straight into Legendary was difficult. We can do this, though. We can do this. We absolutely can do it. How exciting though. <laughs> so if anyone wonders, should you try this legendary first go? The answer is no. I'd say on, I think on normal, it'd still be a decent, um, a decent romp. It's the ability for them to just keep on replenishing their armies so quickly. You cannot make a mistake. When you go in one place to clear out an enemy, you have to succeed. Okay, so you have a bug, you secure influence successfully, go back to the previous save and do it again, you get no influence. Interesting. Remind me of that one in the Discord, because I've got this uh, targeting one and that to report then. Wow, I literally haven't found no bugs, like serious ones in a while. We got two in one stream, how about that? As well as getting our tails kicked. <laughs> really, really badly. Holy hell, those spiders are a fucking nightmare to kill. I thought this would be much easier than this was. Definitely underestimated it. I thought we'd be able to just kind of stroll in and just, you know, a bit of a fight here, a bit of a fight there. Hmm, you see there's one advantage, if we do auto-resolve this, right? Oh, we do lose, we lose everything though. There's the Ragnarok spiders, okay. Now we can do this. Though completely wiping everything would be handy. It's that reinforcement that's that's really fucked us. I wish we landed the uh What do you guys reckon? Or should we just auto resolve it? Can't, uh, also can't be bothered fighting that fight again. <laughs> yeah, if you order it, then, th then throw it will probably declare. Hmm. 
It's actually a pretty fucking hard fight. I forgot to turn off control large army armies. Uh, I don't know if this is possible without that. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this could be done. Fuck it, if it, if it starts going pear shaped, I'll just jump out and just auto resolve it. Man, this is the most I've ever had my ass kicked on stream. This is definitely the the uh, the cake the cake taker. But hey, well, it's exactly what we signed up for. Jumping into a campaign with no idea how to play it. I don't know the faction, but uh, this corner of the map I'm pretty inexperienced with still, all things considered, in a mortal empires. Okay. So I'll just catch up on the chat in a second. We'll have plenty of chances to, uh, to catch it. What we'll do is we'll come back up here, because I think they're going to wait for their reinforcements, so. I should have dragged it here. Let's drag it here. Whoops, I didn't mean to drag that there. Yeah, there we are. Hey! Legend, how you doing? Every time there's a disaster, man, yeah. <laughs> you are uh, I summon the, the power of the Lord of Disaster campaign. How you doing, Legend? <laughs> it seems to curse my campaigns. Yeah, it seems to, man. Uh, I don't know, man, I gotta take some accountability. I decided I'd uh jump into the deep end and uh Yeah. I don't know where where these guys are going. Alright, so I'll just set up my lads this time. <laughs> I mean, we did want something interesting, and I think we got it. But, uh, yeah, actually, I was just super, super, uh, overplaying Wood Elves, and I was gonna make some more Wood Elf content. I thought, you know what? And also, the Wood Elves, they, they're pretty strong in this game. It's the, There hasn't really been a fully difficult. Wood Elf campaign yet, so I thought, you know what, let's... Who's difficult? Kislev are difficult. I kind of forgot how hard they could be. Well, I haven't even played them in Immortal Empires yet, so I thought, here we go. I honestly felt really confident with Kislev. I thought, yeah, I've probably got the moves to pull it off, but... No. Nah. <laughs> Apparently not. Even the Boris Roms, the Chaos one, wasn't this rough. Yeah, that's true. Good, you've been working a while. Yeah, I'm sure uh, <laughs> you've seen the, um, the highs and lows. Definitely, actually, it's kind of funny, like, because the the stream that you saw last time, Legend, was the the Elven plot armor record of getting my tail kicked in, and this one was even worse. So, I appreciate your company, though, mate. Thank you for uh, dropping in. Although, um, I maybe it's just bad luck on my part or just bad targeting, but I'm finding um, targeting single characters. Maybe it's a, a glitchy thing with guard mode. They're just not fucking shooting. They just stop <laughs> in their tracks and just are not interested. Alright. So I think one other person in my Discord had an issue similar to it, but... So it's not just me. Okay, awesome, man. Good to hear, good to hear. Well, it's sort of not good to hear, like, <laughs> I had to try and, to kill an enemy lord, I literally had to just steer my units towards it and just lead them to auto-fire. This is way too, way too wide. I don't like this, um, the fact they could get divided through there is kind of cool. Yeah, just stand there and let them shoot. Yeah, exactly. That, that ended up being what I had to do last time, just aim them to where to go. I know that's often the better way to go with it, but sometimes... You, sometimes, you know, if they're, if they're a tall unit like an orc or something, you can focus them down if you've got that last little shot. 
But when I tried to do it, it was against uh, Azag, so... You know, like a nice... He's not squishy, but you know, he's not, it's not like he's uh, Grimgore. Okay, come on. I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna try and slow one wing of their army down. I've got an idea, actually. Let's... I did not use my micro here, actually. I got distracted and I should have gone like this. So... Will this... Can I bait them into shooting me? Or coming my way? Come on, guys. Over here. Right, because I want one side to come quickly and the other side to not really come at all. What are you guys doing? The cocky side of me wants to drop like a part of winter somewhere, but I don't know if we can have the spot here. That would be the clutch way to win this, would be a, a, just a solid clump up and heart, heart of winter. Uh, well, just uh, aim and let the shoot. They only adjust if they're doing something bad. Shit, I was afraid of that. It's a throwback to Realms of Chaos release. Yeah. Oh, don't remind me. It's quite funny because at first I was like, nah, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Then I played through the Boris campaign to, to completion. Never again. There's two campaigns I'm never ever playing again. And that is uh, Total War Attila, Grand Campaign of any kind, and Realms of Chaos. Oh, actually, I say that. I think there'll be something that drags me back in there. There'll be some form of some release. Or, um... Just maybe the audience will want to see me suffer. So Something to that effect. Okay. Wish I had my armored Kossar still there. Oh, I do actually. Where are they? Oh, they're there. Yes. The Doing their thing. The are mine. Guns of it is my path. Okay, you guys focus them down. You guys shooting? What are you guys doing? Come on. <laughs> Nachoism cells. Well, I don't know. If, if the way I figure, if you can do something, if something works on the hardest difficulty, it'll work on all difficulties. That's the... Like, the reality is, there's, with the difficulties, things get harder, but the best tactics on easy are still the best tactics on legendary it's just on easy and normal you have enough funds to to not be efficient and to have enough to make all your choices whereas on legendary everything takes investment to pay off mm, that's tempting but it's not enough not worth it that's a decent man this kiss there let's take that A sneaky recharge in there. Break these guys off. Oh, she's on a bear now. No. Really tired horse? Yeah. <laughs> That's what that is. Alright. Let's focus down these archers. Move up. Move up. Okay. Alright, so we need enough ammo to defeat these fucking spiders. This was so much easier this time. I don't know why I had such a hard time last time. It's because I didn't take it seriously, that's why. See if I can actually skirmish them into my arrows. Does that work? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, there you go. Alright. 
Cheers everyone for sticking around, hey. This has been such a dicey stream. <laughs> we have accomplished nothing that I wanted to do. Like, I, I thought I had this grand idea of like trying to maybe sort of bunker down and bring Boris into the fold. It's just been survival mode, but I don't know, they, 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 they make for fun streams, you know? Like my last Wood Elf one, it was fun, but it was kind of, by the end of it, it was kind of, well, like I was ready for it to, to, to be done, like I'd taken enough for us, so I was like, yeah, this is, you know. I know, I think that's when the campaigns can sometimes be at their most enjoyable. Like there's something magical about when there is no right choice, there's just, you gotta just bank on your ability and the, the odds of things happening and just hope that it works out. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. I'm so afraid to get you to fucking aim. You're gonna shoot these damn goblins. Come on. Walk in a line. So this is the situation, guys. You want them to walk in a straight line. Because the your archers are gonna volley assuming they're gonna move that way. Oh my god. Do not get eaten by a giant spider. We've come too far for this Katarin. Okay. Oh my god, look at all these guys. What the fuck are you guys doing? Let's let's get up here. Yeah, they'll do. Oh shit, wrong, wrong hockey. I just cannot believe how tough these things are, man. Maybe I could have used Heart of Winter on there. That's possibly something we should have done. Yeah, if I had my time again, that's probably what I would have done. That having them both under the same area, that would have been pretty cool use of Heart of Winter. Oh fuck! I normally have them hotkeyed around the other way, it's really spinning me out. Oh, they were kind enough to kill my boyer, thank you. <laughs> now I don't have the problem. Come on, shoot it down you fucking idiots, come on! Don't make her run! Your people need you, Katarin. Fucking shoot! What are you doing? Shoot! Shoot her! Just in case she's gonna run off the field, we'll cast. Chase him off. Good. That's another one still coming. Cool, they're all aiming at this other one here, so we don't need to reposition them, so... Yeah. Man, I cannot believe this latest patch and all the shit that it's brought in. I, I thought this, the uh, intro build for uh, Immortal Land Pass is pretty good, uh, all things considered, and <laughs> this is kind of what I was originally expecting. And it's like the second take. Come on, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Alright. Cavalry is here. So basically two more units of significance left. Hey Kim, you went out to make breakfast, come back and you see Legend in the chat. Um, you didn't know that? Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> I, when I seem to be suffering in, in pain and my campaign goes disastrous, the total war gods uh, summon, <laughs> summon Legend. He's like, uh, like the Beetlejuice of Total War, like you say, you say disaster three times it appears. I was going to do a short on that, I haven't done that yet. Um. 
Come on, guys. Come on. I uh, appreciate you dropping in, Legend. It's uh, always cool. Always very cool. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Stop. I I'm afraid to stop them from shooting. Like, I just don't trust anything. Alright, everyone stop for a sec. Everyone just fucking stop. Except you, you should move. Alright. Alright, everyone's good. Is everyone, like, lined up? Alright, now everyone, fire at will. Uh, if anyone's wondering why I did that, I was, I, I'm literally paranoid that I don't have enough arrows to kill this thing, and it's gonna waste my entire army. Right, we're gonna start cycle charging some uh, troops. Good, it's over. I'll oh, come on. Break it. Come on. We're not brave. Yes! Actually, uh, send Katarin up this way. Alright, good. Good, good. Ah, uh, please. Please kill it. It's not going too bad. Just uh, just trying to get rid of Azag Draco and it's free real estate to expand. That's... Uh, the, you, you say that right. Like, you, you could look at it that way, but the moment that we get someone else off our borders, there'll be someone else that really hates us. But to me, the, the logical thing to do is to get down to um, Ungrim and the Empire. If we can consolidate that hold, then all of our aggression can be channeled north and then we'll be doing good. That was the plan, but I plan to do that in like 10 turns, not 20 turns, like it's going to take us. Well, let's chew this guy up. Well, I'm glad I didn't get bored and auto-resolve it, because this is a much better outcome than losing, you know, two whole stacks. That's really great advice from the chat, actually. Um, wipe them out, wipe out the characters. But at least these lances are here. I got such a soft spot to the way. Eh? I lost my I lost my um ice guard, which are like you know, a, a great unit in this roster. I didn't like shed a tear if I lose the horses. Because here's the deal, I know I'll build more ice guard because they're good. I cannot justify in this serfdom economy <laughs> being able to afford a stable, let alone hire some winged lances. So Yeah. I think that's why I win. Like, don't win. Sorry, I have to get so upset with my cavalry guy because I know it's such a pain in the ass to rebuild them. Like, if I take a stable in with like the high elves, I might build like two Illyrian rivers and then trash it the next turn. But that's pretty much as far as it goes. Like dragon princes, you can build real dragons instead of cosplay horses. Not gonna happen. The bone rattlers. <laughs> Every time I lose the only units that matter, right? But I kept my wicked lances, so it's alright. And everyone's like, dude, you have your priorities in life very wrong. Um, do I really need these troops? I kinda do. Yeah. Unpaid labor is ideal. Okay, so this turn, this is the turn that we finally take back Azag, and so it's going to be another really long siege attack, so... Know that I can freeze your blood. It's a, it's a case of mental fortitude. More than anything else. I don't want to piss off Draka. Nah. Nah. Just remember, if someone's losing a war and they take that person out, then they're your enemy. And if you've, yeah, if you've been really schmoozy with their enemy, then yeah, you might be a likely next target. Trying to keep our heads down there. Uh, cool. I can't come to it. Very nice. Absolute. And then finally, we need to upgrade our cossars. 
Man, fuck off with the works. You're not right, Dad. What? What are you targeting? He must have targeted Ungram or something like that. So. Okay. Let me think about it. No! Nine units in there, Stop plus, right uh, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I'd rather eat a squeak! I just can't break Daddy. into this fucking settlement. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's just too far. Just too far to She's do that. Yours. For the motherland. I'm done with these guys. Whatever it takes. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Okay, so we don't have enough arrows to take them out like that, but they will fall. If we get these guys, join them up. We can actually deploy them inside Catherine's army, which is nice. Although they get those if he they stay with him. Uh Hmm. Kinda don't intend for this guy to really live or be useful for that much longer than this. Uh he might have to take attrition, but nah. Fuck it, where's Warbears? Can't go wrong. This is mine by Okay. Right. I won't it cements my power. But um uh the dim can't make the much. Um he just can't reach it. Oh, actually, he can. He can reach. Oh, that's excellent. For some reason, I thought he couldn't. That's cool. So, this guy, move up. He's got enough for ambush afterwards if we manage to pull this off. And we'll throw... Actually, does this work? If I throw him into... Oh, what? Why, why would it let... Ah. Uh, I stop asking questions when shit doesn't work anymore. I just take it. Smile and take it. I am Kislev. Frost's command. Okay, let's do it. So apparently, guys, if you haven't seen the latest news, the the, uh, the October patch is going to have an update to sieges, uh, a reduction somehow, or they're going to start addressing the the siege fatigue factor. Uh, which I think would be cool because I don't mind attacking sieges that much as long as. The army losses hit at a decent point. I think they have already fixed a lot of it. Like, I used to rage over offensive sieges because they'd have one little unit in the town center and you just got to keep tackling them down. I think they, the armies break sooner than they used to and I like that. But... They're just long. The thing is, they're long and time-consuming. And they feel long and time-consuming. Which is kind of cool because a siege probably should feel like that, but then you need to write less of them in your narrative. You know, if, it, if it's too long-winded. Okay. Man, I'm out of practice with this edge of the map. Alright. Fuck it, let's just... <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna nuke these guys. Step one. Delete these guys. <laughs> Six seconds. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. Alright. Let's uh, put a half ass checkerboard together. And we're not even gonna turn it off fast forward to deal with these guys. This will be fun. Uh, Alright, up you go. And let's do it. I love a long battle uh, from time to time. It's super satisfying, but sometimes you want to roll through a province fast. I do agree. I mean, some long battles, they feel epic. Like, yeah. For the motherland. Uh, especially on, on Legendary, it's, there's some part. fights that are long, and they that, that the time that they take is just super on point. You know, it's like just the right amount of uh, the right amount of epic. 
But then, yeah, of course, then there's other times. Attention. Chase these guys off. The advantage of uh, attacking them when you're near the edge of the map is you can chase them off the map. So if they look like they're trying to run away from it, fence them off like this. Uh, I find it really useful with cavalry to, to attack with lions. I got this. Um, I actually obtained this uh, this habit. You, like, you wouldn't have seen me do it in my early earlier uh, videos or streams. Uh, there might be a good reason not to do it. Yeah, you know, I might just be uh, underthinking something, right? But I found in Total War Attila the the pathfinding was just fucking useless um for the people forgot about mother <laughs> mother army typical of me all right barcode formation up here <laughs> barcode backed up with more barcode execute them the people's rulers okay uh what's the best way in all right barcode a bit more barcode. Okay. Okay. All right, you're just getting shot at. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Just trying to shatter these guys. Man, I want to fast forward this, but if I do, we're going to lose a lot of stuff, so... Come on, chase off. Chase them off. Let's draw some dicks so she <laughs> runs in circles. This is an excellent, now I remember this map, this is an excellent uh, pot to, to hit in because if you have uh, like wind style spells, they can bounce off the walls here, you can do some wicked uh, wicked pinball action, it's hilarious. Alright, right, we're getting shot to pieces by these towers. Okay, what's their range like? Maybe we'll just stay a little bit outside their range, right? It's a bit silly to uh, feed ourselves to them just like that, so... You actually don't enjoy fast forward, I'd rather you uh, scoop the camera in for some close range. Okay. Uh, we, we can consider that. Uh, when I see you and this other guy this afternoon taking advantage of bigger and ping pong uh, on enemy units to charge, I'm like, that's how they win these. Yeah, honestly, um, things like that can be really, really decisive. Uh, especially getting more mileage out of your wind spells, that can be massive. Really, really big. Uh, you guys can get... Okay. Up you go. Okay. Still not shooting. Fuck it, we're just gonna have to go in. I wish I'd just got in the same entrance, eh? It's so much harder to keep track of. I wish they'd fix this. This is so hard to do it. Come on. Yeah. You all get up there. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, this is looking good so far. Alright, so the idea is we're just going to try to move in like a couple units at a time and kind of build this up like a Lego brick wall in a way, if that makes sense. Okay. It gets a bit more hard when you're in a tight corridor like this because you don't run through your guys too much because it'll stop them from shooting. Good thing is a lot of their units are goblins, so they've got really poor leadership, so we don't have to actually kill that many of them to get them off the field. Magic. Pretty good. She's looking pretty good. Okay, cool. So these guys are still blasting away. So there we go. They're doing. They're doing good. They're doing exactly what we want them to do. We'll start running them up there. Down there. Okay, cool. Now how's this one looking? So we're just going to kind of be gravitating between the two piles, making sure they're getting good shots, being efficient. Soft voice. So, you don't want to be too fast at the same time. When you're staying still, remember you're getting shot at by towers. And we don't have the ammo to waste taking down towers. Alright. That could be fun. Oh, don't run. Not bad. Oh, that looks awesome. Yes, that's all we want. Okay. Seem to actually get another grouping in there, but I don't like this arch. I think it's going to obscure some shots. Yeah. Alright, so hit fast forward here. While they're clearing these first rooms out. So as they clear out units that, that are there, they they see these units here and they um, see how much the, the balance of power, the force that you have here, so they'll want to bring the units to meet it. So that's why it kind of feels like they keep feeding armies to you. But at the same time though, it's kind of senseless for them not to at least have some defense. Okay, so... Can we... Nah! Can we really gently... Really gently... Nah. Let's keep them back here just a bit longer. Okay, you move up here. You move. So each one we move forward, we're trying to bait them back a little bit more. Cool. That's looking really good. That's nice. Let's have a quick look over here how they're doing. Alright, it's looking good. Basically clear, right? So what we'll do is move these guys up. Actually, you know, this, this is the thing. We could move up, not in barcode. But we'll do that. But what we'll do is get one unit, one nice big complete unit. And he's going to fence them off. And we're going to do that exactly the same right here. So, not a great barcode, but... All we can do is get the ones that are... Oh, didn't work. Didn't work at all, okay. Ah, fuck it, I'm sure it'll be fine. We're, we're not really in any real trouble here. Oh, man. Starting to run out of ammo, though. 
Starting to feel the pinch. Okay, so here we're using the wall. We'll bounce off. Do a little bit of extra damage. Just gotta be careful to get too much friendly fire when you pull that off. Guy doing? How are these guys doing? Doing good. Yep. See, I would attack, but what will happen is they'll all kind of fan out the wrong way. Cool. So once this is cleared, you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm actually gonna get these guys, get them to stand, so they'll be taking this at the same time. Cool. They, these were like big units we could use um, Heart of Winter, but that's just simply overkill here. Oh, let's pull you back, you're getting your ass kicked. Clear that first. So meeting them up in the middle, looking good so far. More damage on Katarin than we would have liked. Are these guys getting shot? I feel like they probably are. That's smart. You would have wasted a heart of winter. Yeah, it's uh, it all depends on what you're versing. The thing is though, orc boys, we can handle those. Things with like either a lot of hit points or just a huge cluster, then it could be maybe worth it. Right, they were successful in dropping the first tower there. Actually, you know these guys? Let's just march them up to uh, attack them. They don't want to go that way, fair enough. Wasting out winter magic like that. Returning fire, are they? You guys returning fire? Excellent. Can't return some fire. Okay. Oof, it's just these, these archers. The only concern I have is the archers. Might be time to send the cavalry in. We get a good one of these. Oh, that's a good one. Let's just rush these guys. Here we are. Cool. 
attack. Move you guys up there. Oh, they're, doing, they're doing a bit. They're doing okay. Not as much as we need, but, you know. Guys doing you guys taking this in the middle? Alright. Is that army losses? Could be out there we are. Alright, cool. Now remember some of these were reinforcements. I'm pretty sure we destroyed the entire reinforcing army, so we should be fine. Okay, finally, we should have done that about five fucking turns ago, but <laughs> we got here in the end, alright? Happy days in the end. God damn, look at her, she looks undead. She looks like she's ate someone's heart whole. So like they double down the blood effects. Some people get really like annoyed at like how over the top the blood is, I'm like, it's fun, you know? It doesn't personally take me out of it at all. Like I think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, big battle. Yeah, uh, finally things are shaping up a bit. <laughs> Getting our asses kicked a little bit less these days. Always nice. Are they get any more XP there not. Uh, Goblin does not want to die. Okay, we don't want you to die yet. Okay, so I think we'll be... Well, we're going to get attacked soon. <laughs> That's the thing, is Clan Molder I'm genuinely concerned about, but... Like I said, if we can close this uh, this front off, we should get a gold mine out of this, which will give us a huge buff in our um, income. That'll be 600 gold, so that's you know roughly six of these guys. That's pretty good. The portraits are a bit much, but uh, far preferable to not having the rest. Yeah. I think maybe what would be cool is if it maybe scaled up, like, you know, if you kill a few people, it's like maybe a bit of splatter, but if you've been in a big fight like this, by the end of it, you're drenched. Like, I know it's not realistic. You may have noticed you like to zoom in and watch your little bros commit grotesque murder. I can get that. Dude, that's a huge, huge arm. There's, there's a lot of uh, people that totally dig that, eh? They just like to play on these difficulties and zoom right in and just... Just watch these things smash apart. Like, it's easy to forget that this is like a tabletop game from like, you know, the 80s. Like, some people have like waited their whole lives to see these, these things beat the shit out of each other. It's pretty damn cool. It's actually really cool, I think. And they, I don't know, most of the, everything that I see brought into life here just looks really good. And some things look way better. Like, the dragons in this game look a fuck ton better than they do in, on the tabletop. Okay. The motherland grows. It grows. I see. I don't want to knock that down <laughs> because that is helpful. Me. It's very helpful. It's going to help us win this race. I will need things. I don't know the rate that he's increasing. As soon as he gets over forty, we're going to spend five thousand gold. So we need to keep five k up our sleeve or close to, and we're going to stop him from oh, yeah. winning because this first milestone is actually pretty good. Plus 10 diplomatic relations, and then um, plus 2 control on legendary, that does add up. 
It's like being a general in one of your own battles of Helm's Deep. Yeah, yeah, I'd have said. My power. That's cool. With this, so, my rule is absolute. This guy. No. no higher authority. Done. So we may as well take these guys out. It's only a border with the Empire. Forget who starts down here, Karakedrin. Well, hell's my men. Highborn son. Elias, uh, 2002, Games Workshop couldn't make a good female tabletop model to save their life until the year 2004. <laughs> it sounds about right. Welcome Stop to the stream, mate. Off. Good to see you. Uh, Guardian's call. I do like this. I really do like it. Am I being silly by going for it? Maybe not. It's a pretty good thing to have in the back pocket, man. I'm gonna do it. A gift gonna from Kislev's great gods. Now I'm gonna keep this second army here because I think we can use it. We can probably split apart and take both of these, and we can kill these guys in one fell swoop with both armies together. And that will give us the momentum we need oh, yeah. to finally, finally not feel like we're 10 turns behind. What turn are we at anyway? Turn 11. We're not doing terribly. I'm being a drama queen. <laughs> I'm so overreacting to it. Ostermark. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Let's go 410. Four twenty-five. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Nice. On it. The boss. All right. Fingers crossed. Now, if I wanted to be really, really careful here and guarantee it, which I'm kind of thinking of, I could get another lord from here. I've still got a couple that are loosely injured. Right, and what I could do is hire another two units because I'm just afraid that I'm going to get uh, ground down a bit too hard and these two busted up armies aren't going to be able to get the job done. But, you got to have faith. Oh, wait a sec, does that mean we can get our... Yes, you fucking beauty. Frost Maiden. That was probably ready like five turns ago. That doesn't matter. It's all good. Um, biting wind, I love it. And the passive. So this is just like an icy burning head knockoff. Um, yeah, sure. Cool. Okay, uh, fortunes are turning up, my friends. Let's have a look at Clan Mulder. How are they? They're doing really strong. These wolves are like limited in shelf life. We're getting nearly 700 from trade, but half of that's coming from those dwarfs. So that's a concern. I feel like this is, it's such a waste of money, but at the same time, I feel like we need it. That's really good. Cheap Cossars. And even cheaper Cossars. Yeah. Right. To be honest, you only checked out Total War Warhammer 2 because you felt you hadn't... Uh, you felt you starved the new Lord of the Rings type games. Or you felt starved of them. You don't normally do a lot of RTS later uh, either, but the first time you loaded it, you knew you'd play it a lot. Yeah, I think Total War's like that because... There was game. There's, there's some games that are like that, but games where you get to manage a kingdom and actually feel like you're ruling a kingdom, they. Total War, I feel like, was the first one to. Th there's been a few before it, but that was like the one which just so knocked it out of the park, hey? Like when you play Medieval 2. Yeah, just, just ooze that vibe, you know? Decisions feel impactful, it just had that big feel of scale. By blood. Okay, so hop in. Camp at once. Here's the thing, right? If I my rule spread, 
My decision is law. So he could breach that next turn. Why can't he go back into encamp stance? What the, the fuck no is with that? Falter. What is the actual? What the fuck is with that? Uncle Come on. Oh, it's such bullshit. Why? Why, why did these things happen? Frosts. An exquisite destination. Mistress of Ice. How do you get all your units back so quick? You're so full of shit, Azag. None shall question me. No sense. We are both None of it makes any sense. You and I. It'll still take me two turns to get there. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the remains of that stack. So if I go here to get to like here's the thing I don't know I feel like I'm just gonna have to take the attrition I don't really know don't really trust Follow if my movement will actually hold it in we can do it I believe in you Katarin and the goal that we get from that will help us prevent Lord him Double. from getting the deal you sometimes think that movement spent uh, changing stance um, stays spent or something. It sometimes does, it sometimes doesn't, sometimes it, like, I changed out of that stance going, it might fuck me if I change back. But I feel like it's an overcorrection because people used to abuse it to bug the movement and move around. And they just, I, I don't know if you can still do it or not, but yeah. I feel like they did this to stop it from calculating, but like it sometimes it stops you changing back. They need something to help you draw a line and measure your distance the next turn a bit more accurately. That'd be nice. That's all you would be good. So if we defeat an army that belongs to any of them, we get a ton of relations with them. That's not happening. And you're looking like your old news already. Okay. Uh, first up, let's take this. Frost fangs bite. And we don't need a siege attacker now, thanks to the new changes. Oh, this is going to be another tedious siege. Feeling the siege fatigue, guys. Feeling the siege fatigue. Good thing is, once we do this, this is the last tedious one. The next one will be easy, and then... We should have field battles for a while because we've got Clan Mulder. And then we need to take Prague. So Prague might fall to the the Norskins. I'm half tempted to take it off um, the uh, Ropes, Ropes Clan guys at the top. Yeah, once you get past a few common mistakes, it's pretty unintuitive. It's pretty intuitive. Yeah, I, I think it'd just be nice if you just hover over and just like measure your own because you can see the enemy's movement. <laughs> you know, like you can see their movement. Why can't we do the same thing with our own guys? Like that'd be so much easier. Is that the best place to go? I think that likely is. Either way, we're gonna have to take some towers to the face. Are there towers there? There's no towers there. This looks friendly. Why can't we deploy here? Still, I'm like thinking, why don't we go here? <laughs> this looks pretty good to me. So if we go here, here. Now the, the biggest risk we have is we have Azag in, in here as well. I mean, this could be a lot more difficult than I'm probably giving it any credit for, but still. Okay. You guys can hide behind there. Let's do this. Alright. 
Well, that was pretty damn easy. And we are on a bear, bitch. Yeah. Okay, if we can take out some of these. So what we're just trying to do, guys, we're trying to prioritize what is going to beat up Kossars in melee. That's the only question you should ask if you're trying to do some target priority. Because Kossars are pretty good in melee. Orcs gonna give us a hard time. Goblins not so much, right? So trolls, of course, that's a priority. So let's let them mince the trolls. Any minute now. There we are. Uh, they've got troll sympathies, it seems. Oh my god. Maybe I'm wasting a bit too much ammo here. It's hard to say. Actually, I've got an idea. I have a pretty cool idea, actually. What if... I've got it. I'm going to bust through this gate, send a fresh unit of Cossars right there, they're going to run in, hold the line, and I'm going to drop a Heart of Winter and just melt these guys into the dust. Turn these guys into ice cubes. But this is a good spot. We're not really taking any damage here. This is nice. Just enjoying ourselves up on the walls. God damn, I love the bear mount. Hey, Brandon, are you still watching? I, I don't care if there's no other mounts for uh, Kislev. They belong on bear mounts. This is their jam. This is the source. Bear mounts are the shiz. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll throw a bear mount right here. Yeah, well, let, let him fire his arrows first. Alright, cool, yeah, th this guy's... Well, basically all of them have fired their arrows, so... <laughs> we have a lot of sh shit to kill, guys. This is... Mm. My little dig deep strategy has now become literally our primary tactic. And our only means of success. Let's drop this guy. Why can't I cast it? It's not letting us put... What? Why? I don't get it. There? What is yes! considered appropriate snow leopard territory? Alright, that's another bug for the list, guys. <laughs> what, what is wrong with this? Okay, let's just let them use all their ammo. We'll just try to bustle them up against the gate. Horses uh, into the group zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, they're at the top there. So I'm hoping that they get bored of guarding this gate so then they can go take it and we can maybe do some capturing. Okay, these guys are out of ammo, so cool. All right, in the gate you go, guys. This is where we are. Ouch. Okay, maybe I should have like considered the fact that they had brain genes too. When I say maybe, I mean I should have. 
and I'm an idiot for not doing so. Alright, can I, can I cast my fucking... Ah, oh, well it worked that time. Excellent. Okay, let's cast Heart of Winter. Is it even worth it? I don't think it's even fucking worth it, eh? I better probably doing multiples of these. Oh, I guess there's big guns in there. If they keep on, if they keep piling in, then yeah, we'll do it. This, by the way, guys, this is a really effective tactic. Um, uh, credit to Eric, our um, sub mod, for uh, popping this one to my attention. I know it's not a big kept secret, but just bring it into part of your siege tactics. Busting through the gate and uh, creating a melee here can really open up a lot of opportunity. To get a bit of uh, ricochet action. Let's try that. It's 22 versus 6. Like, I'm using a turn up a lot of our, like our abilities there if I use that. Guys coming in. Land is power. Okay, let's hit fast forward here. Damn, we're struggling against the big guns. God damn, guys, hurry up. They're not that tough. What's going on, guys? Like, it's not that tough, guys. Come on. Oh fuck. The, the towers do hurt though. I think we're a bit fucked here guys, I don't know if we can pull this off. What if uh, our horses can get in there without getting killed? like they got in there in one piece. How are the big guns steady? They're, like I just don't get why these guys are fucking fearless. What is going on? The Zazag buff him, I can't even remember. Get your silver helms defeat deleted by an unlucky uh, chain lining. Ouch. Yes. Hey, is that Zag?
I think I'm like, fuck guys, I don't really know how to pull this off. But, oh, let's just yippee ki -yay, shall we? Shall we yippee ki -yay? Yeah, we're just getting picked apart by spells, let's just do it. yippee ki fucking yay But the previous time worked amazingly. my guys clump like that, it's just kind of feeding him kills, but I don't really know what else I can do. Opportunities we need. I think we're a bit screwed, guys. God damn, this is like yet another ass kicking of a battle. Oh, what? Oh, she dropped. Did I lose her? No. Well, now we're definitely screwed. She's retreating. Alright, well we'll just hit fast forward then, eh? see how we go. Yeah, they're retreating. God damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Moving through the gate is the worst thing in major settlement sieges. Yeah, I know, it's such a pain in the tail. Okay, we've got to find a better way to do that. We definitely got the tools, I just thought we'd be able to hoard the, like, herd them together a little bit more conveniently. So what we'll do next time is we'll start off with that main strategy, right? We're gonna, we'll come through the front gate, same sp space, right? But we'll come through with a single unit of Cossars, and then they can herd around that and we'll fire arrows over the top so we get much better saturation into a wider blob of our enemies. We can also, excuse me, uh, better target what we're trying to hit there. Definitely uh, feeling a bit green, <laughs> pun intended, green fighting green skins. It's been a while. Can we hire any uh, regiments for now? Bite. I decide. Ah, uh, that'd be cool, otherwise. Kislev never falters. We can do it. They invite death. It's hard though. Alright. The other thing we could do is try to pit lock them down in siege, but I think we're still taking attrition. Uh, if we fail this time, we'll just pin them down under siege and uh, force them to come to us. Should be able to handle them in the battlefield. And uh, don't know, so uh, Naus, Naus, good to see you in the in the stream. Thank you. And uh, everyone else who's stuck with me, goddamn, you are a loyal. <laughs> A loyal, loyal following, and I could not ask for more. This has been... <laughs> Literally, we could call this campaign the hard way. So, we get a barcode. 
throw some more barcodes on the barcode. I'll actually start the, the horses here this time because I want everyone down this, this way this time. Yes. For generations, yeah, so. Kisnik has endured unspeakable horrors. This is a mere distraction. Taking point! On the mat! Okay, so we're just setting up to shoot them off the walls. Cavalry, we go here. Okay, so they're coming down because they, maybe they know they're at range. Not sure what the behavior is. Okay. Full set up. There's all range units there, so I don't mind them having a few shots at those, right? That's that's a good trade. Plus, they're also staying still, allowing us to get really good efficiency. One unit down. Okay, so far, so good. Are they going to bring others in? You guys want to try the same thing? You're welcome to. Oh, I realize it's a bad idea. Good. This is good. Come on, keep shooting. I think we're probably losing a few arrows to the edge here. Still somewhat needed to do what we're trying to achieve here. Alright, now everyone stop and we're gonna stop shooting. Okay, everyone turn off fire at will. Okay, so let's set ourselves up. We can get really good use of our arches. Actually... Sons of Kislev. Let's do a fossil for one second, get them back in there. What happens if we just target these guys? Just them and only them. Can you guys make that work? You guys are not trying to board the walls, are you? Good. What are you fucking doing? What are you doing? Just targeting is just absolutely terrible at the moment. What the fuck is going on? Um, do I have to literally turn fire at will on? Fight. I gotta say, it's not not ideal streaming uh, situation here, guys. I'm sorry. They're gonna run in, aren't they? Actually, no, I had this issue with the Dark Elves as well, actually, briefly. I did have this issue. Getting your asses kicked, eh? This ain't working. It, not being able to actually ta force target what we want to hit. Like, I want to shoot these archers, but they still want to shoot. 
What if I take up guard mode? Will they... What are they going to do? Okay, okay, they shot when I turn them off guard mode. That's, that's a start. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to click that. No! Oh, no, I misclicked that. Damn it. Turn off guard. Alright, we'll there for a moment. What a waste. Last horse, come on. It is done. Go with honor for the throne. Abandon. So let us go all guns blazing. Why not? Alright. I don't think I can win this one on the battlefield, guys. There might be a way I can cheese the victory point, but uh, this ain't the way to do it. Range unit out of line of sight is terrible and serious. Yeah, I know. Climbing two or three. Uh, I thought that, but here's the deal. If you try it, they'll just meet you up on the walls, and the the targeting gets even worse. That that was 100% what I used to do. My standard procedure would be clear the walls, take the walls, and shoot inside the settlement. Right? Nice, easy three steps, but I uh, just you can't do it when that you can't force fire. Like it just really works against you. See, so you take the, the walls like this, then they start marching up the walls instead of being all on the floor here. Damn, why can't this work? Man, this is like the buggiest fucking build of Warhammer 3 I've played yet. This is fucked. I've genuinely had trouble with fights because I've genuinely had trouble fighting them, but there's been at least a couple of losses we've had this stream that have been due to just things that we can't do because it's fucking bugged. Is this all that's left? Well, it's actually kind of close, isn't it? Why can't I do why can't I hire this? It is my path. It is so. 
Actually, that's working, but this won't. Ballad grounds. Oh, she's retreated. Oh dear. Oh. Managed to catch that one. Fuck me, wow, that's so disappointing. Just when you do some cool rescue daddy shit. I know, I know. Like, just not being able to sh aim and shoot is just crippling. Absolutely crippling. Like, it was derpy before, don't get me wrong, it was really derpy before, but they just straight up just don't want to do it. It was, I did have similar problems with this actually. Uh, in the previous build, when I was playing as the Dark Elves, doing my Malekith walkthrough, I was finding the same sort of deal, getting the shoot over them, but that was kind of also because crossbows have a shorter range, so naturally you've got a bit of more challenge with that, but this is just, fuck. They, they've got a good range. They're, the Cossars are good, man. Uh, George Orwell with a $10 super trap. Really hate uh, troops climbing walls automatically, even if just one set of stairs pulls up. Lost a couple of CDs because of this. Also, just about the gate being open, they still climb the walls due to finding a way. I know, I know. Uh, thank you so much as well. Appreciate you, mate. Thank you for the support. What we'll do is we will put down... But yeah, 100% know what you mean, man. It's, uh, it can be really frustrating. Like... There needs to be, you know what I was thinking, this is similar to what I think um, would sort of fix what George is talking about here is they need a guard mode, right? But force shoot, but force shoot everyone that can still reach in that guard mode. Like being able to actually defend a spot on the wall like that would be really, really helpful. Because at the moment, you just gotta sit there, if you choose to attack, they'll move forward and then you're like, man, I wish I didn't touch them. <laughs> this is so much worse than, than what we would have had to deal with. Oh, fuck, it's going to be a hard fight. Oh, yeah. Going to be a very hard fight. But uh, that's the life we've got to live. Strategy. Done. I can't let any challenge go so, uh, you're at war with everyone, so I think I'll see if You've I get the Wargrove of Woe you're gonna feed my to uh, pay me some money. To join the war against these guys. Fair enough. Okay. In charge. You've done it now. You're gonna feed my hunger. Okay. For Mother Kislev. Frost. Cool. And we get our frost mage to join the battle. We're just gonna encircle it first. Fuck me. That's actually a decent garrison. I should have looked first. Lizards embrace. The ice court shall provide. Okay. I order their death. Oh, no worries. Alright guys, I just have to go to the bathroom for one second. You guys can count to 30 and I'll be right back. We are back. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around. Always appreciate it. Always, always. So you're living in a small place, you can get to the bathroom in like five steps. Yeah, that's a pro. Certainly a pro. All right. 
Uh, can I go for the great fire batting trips? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so how are we going to handle this? Let's get... Yeah, I'm just going to try and fucking shout out these guys with arrows. They do have a lot of shields, which is the really irritating part of this. Let's see just how, if we can just go for a full frontal assault. Can we out ogre the ogres? Okay, let's try casting. Will they move? That's the question is, will they move? Come on, uh, will this work? Nah, it's not a great setup. Even getting them over there. guys in two seconds, come on. Dancing around with our characters because their towers are totally targeting them, and we need them there for obvious reasons. As boy is actually level 10, eh? We're getting some pretty high level characters pretty quickly, and goddamn kids love a heart. Dare I say this is this is tougher than the the realms of chaos? Actually, I I, I would almost Everywhere. certainly say it is. If I was expecting realms of chaos, I this hard, I probably would have found a better campaign to do blindly without any idea of prep <laughs> before live streaming. What's that worth? That's worth six. You guys want to start shooting now? Shooting is good. You should. Try shooting. Yes. Told you shooting would work, guys. Come on. Hearts of ice. I'm afraid to tell you to do anything now. You guys are so fucking it useless at aiming. Power. We fight for Ulsan. Good. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Defenders of Kislev! Vegas of Ice! Frost Maiden! Comrades of the Fair! Obeying my authority! Okay, just aim ourselves a little bit this way. What if you ally with the Ogres and hire some mercenaries to Katarina before attacking the Ogres? That would have been a pretty damn good idea! I am regretting not <laughs> doing that. That's a fucking excellent idea. Man, you learn so much from the chat. That's really good. I like that. How much more do we have to push through? Is the question. Prestige beyond compare. Execute them, sons of Kislev. Come on. 
Alright, we're running real low at ammo now. The Ogre Bulls. Oh shit! Didn't even fucking see these guys. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, man, we need some armored Cossars, hey. It's our lack of front line that's really getting us beat up at the moment. We need shields. I thought they'd be a bit more piled in by that than that, sorry. Okay, let's try this. Nice, that, that was okay. It was okay. I think this guy's gonna drop. Holy oh, crap, fuck guys! Alright, send in the backup. Fresh troops, get in there. Let's do what we can. I knew it would come down to magic, but I didn't think it would be this tight. Okay. I don't know if we can pull this off either. God damn, I've got myself in a bit of a bind here, haven't I? I am the storm. Slay these dogs! Mark is left! Born in power! I don't know how the fuck we're gonna take these guys down! Fuck, guys. Seeking opportunity and honor. Go and get out. Wherever I'm needed. Abandon the point. Following the squad. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I think I've just power. fucked this campaign, eh? Like four realsies. Right. Guys, this could be it. This could be the day I die. Okay, where are we at? Uh, you should have allies. Finally say Kislev is listed as recommended for beginners. I do not find the Kislev campaign easy at all. I think the High Elves is the only beginner friendly campaign. You are 100% right. This is not a beginner friendly faction at all. Why the fuck did I do that? That was such a stupid war to start. Hmm. I got so greedy trying to branch off. I could have just joined the armies, taken one, gone round, taken out the ogres. Absolutely cocky. So stupid. So, the vampires should be, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. You got the idea that you start the, to start to fight the ogres. It's getting late anyway. Yeah. Two orcs, two orcs equals five orcs. Dude, of course. Everyone knows that. Hmm. What is the best way around this? Cut them down. So we're taking attrition here. That's the biggest issue we have. She's not taking attrition, so she's in a perfectly fine spot. He is. None may direct my recipes. 
Pull us to for infantry. Yep, that will be good for him. Okay, let's let's think ahead oh, yeah. here. We're, we're still fine. We're still fine. Okay. Construction is all good. He will likely attack. The other alternative is we fall back. We accept that we need to fall back. Let's accept this as uh, I didn't look properly. I got distracted. didn't look properly and started a war which I shouldn't have started. Because <laughs> that is what it is. Uh... If he pushes me away, then it's just more movement that we lose next turn. He's going to recruit more. Okay, we'll fall back. What's, what's the chance? 50%, you know what, fuck it, I'll take that. I will take that. Cool. Fuck these guys. We'll be right. And I hope these guys... They're surely going to... Are they not losing attrition from being under siege? What? All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> the Malay chase the cheats of the hour. Just bumped up to OP with levels. Nah, dude, Before it's uh, they're not even. You are a stain upon existence. That's what we're waiting for. Okay. Well, the good thing is we're ready for him. Sort of. Sort of. You dick! I knew you'd do this. I don't think I could win it. I really don't. But I owe it to you guys to try. I do owe it to you to try. You know, I owe it to you to fucking win. I played atrociously. I've just, I've just made a few rash decisions, but really, really bad ones. I played this like it was like a relatively easy campaign. It needed a lot more foresight. Like this shouldn't have happened. We should have joined both our armies up, take out Azag, march back up, regroup and heal. Take out the ogres. We had the time. But who's to say we did have the time though, right? It's it's one of those things, you, you rip yourself when it doesn't go right, but if it had gone right, we'd be past it and not even thinking about it. So. This, I can use. I can use that. We have to bunch these guys up. If we have any hope at all. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're, we've got... See this edge here, guys? We can actually get a little bit around there. Where's, see that? See this? This is what we're hoping for. We want to get a ball of them here. Heart of Winter. Heart of Winter is our only hope of winning this. So... It is my path. For generations, Kislev has endured unspeakable horrors. This is a mere distraction. Okay. Alright, so, uh, that's there, 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 fuck which one was he, there, this word sends us forth, comrades of the bear, Taking position! Wherever Ursen asks! Oh fuck! Forgot about you guys! Well, the good thing is... You guys did what I needed you to do, and that was to, uh... Split them up at least a little bit. Every bit counts. Armored Cossars, right? So, 
this is uh what's happened here right is i've let my technology let us down here so this is army composition based uh strategy flaws that we're having here okay because we don't have a proper front line we've got okay we have great basic units right but they're ultimately basic units and we're trying to fight fucking orcs in malay right do, do you know what I mean the common sense of this actually kind of spells out why we're having issues? Good, 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 good. Come on, guys. Good. All right, Jaguar, you are eating tonight. Where is it? There it is. Considering that orc arrow boys, they it's these aren't like high elf archers, right? These are actual proper fucking orcs that are wielding those those bows, right? So they they don't shoot as well as many other factions, but they will fucking punch you properly, right? In the mouth, punch you right in the mouth. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get these guys to follow these horses uh, and and basically be up. Come on. Come on, guys. Is it that hard to fucking shoot a guy that's right in front of you? Do you know how torturous that is, guys? He's right there, and if I force click and tell him to uh, everyone to attack him, they won't do a thing. <laughs> Literally. The leader of their faction is right there, and I can't do a thing about it. Can we shoot their archers though? Cool. So archer targeting not so bad. Worried about taking a lot of damage in Malay here. Okay. Oh shit, trolls, trolls come in. Fuck me. Okay. Oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, uh, slow them down. Slow them down. I'm, tr I'm counting on these guys to be able to clear this mess up by the time she gets in. Is it really that hard to shoot a guy right in fucking front of you guys? Oh fuck me! I just have to aim them in the right direction, that's all I can do, they'll fucking miss otherwise. Come on! Really? Shoot you fucking idiots, shoot, thank you, thank you, please, please, please finish him. Come 
people! I go! Very well! Repositioning! Alright, horses. I can actually use you guys down here now. Alright, well, at least he's off the field. Good, they've shattered. Okay, so, this is good, this is good. Um, take him off, force match. Uh, oh, fuck! Ah, no, don't die! Not you guys! Not my winged lances! You guys know that I'm sensitive to that! No! I forgot about you guys! Now you're fucked! Okay, you know what? Let's accept that that's kind of where it's at. Alright, well at least there's only a very few units left. Right, we can take advantage of that, this. Ah, oh, poor Lancers. Do you know how many good units died? <laughs> So you, your useless asses could be kept alive? Oh, you're still alive. Still alive. Fuck me. Uh, what are we going to do? Okay. You guys can make your way home. You get like a medal or something. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. You guys can, like, bunker up back here. Very well. Got one off hex. It only works one unit, though. No one here has a shield either, so I'm just going to kind of stand there and eat their fucking arrows like a chump. Alright, so... God, they actually made it. Come on. Flanks are secure. Don't run away. Don't run away. If they run off the field, they're fucking dead. Sure, she can actually go up here and finish these two off at least. Oh wait, where the fuck are you guys going? <laughs> Get back! Cool. All right, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Yes, this might work. They're doing a lot of damage to us, so I think we should we should just try to stop them. Come on, shoot. Just 
Got to be careful here, because if we get uh, too, too caught up. Arches, and we have just enough for one part of winter, guys. This is the coup de grace. Let's finish this. I just need to guarantee that they'll get into this area here. Everything hinges on this. Alright. Come on. Alright, charging now. Turn them in. Alright, come on. I thought that would do so much more. Come on. Break them. Break them. Salina Catherine. Choke on ice. Wherever Ursan asks. Oh, yes. don't fail now. They're gonna fucking die. We're fucked. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Come on. The frost bringer. Come on. Just break. Break them. Well, that's that one's broken. Come on, guys. I don't know how to how to win this. Maybe they weren't all engaged. I don't. Fuck. There's more coming. Damn it, guys. I'm so sorry. I blew the fight. Oh, I'm so upset. I thought that was gonna be fucking epic. Sorry, guys. Man, I'm having no luck on the battlefield today. This is like a tribute to Greenskins, this stream. What a fucking fuck around this has been. Wow. Man, we are fighting for everything. That wasn't even a poorly fought fight, to be honest. The Purple Heart, yeah, retreating to their asses. God damn. Hey, Skaven Dan, how you doing, man? Good that you just up. Dude, it's how they uh, try to prevent dodgy ammo, huh? Okay, t check out Melius Gaming on YouTube. His uh, vi video on how to gunpowder formation is excellent. Yes, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. There was a good one that was there. Uh, or do a barcode. I do. I like the barcode when it comes to um, George Orwell checkerboard. Maybe I think that's what it should have. Jeez, it, sorry guys, I missed so much of the chat here. Now, thing is, that was so fucking close. So incredibly close. What are you guys up to? You guys, I think I can win it. But there is a chance I could fail. So up to you guys. Do we fail or do we regroup and build up? Yeah, good thanks, man. Yeah, Azag 5, Elven Flood Armor 1. Yeah, I know. I know. I think he's got like five fucking wins against me this game. Kids left Supreme. George Orwell, great ever, man. Maybe it's time to go home and to get some shields and swords. Great battle. Could have gone either way. Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate all, all your help as well, George. You're a champ. It was a long fight. Tough fight. No sweat, man. 
Uh, what sh what should we do, guys? Should we go go home or get some shields or can we fucking win it? I'll tell I'll tell you what we'll do. <laughs> zero de zero defeat, Catering campaign win. <laughs> well, you know what, Legend? We we almost got there this time. <laughs> Oh man, oh dude, oh dude, oh dude. Um, you know what? I think, I think we're a bit of a while at that one. I think I, I don't think I could find a better one to uh, a more difficult one to do than this. Actually, it can be done though. I think it can be done. You just have to make sure you get these territories early, and then once you've got this and you've got an army at the top, because one army can defend the north. I think. Uh, I'll try it more, I'll, okay, I'll try it one more time. I've got this other idea. If this doesn't fucking work, then it's alright. But what, I've, what I'm going to do is the same spot, pull back, but this time just let them all come to me, drop Heart of Winters on them, and hopefully that wins. If it doesn't work, we'll just chicken shit back. <laughs> this is the most disastrous stream in history. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay. We just do not have the right forces for this. Well, at least I don't feel... I mean, the right forces, I think, come down to what you think you can deliver, like on the battlefield. Right? And I know I need usually like a couple of uh, armoured Cossars to hold that front line. That would make all the difference. Alright, let, let's just see what the fuck happens if we just let them all pile in. See, it, it, I wonder if this could work, because if this does work, it's an interesting tactic. Alright, so... Alright, so... For fuck's sake. Okay, so you... Ugh. Love these, uh... Collision detection... There's one thing I, I could ask them to fix, it would be that. Um, do you step out for watching? It's doing pretty well for a bit. You stepped out for about 30 minutes, yeah. <laughs> it, honestly, I don't think we're doing that amazing at any point today. I actually, I didn't, I'm so, so amazed at what a tough stream it's been. It, you know, it's been fun though. It has been, at no point have I been bored. Okay. Making it so. Taking position. Let's see what happens if we do this. Ah, oh, my horses are dead. Oh no, they're not. Where are they? Land is power. March for Kislev. I was like, my horse has vanished. Lol. Goodbye. Well, they're being pretty fucking stupid with their approach. Are you kidding me? Of all the fucking kiting and stuff I did last time, they're just going to walk straight into certain doom. Azak. have to hit one unit in the entire uh, entire formation guys and then that will actually count as um, slowed down we missed all the the chaff units but we need to take out the, um, the main ones now uh, I want to target him but it won't work ah 
are they going to be dumb enough to do this? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it the old fashioned way. I feel like we're getting shredded by arrows. I should be doing more about it. There we are. Fuck it. Die horses. Oh man, I didn't even see the trolls. You guys gonna shoot them? No. Nope. Really checked out this spot, actually. I should have. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna retreat back, guys. I don't have the will. That can be done. That definitely can be done. I'm getting a bit of battle fatigue here, I think. I'm just, uh... Yeah. Uh... Do -do -do. The Curse of Legend. No, no, we, we are grateful to have Legend here. <laughs> Although I do have a habit of doing really fucking bad when he's around. Um, Supreme Magic Imagination. Wizards, piss poor imagination, normal imaginations. Oh, fuck off, history matters. <laughs> Five to one. Yeah, yeah. Now I have to kill him. Ah, oh, do you know how embarrassing? It is? I could kill him right now. Like, if I won this battle, that would be it. Oh, this is such a mentally draining stream. Why the fuck did I sign myself up to this? Hey, well, uh, nice to meet you, man. Uh, appreciate you watching the videos and uh, joining us in the stream. Best of seven. Oh, it's, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> um, mm, it's killing me. It's absolutely killing me. Like, the thing is, I know I can do it. I'm just playing a bit like shit as well. Like, my just... Okay, well, let's... If I let him go, though, it's just not going to help the whole situation. Impossible. Fuck it. Let's just... Let's take five. Because you enjoy the suffering. I know, I know. Uh, okay. That's not going to go well, so let's just retreat. What the fuck? Oh, wait, but he won't have the... Good. That's still a tough fight, but we can do it. Oh man, what a shit show of a stream. <laughs> Has been fun though. Has been fun. I really feel like I need a win, because guess what? We're about to get besieged by... You have to scrap campaigns a lot from being too aggressive. This is one of those. I've made two... If I would put both of these armies against Azag, which I should have done, I just got cocky. I'm, I'm playing with these guys like I, if I had my ideal army. Okay, so because they're going to beat us up and hit us around so far, we're going to have pretty big space in between our units, because they will get into us pretty quickly. Best place to go? Yeah, it's, I like this. This is good. Alright, let's uh, back up. 
One accrued <laughs> elemental bear. Dude, that's... <laughs> that is what this is missing. Man, elemental bears, if you get all the good shit on them, they can do some stuff. But the thing is, the campaign is basically over <laughs> by the time they become good. I think on the easy levels difficulty where you can sort of, you know, spend money in like on frivolous things like research and stuff like that, I think you could make them work, but the thing is they don't, what they do, elemental bears can just do better for a fraction of the headache. Should have uh, cast this over there. Well this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Is that only friendlies? Seeking opportunity. Oh. And the shoot army lost them. Goodbye. Take guard mode off. Let's chase down some ogres. If I was feeling on my game, I'd actually probably go and counter-attack the settlement now that they've lost this main army. And uh, just run into a big fireball like that, but... Yeah. Alright, that'll do. Cool. <laughs> A plague priest, uh, I'm an armchair critic who can't have his way, <laughs> might as well have a plague the bag. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I try to know what I do well and try to stick to it, but yeah. <laughs> this is a bad decision to do, is to go into a uh, campaign like this when you're not on point with the faction. Um, it, it goes to show that it's interesting. It's like your choices you make uh, based on you know what you think you can pull off with said army. Rusty against ogres and... Maybe greenskins as well, because like over you know, on the elven side of the campaign, like I know you get a pretty good idea of going, I can beat that army with this, or this will give me trouble, or if I'm the attacker, I can beat that, you know. But it's kind of, yeah, definitely a bit of a fish out of water thing, but it's fun. It's fun. Getting your tail kicked is fun. All right. Unpaid labor is ideal. I'm gonna weep tears of joy when I take this province. Easy when you're not fighting greenies. Nicely done. Nicely done. This is making you want to try a Grimgore campaign. I like this. I'm playing so shit. <laughs> I'm advertising for the fucking orcs. I love it. Alright, where are these goddamn rats? Four settlements. Another do three and capital over there. <laughs> really? Did that ambush fail? I will butcher any who interfere. Not with the rest of my recipes. Oh yeah. Sarina Catherine of Kiss. Okay, what's the best way to deal with this? That's not going to hurt me if we stand there, so that's a good start. Get a bit of replenishment. Fire two. This guy can move up. Ah, oh, we're just in such a shit position. Still, I see the power. Why can't I globally recruit? Oh, did, that wasn't enough. Oh man, what a game we are having. What a fucking game. Okay. So 
uh, fought the attrition. But I reject any who crave power. Okay, so we're just gonna have to destroy one. This is the most tedious campaign in history. We're gonna just wait for them to attack us, and then destroy one, and then destroy the other. Um, how many of these can we hire? We know two. We can get another frost made, which we will. Never yield. I'm so no tempted just to let this guy just chill out here, but Baron if the Baron. ambush fails, he is monumentally fucked. Although having him out there, we can keep building up that ambush skill. Gobbo's for the win. We's the best. <laughs> yeah. Getting ganged up on by goblins and the Skaven here. Okay. Have a look. Yes. So. Hiring another lord here will increase our upkeep. By blood. But we can pass them into there. You know what? Fuck, we need troops. We need troops. Let's just do it. My rule More Kossars, as uh, a wise man once said. <laughs> We're about to... Two more turns. We can level up that province and we can get ourselves a barracks. Have you tried playing Mulder for an alliance? Um, you know, Dan, I think I've uh, heard a rumor or two about the trustworthiness and the true value of a Skaven Pact. <laughs> and I don't think too much of it. No, no. In the names of ah, of course. You know, why, why not just declare war on uh, good old Kislev? Cool. Okay, let's make this next one. We'll go Tempest here. I'll make my Lords. We can also upgrade here. So we've got the movement. I'd like to actually get a... Mm, replenishment would be nice. But we also need... A Witch Lord. Uh, this one's actually pretty good to get down to. Okay. We'll do that. Use this wisely, my people. Cool. Who called? No. no trade. Aye. The right to rule. Okay, oh, yeah. so we could force much. I do not tolerate hesitation. It cements my power. The Tsarina. This shall be Catherine's seat. Hunker down here. No higher cool. authority. They are one people. Pledge your obedience to me. Baron of the Motherland. Bow to me. Wonder if this will uh roll out. Move or die. You know, if you kill him, I really no don't want to. No one tells a tyrant what to do. Seeking power. Cut them down. We need we need things to happen. <laughs> Quickly. You gotta work all nice. You buy an allied nuke, uh, people would never blob again, that's true. I got nuked uh, in one of my last campaigns. It was fucking hilarious. It was like on point, eh? I wish I had written down the timestamp. Oh man, I didn't keep attention of the, um... Could I please have a patriarch? Oh my god, yes. Now, how is this supporters race going? I need five grand, right now. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Mark. 
March for Kislev. Highborn son. Can I get to this guy? This That'd be great. Right. Only one I listen to is me. Gospodar by blood. Looks like he's not going anywhere, so we can take no his camp out, which helps. What to do. Boyar of Kisle. The right to rule. No higher authority. Extend so this guy can just reinforce. And we'll take this out. My sort of that cannot Kisle. be bothered. Alright. I was hoping for a bit more gold than that, but that keeps us alive another turn. For Mother Kiesle. I'm the one in charge round here. This Let's is use my that. right. Gospodar by blood. No one tells a tyrant what to do. The right to rule. Sir. Reduce that cost. Of ice. Ah, are they are they under siege? For them? Hmm. Ambush Lewis. I'm thinking about having to do it. I didn't want to have to do it. You know what? Fuck it. Desperate times. It's there. Let's load it. So, if you're wondering why we're loading it, it's because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I disbanded that lord when we can actually use it for to bait out some ambushes. We desperate times. We need to pull all the the ambush cheese out to bring them out of the settlement. If we can do this, we'll all be fine. You could have done it, uh, though, as you said, if you went Azak 100%, it's good to know it's possible. So you learn it. Oh, 100%, yeah, this has um, been a very educational um, campaign oh, yeah. based on that. No okay, so that's fine. This guy, I don't know what his deal is. What's what's he actually after here? Sarina Catherine of so they're rank 4. 43 into oh, fair, 54, yep. Defy so this guy. Mistress of ice. Me Ah, oh, dude. Not enough, not enough money, but we'll get there. We will get there. Patriarch, get your ass down here. Yes, reduce corruption. Ah, reduce attrition, sorry. He's building up that ambush skill. This is good. Get some more replenishment. Okay. Uh, we're pulling all the stops out now. And hopefully it results <laughs> in this guy getting, giving us uh, that easy ambush, and we can finally take that off him. We'll also have ourselves the full stack with um, what's her face, Katarin. You're on the edge of your seat, yeah. What kind of cheese does Kizlo have like? What? How do you think this is a good idea? Unless they think they can kill him before the reinforcements come, but 
That can be very sneaky. Uh, the ambush cheese was... I mean, I try to avoid doing it too routinely, because... Uh, I just do. <laughs> you know, I always move up in ambush stance to try to move, keep my forces relatively hidden, but... I think... I don't know, just for me, it's, I, I don't like hiring a, a single lord for the pure purpose of it being bait. This sort of stuff, it's just the way it sort of ended up, I don't mind, but... Uh, it's just... I just don't like to do it. His life through power. And this guy is all the way on the most useless end of the map. Beautiful. Let's do it. Alright. It'll last a whole fucking minute. Oh god, this is high school all over. Come on. Yes, we did it. You know what? Fuck off. Get off the... Oh, no! I'm gonna chew him up. No! <laughs> Alright. Sad. Showing the way. Give them hidden. Lord of ice. The color that I guess. Gossards. Spreading corporal. Bring them down. Comrades of the bear. Let's go up. Alright. But we are going to get some armored Cossars. I'm going to make both of these armies absolute powerhouses. Okay, Ogre Bulls. At least we're turning them away. Like this. Oh shit, you know. Don't beat up my mage. Don't be a dick. This guy, getting some decent shots off on him. No complaints there. Following the squall. Boyar of Kislev. In Kislev's name. I am the storm. Cossars! The color man, I can't. Come on, break him. Break, break, break. I will smite them. If you get just how strong ogres are, hey, that's that's definitely something I'd forgotten. It's been a while since I've actually had to have a proper scrap with ogres. Very, very harsh underestimation of them. Like you really do forget that just one of their units equals like three of yours when it comes to throwing down. Okay, so we need to concentrate on the units that are most difficult, and that is by far the Ogre Bulls. Them. 
Blue cheese or something. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I was waiting for the punchline. Blue cheese. Ah, uh, there you go. I was preparing for a dramatic response. It was kind of blue balls. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Left on side side. Sorry, guys. Okay. We will rise from this. We will rise, rise, rise. Uh, although we lost our bait. Question. Oh, I think he'll retreat back, won't he? Fuck. Good number of them still lived, so it's still not weak enough for us to take. The fact we're on these three fronts now, the starting this war has I've kicked myself in the nuts so so hard by doing it. Should never ever have done it. Leave them to stop. The Tsarina bids you welcome. Hey, someone that doesn't want to declare war. You you're alright, man, but no. What news do you bring? I will trade, but no. We haven't even seen demons yet, man. This is, uh... <laughs> this is going so tits up. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm the one in charge, man, here. That celibate's looking pretty banged up. Looking pretty hurt. I'm actually going to decrease the cost of that because that's quite useful. Bow to me. I'm actually willing to check Cut this out. Down. I'm so sick of failed settlement battles, but I think we could pull this off. I order their death. Before we do it, I want to join this guy in with that. Destroy these fools. Have less units of chaff. And come in just a bit Face stronger. My ire. Just because of this, th right. it's this type of battle. Cut them down. Destroy these fools. We don't have the ammo to do it, that's the only problem. Or do we? Let's try. Oh, we're gonna have another fucking loss against the ogres, aren't we? Feeling it out, we're feeling all this out. Getting used to settlements. Like I said, we've basically, basically been primarily west of Ulfon with almost all of my, um, except for... Oh, actually, I did, did about a good amount of greenskin fighting with the High Elves, but that's the High Elves. It's not really a bad matchup for them. And to be fair, it was... We, we just depleted ourselves of resources and overreached of the bear. to get ourselves in this position. Is there a better spot over here? Okay, wait, where's... This one has a supply point up there. That's a pain in the ass to get to. That's got one down the bottom, at least. So let's try this. Not overly confident, but... We could do worse. Okay, barcode power. Uh, Cat is, you think the other two are much easier? Oh, so is, is Cat in the, the harder Kislev? Nah, but Boris starts like in the fucking demon ways. I thought he'd be super hard. Is Costales an easier? I don't think, uh, I think they're all fucking hard, man. In Realms of Chaos, uh, Katarin is by. The thing is, Katarin has a, a good, strong faction. She has 
increase hero caps. If you can get Katarin off the mark and just get her Mark's faction rolling, I think she kind of... Her faction itself is oh, definitely better than the other kids' left factions. She got him sweet. Are you guys going to just... Do nonsensical stuff. So we're getting shots at their back, hopefully. Fucking one that's up here. Is that you? I am this leg. At the forefront. Oh, jeez. We fight for Ulster. March with pride. Cossars. Taking position. He's led true power. God damn. Follow the bear. Let's just waste the ammo, guys. Stop it. They'll probably just move. Actually, don't do that. go, it's another one down. How many of these are there? I should have counted the units before we started. Okay. Oh, it's actually... Pull that finger out and actually try. We just get down to the bottom. If we just get down here, we can hopefully uh, take get that out, and then that'll really ease the pressure. Come on. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're still getting good shots off from here, but I'm worried about running out of ammo. Come on, guys, move up. Woo. Okay. Up we get. Oh, shit. No. Go on, move. You don't want to be taking that. Good. It's going good so far. Come on. But you have to win the race against Kostalton. That's impossible to win. Ah, fuck, you're right. I think we've already fucked it. He, he will have already got it. Almost certainly. Oh, 
places. Uh, I don't want to try that yet. Get some ping pong action. Boing. Ah, uh, can we get another one? Ah, uh, come on. Nah, not quite. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, don't move, 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 move. Fuck. Five health, five health, five health. We can do it. Get. Motherfucker. Oh my god, she's gonna die from retreating back. Any more ogre balls? At least they're all fucking goblins now. Oh, I got one more round of ogre balls. Come on, come on, rally! Why aren't you rallying? Guess we did lose that general. Still got a lord left. Can we actually do this? hit fast forward because we might I don't know if we can still do it man if we still had our caster we'd be fucking fine we'd be fine I tells you I don't know if all these guys can uh, can handle this uh, general. That's the big, the big span in the works here. These guys are starting to fail. Nah, we're fucked here. It is doable. It is doable, and I'm gonna do it. Definitely doable. Oh my god, I'm so fucking sick of settlement battles. This is by far the most settlement fatiguing campaign I've done yet. Other lesson, don't pick a fight with the Ogres. Oh, dude, I should th this war should never have started. I should have just brought both my stacks and taken out Azag. But yes, you're right, the might of greenskins. But I refuse to lead this campaign on a bad note. Like, it's just...
Do you know what I mean? I've never been beaten in a campaign yet, like completely. Like I've always brought it back. And I need to, for my pride, <laughs> to be able to bring it back to a point where we're, we're stable. This fight gets us somewhat there. This really, really helps us. Man, we would have had that if we didn't lose our mage. So, I think that entrance is the right one to take, but I want to mix it up. So, we'll try a different entrance this time. Try to learn something new. Make it so it's actually worth it. We learn a lot even if we're not 100% successful. Man, I've learned a ton this game, particularly around this edge of the map. And, yeah, I have i don't know why I underestimated the um, Greenskin Settlements. Because I remember when I played Wood Elves, trying to take... Uh, broken axe settlements uh, just outside a Athaloran. That's tough. That is a uh, that can be quite tough comparative for that stage of the game. We fight for Ursun. I was looking to do just a really quick rush of that, and uh, yeah, it ended up being a bit trickier than I thought. It's like not super hard, but that early, yeah. The cold rises. Cool. Prestige beyond compare. Actually, can we drop? Oh, one of these right there. The power of winter. I am the storm. Keep shooting, guys. Do not stop shooting. You missed that last order, didn't you? I demand fight. true power. Okay, delete these guys. Good. Let's grab just a couple of these guys. Grab the last two. March for Frost Maiden. We do have some nice uh, small you know, points here where we could sort of bounce our uh, bits off. Bits off. Lord of the Motherland. The Motherland's finest. Well, this is keeping them still and making really good use of our arrows. Cool, delete these guys. Nice. Alright, cool. So, move up to here. You guys, move this barcode up to there. And you guys, we're going grocery shopping, guys. Barcodes for days. Okay, they're coming in to meet this line here. And when they do, come on, shoot guys. Good, 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 good. Oh, they're having second thoughts. Okay, other lesson, don't fit fires. Okay, it's all good. Okay. Sorry, rereading the same comments. My favorite pastime. Oh god. <laughs> this could be painful. I am the storm. 
Oh, that was a good one. I feel like this is way easier than the last one. This is going really well. Come on, break them, shatter. One more shot, come on. One more volley, one more volley, and... You know what, fuck it, they're done. So, uh, rotate. If you guys can get some shots and finish that that loot uh, lot up there, then again, these are all. The reason why this is such an easy fight comparatively is we're able to blob up all the high intensity targets, these big ogre bulls, which are really difficult to beat to uh, deal with. They've got shields on their bellies, so they absorb our arrows, and we've ignored our melee. So, magic is the way we get around that. Cool, or at least they're retreating. You know what? Don't waste, don't waste it. Okay, come on, just a bit closer, a bit closer. This could be a good one. And trigger happy. See those two formations? You are in awe of the barcode. <laughs> And this guy's just jumped in to the worst possible place he could be. This works really well, by the way, guys. Setting up a little fire base of three units here while you come through here is just perfect because they will try to meet you, right? So they'll try to meet you at this choke point here. You can arc over the top here and hit them in the back, like, really cool. Is that us retreating or them? It's them, okay, all good. It's a bit confused there. No one else around, is there? We've come this far, I'm not losing my not losing my boy at this time. So he's out of ammo, so we're going to bring him up, and he's going to do the screening. Oh, he's soaking up a lot of bullets. Come on. Eat those arrows, bitch. Once he goes below half health, it'll probably shout at the army. Yep, there we go. So it tends to be about um, 
50%, 25% increments, uh, it now aligns with when they actually get wounded as well. So, which I kind of like, I like the role playing aspect of that because once, you know, you, your lord's been wounded but not off the battlefield yet, it's, uh, I think it's kind of cool. Cool, so just kill this guy for a little bit extra gold. Yes. Good. Finally! Oh, that is just one headache that I started. It was meant to save me three turns, it's cost me like fucking ten turns. <laughs> <laughs> That's 20, 20 turns of my campaign have been self-inflicted misery and they've done nothing. At least some savage pop orcs are easy uh, towards the enemy in rush. That's true, tactically. Currently fielding a full stack of savage orcs. Savage orcs are awesome. I wouldn't mind Black Hawks getting a little bit more love. I would like Black Hawks to kind of be like the war bears of, of Kislev equivalent. Yeah, they should they should need buffing and they should need the right configuration, kind of like the right hero support to to stack them up properly. But you should be able to make an absolute powerhouse stack. Another province for me. Fuck yes. Hey, alright. Katarin got a weapon. Faction destroyed, guys. Oh yeah, awesome. No other may wield it. All right, as uh, you want to go again, man. We can go. Another caravan. <laughs> Should I make myself even more unpopular and take out another caravan? The celestial black dragon does not forget. Uh, I hope you do. I really hope you do. But still. Certainly. That's a oh, yeah. bit too much of a pointy. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Can we? We can do it. Oh, so he has to have 50 supporters. I can't hit the reset button. Oh, that sucks. That sucks us. Oh, man. So he's going to get the first one. Well, that hurts, but I guess it had, had to be that way. So. Kislev's chosen. So this is what we'll do. We're going to pack this army up to be a little bit more compact. Get the cash flow looking a bit more favorable. Meet Ungrim. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. So, what is your territory? You got three three holdings. Greetings. Okay. You no doubt have a request. I'll hear it now. Okay. Well, you know what? Yeah. You, do, you keep doing your thing, we'll become friends, right? You got, I got nothing against you, you got nothing against me. Even the that angry fucking shrub is not being too too difficult for us. Baron of the Motherland. Alright, so... I'm thinking I'm going to meet this guy in battle, on my terms. When he's only got a single army, a single stack, we can then... They invite Mistress of Ice. We can do it. All right, guys. I'm feeling it much better now. It's funny. Usually, after at the six hour mark, I my performance goes boo. This time, it's been like <laughs> I've kind of like woken up finally.
<laughs> do it. Think of the money. Oh, you guys are talking about the um, <laughs> the caravan. I, I don't have the forces, guys. I, that, that army won't be able to handle it. I'll get absolutely wrecked. Skulk a doomstack, I know. Alright, finally. Finally feeling good. <laughs> it's really funny because the last time Legend, um, Legend came in for a stream... It was a Malekith campaign, and I tried something, I tried to rush Grombindal. If you guys have seen my Malekith video, not the way you do it. It uh, does nothing but overextend you, and keep you away from the water, and keep you away from uh, taking ports which earn you a lot of money, so it's actually a really, really poor strategy. So, I spent most of the game, again, unfucking myself, but he was there for the first terrible part, where I thought I was going to get wiped. And then we managed to finally, finally finish off Valkyrie, and goddamn, it was... Uh, tedious but like yeah <laughs> it takes me a while to get out of those binds but I get out of them eventually okay cool all right this is a good map for us too one thing one bit of criticism I'll give this part this uh, corner of the map right is that in certain corners of the map particularly the total warhammer 3 parts i don't corner camp anywhere near as much because they have stuff in the open you can use there's nothing in the open you can use in the way of terrain the motherland expects victory but right, so your queen will not come here as a natural flag protection I like that send our horses over here and uh, thanks for signing in and checking the stream out, everyone, by the way. Really appreciate all the company. What the hell are you waiting for? We are going to use Ice Sheet, slow these guys down. Okay, we're going to drop our Leopard there. Slow these guys up. Oh no, I didn't get to drop my... Fuck. Just dropped, son. You are down. Alright, history matters. Eat your heart out, man. It's finally down. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoops! Uh, hey guys! About that. If you guys could uh, rectify this failure for me to uh, defend this entire flank, that would be just amazing. Also, your queen is getting her ass kicked, if you could also address that. Take off guard mode so we chase these guys down. Okay. Alright. Good timing. Don't you dare hit her. 
Oh, that's getting close. Okay. Good. Dang. Man, that's good, isn't it? Okay, she got beat up a bit too much, but everything else went pretty good. So the whole reason why I did that is because I needed to make space for the Patriarch. I didn't want to just disband one of my um, Cossars. Took a bit more damage than I would have liked, obviously, but still. Alright. <laughs> still keeping... Still keeping score. You know the funny thing is I'm going to wipe this guy out and I won't actually be able to equalize it. I think, alright, it's like, the game is like, you win right when you eliminate the other person completely, right? If I take his final province, otherwise I could just sack spam him <laughs> to try and get that score back up. Alright, boom. Okay, the reason why we're wasting all of these guys is because we're going to have to fight them again sooner than we realize, and they're uh, a lot of work. Man, she got beat up. I'd love to increase that melee defense. It's not quite where I need it to be yet. Get him to... So if the rule is 10%, Brennan said it was 10%, so if we get him down to 12, that should be it. Alright. Alright, we're back, back in the driver's seat now, guys. I have absolutely no concern. And now we're going to bring the army next turn that's in the hour uh, that took out the ogres back north, and we go on the counter-offensive against those freaking rats. Been a pretty fun turnout to, uh, today, actually. It's been a good, good stream. As you're singing, who's the best? The best. <laughs> I didn't realize that you're also a um, a Greenskins player as well. Scaven Dan. We need the troops. Send them to the labor camps. Oh, Wurzag, this is not good for you, mates. Sarina Catherine of Kiss. Sorry, champions. If I auto resolve that, we'll probably lose a few guys. I uh, probably would have done okay. Actually, I'm sure we would have done okay. If we do this without losing anyone, though, yeah, it should be Gobbo Dan. <laughs> yeah, there's, it you know, really uh, surprises me. There's some people that absolutely love um, green skins, but I find so many people are really big into Gobbos, and like, not that many people are into orcs, and I fucking love orcs. I can, yeah. If I had to pick a favorite lord, I know it's I know it's cliche, but I do like Grimgore. Like you know, black orcs are just mean and green for all the right reasons. Alright, so we all know how this is gonna go. Let's just start. Oh man, we got a potion of toughness, hell yes.
Now, I actually feel like the auto resolve would have done better than me. I guess I uh, wasn't prepared to fight the fight properly, right? Okay, let's focus these guys down. Come on, army lost them. Army lost his lads. We would have got more money too. Rookie move. Go. Cool. It's kind of dumb you can buff goblins so much. I do agree with that. No, they haven't fixed the uh, lack of upgrades for orcs yet, and I see it as a huge problem because I think what they need is I don't know enough about the lore to find a new goblin, sorry, a new orc DLC, but they need an orc DLC, like a, a an orc lord, which buffs them the same way that Grom the Paunch kind of brought the goblins back to the forefront. So that's what I think they need, just one DLC that uh, gives them that spice, and I think the green skins are really well rounded. Just a bit more, like maybe another hero which, uh, you know, buffs those particular units so you can have them leveled up to boost a certain thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we used the best then. Okay. God damn, I lost the unit. Still. Good replenishment. Good replenishment. Okay, what have we got in the settlement? I'm sure they will be able to replenish an astounding amount. Together we serve the motherland. Mistress of ice. Ice queen of kiss. Patriarch of kiss. So I could go back and hire two units and then come down there. Or I could just go straight for the Jaguar and try to finish them off. They'll have probably, what, three? Hmm. They've got three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Pretty decent units. I will brook no Do not tarry! I'm worried that they won't even be able to reach next turn. They are one people. Uh, we'll give you that. Cool. Because I also don't oh, want another yeah. painful siege. I'm very done with painful sieges this game. <laughs> very, very done with them. Um, Your double. What, what buildings can we get at tier 3? Oh, we can hire Zargard at tier 3. I forgot about that. That's tasty. Hmm. How much is Zargard's upkeep? 1... 250 versus... 165. Hmm. Is it worth getting that upgraded just for that? It probably is. Probably is. Okay, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna upgrade. We can get across the top. Now, that has... We can't beat it. I just, I'm just so concerned I won't be able to beat it up. Although, yeah, are we gonna upgrade you? Let's get... At least get our Cossars boosted as well as they can be. My room grows absolutely. And just see, can we get any more trade deals? So, please, nope. Yes. Yes. What? Never hear. And unfortunately, we are going to lose the supporter race to the first milestone. It happens. You think you'll try cat again? Makes me want to do kids. I've been looking for a hard campaign. This is tough. This is tough for sure. This is definitely tough. Um, Dishonorable cur. You oh, what a surprise. Try again. The 
Okay, so... This is kind of basically what I wanted to have achieved by about turn 12, <laughs> at least. By at most, I should say. Spell cooldown is great. Hard to turn that down, we can get that gold mine cranking. Okay. Let's... Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. I wanted to get my Patriarch involved, so hopefully we start the movement. Yes, we got plenty. Plenty of movement. What's he got left? Oh, I got some big guns. They've got 50 armor. Really good. Melee attack for this area of the game. Unleash kiss. Ah, oh, see, we, we were attacking the army. Fuck, I didn't realize that they had the secondary army there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Fine. Huh. <laughs> They always seem friendly. Till the knife in the back. Agreed. Agreed. Well, it's like I'm just going to get a drink of water, champions. Sorry for the wait. Thank you for waiting as always, champions. Sorry, my girlfriend gave me a bite of stir fry <laughs> as I ran past. It was pretty good. Sorry, so excuse me chewing. Alright, we have an army coming to the rear here, and guess where we're facing? Right. <laughs> now, here's the thing though, is that they've got some... They can punch, right? We don't like being outpunched. Unfortunately, the orcs are pretty damn good at punching, so... We need to make sure we're not able to get more than one unit tied up at a time. Despite this being a small, weak army, got to take it seriously. There's still big guns in there, right? Like a, a few of the reasons why we're like this is because I didn't take certain fights seriously and let us get whittled down. I'm actually uh, finally on my game now. Feeling good, confident. I will not brook cowardice. Hesitation or failure! Fight until your last breath! Man, Katarin's such a badass, eh? Such a good character. Alright. And. <laughs> drum roll. I drop one of these frost bangs right on their face. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Things I go through to keep you guys alive. Yeah, 
keep your leadership high, lads. Alright. Got nice shots in the rear here. Alright, this is going to absolutely shred them. Now, I have faith. Not even useless bastards will be able to fucking miss this shot. That is such a good shot. Alright, what more can I do for you? Not too much else. I think they see it that way too. Man, we're getting, this is using a lot of our uh, our energy and resources. Like, kind of literally can't afford to keep doing this. You guys need to quit and stop beating up my queen, please. Yeah, I'm not letting him go. Alright. This is such a waste of ammo, but I really can't think of another way around this. I really want to do this on the field and not have to do it in the fucking settlement, but I'm worried that I'll run out of movement this turn. Yeah, if we just break him, that's fine. Just break him, chase him off, chase him off. Save your arrows, lads. You need your arrows. Good, good, good. Alright. Barcode. Barcode. No, no, do not let this go. Oh, fucking hell, God. Come on. What are you doing, Katarine? I guess she's on guard mode. Ouch. Alright. We lances. Just. Chase him down, don't let him go. Good. Oh, jeez, fell off the cliff. I just hope we have enough ammo to pull this off. We have to turn this into a fist fight. It's probably not going to go our way. Yeah, even just shatter these guys. I don't care. Oh, she's winning. Good on you, Katarin, you absolute beast. Use your summon. Yeah, uh, my, the peppered. Use the peppered. Um, I was going to use that, but I need, I'll need the leopard for, for in here. I do agree it was a good idea, but I, I am genuinely worried I don't have the chops left to um, to take this. going to take some serious magic. Good thing is we can see virtually everyone that's left. So, <laughs> if we don't fall off the cliff. Let's target the big guns. They will beat the piss out of us in Malay. The leopard is, yeah, the leopard's really good against, um, I think it's got anti-infantry, right? I think it's an anti-infantry. It's working now, this was bugging out before, so... Okay, so let's 
this is what I want to do. I want to use the leopard to uh, herd them around the front here without risking Katarin. But yeah, uh, the, uh, the leopard is really, really good. It's, uh, it's basically like the same as Warhounds. Just really, really great at, at catching, um, like, heroes, characters. Just really good. Not click there. Ah, uh, shit. Wait. Yes, managed to cancel it. Actually, that's all right. You guys, we actually are going to climb the walls this time. I need to get their aggression here a bit more. You to go up the walls. This word sends us forth. Bringer of penance. Oh, shit. Oh, you're going to go down. Fuck. Fuck, I forgot to use her abilities, too. Oh, did I really fuck this? Oh, man. Wait. Guess what? History matters. You can upgrade the score. You almost have the sound that's how you heals as well. Yeah, yeah, so close to that. I'm actually just going to attack the fucking standalone army because I'm so sick of settlement battles. I don't care if I run out of movement, which I don't think I will, but... Hopefully we just have enough. I forgot I had, um, I forgot that I had the, uh, what is it, the Frostfang ones, those, those would have actually got her out, could have blasted her out, so, <sighs> Orcs, six, Elven Flood Armor, two, <laughs> EPL, <laughs> Elven Plot Loser, more like, The Lord of Salt Mine. Yeah, exactly right. There's a salt, a deep, deep salt mine well below all of this. Thanks for sticking around, by the way. We've got a pretty cool turnout today, so thank you as always. It was not a Sorry, oh, fuck, you serious? Does that count as... Oh, my God. That is Frost infuriating. I am the I am Iron Fist. Are you going to take the fucking settlements? Are you literally going to do it? The slayer no. No, you death. do not. You don't get to take that. You do not get to take it, you fucker. You're not right, Dad. Oh my god. Of this is actually going to cost me... Surely, if I load it, it's going to have me sitting outside it still, isn't it? Stick to pointy ears, ha, uh, let him. But I don't want, I want that one. <laughs> Although, he could probably do a really good job with it. Thing is though, it's actually a really good guard of capital. But that being said, you are right though. Yeah, really good point though. If he does take that, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. If he does take it... then anything that comes up that way, he's going to have to deal with. That'll free us up to go help help our dad, who's probably dead. <laughs> so... Doesn't say, if you don't like me for some reason, you can get 
Goya. Go to hell, seriously. March. Pain is irrelevant. Move or die. Alright, we, we don't have a uh, second one ready yet, that's right. Two more turns. I'd rather eat a squeak! So if he just comes here and just besieges it, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. At least I could have, you know, gifted to him, we could have become friends. I knew that was a risk when we did this, I guess. Cool, alright. Not good. This is not my campaign. That's fine. Yeah. This is not my campaign. Okay, uh, I was wondering where the stunties were. Oh, good. You're here to fucking steal my settlement, you dicks. I could deliberately lose it. Hmm. Could deliberately lose. It's true, but I'm pretty damn poor. I'm pretty damn poor. Because if we fight this, we can let him win most of it. Like, if we run off the battlefield, does that count as us losing? You know, there's only one way to find out. Does anyone know? Before I bother with this. If I go on the field and just walk off, I was wondering if this exploit still exists. More for my own knowledge, I'm actually kind of happy to let him have it if, if he wants it. Slayer back up, you got this. Yeah guys, we can just have a coke and just uh, watch him try to do it himself. Watch him soften up the enemy. <laughs> oh, it's on the field as well. So this is on the battlefield. Okay. Go, Ungram. Alright. Slayers will clean up here, even against your beloved Greeners. Yeah, it's, yeah, the Slayers, Slayer factor is real. I do love the the new availability of Slayers. I think that's so so cool. Okay. Allied reinforcements are arriving in support, Commander. Link up with them and surround the enemy. I am the, the Allies. People. Okay. Uh, this isn't going so well, guys. You did, uh... You did more of an organ gun thing on your dwarf campaign. Yeah, organ, organ guns are pretty freaking fun to use. Oh my god, you guys are getting murdered. I can't get any closer, guys, sorry. You can do it, Ungrim. By the way, this doesn't count as a loss. This one doesn't count as a loss. <laughs> so honestly, if they completely wreck the enemy and we just walk off... Right, does, does that count as a loss?
We can actually go down here and just uh, try to just lose some random spells. Just weaken their army. Bye bye trolls. Drop Heart of Winter right here over everyone. Oh, that is so ghoulish. Oh man, that is going in the book. That is so going in the book. That is such a dick move. Literally no dwarven life was cared for at that point. Oh man, it's going to bring on the end times. Let's try leaving now. Let's get out of here. I think we've accomplished a lot here, guys. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. It was a valid defeat, despite the. I think they had, like, nothing left. <laughs> oh, that is so ridiculous. Like, why doesn't the fight just keep going? <laughs> what? 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 Why is that it? Okay, that, that that makes sense because like they probably would have left the field, right? But the moment we leave the field, oh fuck off, it's going in the book, okay. Update the score, history matters, it is what it is. I guess uh, a win is a win and a loss is a loss. That is funny. Zombie parts flying everywhere. Yeah, actually it is pretty cool. Blowing crap apart. The dwarves need a DLC though. They need like the dwarven prospector or something like that. Someone who can give them replenishment. That's <laughs> still a loss. I like that. Just judge jury executioner. You fucking lose, Elvin. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> you had backup and you still fucked it up. Look at this. Another fight. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, it's underway interception. Motherland never nice. Falters. <laughs> Can't believe that still works. Come on, CA, fix that up. Bit too short to replenish, yeah. Too stubborn. How you doing, um You? Might have given it against Skaven, but not against the Greenies. It's your doom. <laughs> yep. Okay, cool. The, well, this uh, lady's ranking up really quickly. Oh, what? You're still going for it. You made me lose. For all that, you made me lose, Zungrim. God damn it. Okay. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. All right, well, good on you, mate. I guess uh, that's your place now, you dick. As history matters, mate, a very good point of it, though, is at least down here, this choke point is completely cut off. So what I did ask for was I wanted to have a southern border which would keep us safe. And that is a southern border that will keep us safe. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Let's move on with our lives and get the fuck oh, out of these mountains. Right to rule. Now, Draka, I feel, is more of a hindrance than anything else, and I'm half tempted to cut her tree down. Ice queen. Your double. Also, we could maybe inhibit this caravan. No oh, wait a second. We're already at war with them as well. Oh, yeah. hmm. That'd give us the money to be able to do that. Taking out Draka in her own forest is going to be a pain in the ass. But if we can wipe her out, she she's the only thing that's fucking the Empire here because they're getting hit by the, the vampires as well. Not in a million years. <laughs> EPL3, let them have it. It's massive. Not hunting. Yeah, I agree. 
Not hunt north. Yeah. Okay, so we need to take this place. It'd be good to possibly even gift it back to them, but who knows. We'd be able to take that, that. There's some herbs there, so that's tempting. Baron of the Mother. What would be the colonization for us? My power. Nearly 2,000 gold. It's a lot. It is a lot. Hey, Prague. Uh, these guys are on their fucking deathbed. We have some serious action coming in soon. Maybe we should focus on where the real problem is. Okay, we need to build churches as well. We need to get some more churches up and running. I do not tolerate hesitation. Right. None shall question me. Born to rule. Okay, cool, we can get ourselves. She's level 12, he's only level 3. We're going to replace him with... Don't I have a... I'll have to put it through the fucking training program. Uh, our switch. Yep. Cool. To so keep things simple, we'll keep our ice switches... Well, our frost switches to be uh, ice and we'll keep the maidens tempest. They are one people. Okay. Uh... What do we actually need? Replenishment growth could be good. Kislev units. That's too good not to get. Great orthodoxy provides. Pledge your obedience to me. Bow to me. strategy. Right. Oh, do I really want to make myself that poor just yet? Oh, yeah. Now we'll save up a bit. Katarin. A tool to keep chaos at bay. Need replenishment. Cool. All right, you need to stick in, uh, stick to IE campaign and go the distance. Okay. Uh, sorry, where are we? So uh, the territory above the tree is where the caravans travel past. Just saying. Ah, uh, thanks, Dan. It's Belagars. You see the rift. That's Bellacor. <laughs> Him too. Pirate weapon. Pirate weapon should have been first. Yep. I do actually think that this is not a bad idea. Letting the World's Edge Mountain capital get taken by Ungrim. It's going to ensure that he's strong. He has another capital to really uh, push Greetings. his economy forward. You know, doubt have a request. I'll hear it now. If I was anyone but Kislev and had money, I'd give him give him some, but uh got our own problems. Gosh, for that, my blood. I will. This is my right. That's funny, because I think we Kislev get the reinforcements from this guy. So who is this? Kislev. The You're the loyalist. You're me to converse with you. the Imperial Wardens. Fuck. I still need money, and your yeah. I ordered their death. That's an easy order to resolve, thank you. Take your money. Nice. Okay, cool. Sorry about the caravan raids. I know, I know it's not in character, but we do have desperate times and have desperate measures as a result. And our queen is out of town. She wasn't there to stop us. Sorry, mate. 
Kislev, you beautiful, beautiful capital. Now we are looking a lot more healthy and happy. Twelve percent. Uh, that's not bad. It's an extra hundred fifty gold, ish. Um, being able to hire Zargard is pretty sexy. I think that spun my heart over. Generates devotion as well. You gotta love that. That also generates devotion. Is there anything else we actually need? Let me see. I'm just a bit rusty with Kislev. Uh, we don't need any of these other buildings because the military can be built from those other capitals. Walls actually isn't a stupid idea. Well, the garrison is not a stupid idea, but... Uh, it's just not going to happen at this very moment. Let's pimp the shit out of Kislev. Thing is, this would, would would create almost as much devotion as well as give us a patriarch. So, I'm kind of thinking, is this actually even worth it? Gives us money. We don't have any elemental bears yet, but when we get them, we can get that building that will reduce the cost. So that's in the pipeline. How many patriarchs can we make? We can't, we can't even build any fucking patriarchs yet, can we? I haven't even upgraded my church to tier two because I can't. So I'd say so I'd say this will help us. Getting more patriarchs will get us on the front foot. So choice made. And we we can now get our second and final frost maiden. Guys, we are kicking ass finally. Legend, come back. I don't suck. <laughs> okay, this was this is cool. Alright. Okay, Biting Wind and the passive. Between those spells, we can do I most things. We'll do all of our hiring from here now. We, no, no need to hire from anywhere else. It cements my power. Oh, actually, we might have some corruption issues. Let's let's drop the corruption. A symbol of I'm going for Quartermaster for him to lower his upkeep. My rule, my decision. And that's another hero, so we don't need another hero yet, so I'm not going to pipe one. So here's the deal. This recharges every 20 turns. This hurts, but... At least 20 turns later, we'll be able to use it. Baron of the Mother. Why? Why, I, why do I need to do this? Oh, I need to choose. So it says I switch Lord, make a rice. No what? trade deals. We're, things were peaceful and on friendly terms with everyone else there. Yes. So they're down here. Yeah. Probably not going to last too long. And this will also annoy people. Alright. Okay, research pirate weapons first. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, dude. I missed that. <laughs> I'll take a look, though. I mean, uh, putting uh, your, your Kossas through all the, the upgrades is definitely worthwhile. I think our next uh, objective should be to secure Prague. Get that other major capital. Okay. Kislevak Kosa. Never Good, he doesn't have it. Mistress she Oka. has a Kislevak Kosa, and Defy I want chase. this guy to have a Kislevak Kosa. Oh, he's already got one. Sorry. Uh, 
Хорошо. I am Kislev's daughter. Boy, are of Kislev. I am almost a fan of the idea. Oh god damn. The version is god awful at the moment, isn't it? Um I'm almost a fan of the idea of getting walls on this thing because it really could need them soon. If we lose it, we lose that, but at the same time. Fuck it. If we if that falls, we're in serious trouble. Actually, you know what, we need supporters. Let's do it. Does that, does that give you supporters, or does the second level? Yeah, it gives us one supporter per turn. If we don't start knuckling down supporters, it's not going to happen for us. Oh my god, did they win? No. I thought they won the war. Okay, so... Should be safe-ish. Let's have a look at... Uh, where's pirate weapons? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, we, we're getting pirate weapons. Pirate weapons is the shiz. Okay. We can give her a boost to sacking or a boost to raiding. I tend to sack more than raid, so that solves that conundrum. Alright, so we're going to run this guy over to this. Yep, okay, I've got it. So we're going to run him over to so that. Holy shit, there's, there's our first threat. He's going to take all of these soldiers. We're going to span this guy. He's going to hop in here. We're going to force march here, up here. I rule. Run Frost this maiden. mage over Blizzards to her. We'll level her up. No higher cool. That looks good. Looks good. Now we don't have a lot of money, so I'm not going to upgrade that. So upgrading a model settlement uh, economy buildings is a really fickle thing to do. They cost a lot of money and take a very long time Greetings. to get any return off that. You no doubt have a request. I'll hear it now. Yes. Yeah, they don't mind that much. <laughs> They'll get over it. Lord of all. Okay, now we could hire another lord. How many turns are we away from getting this uh, ice mage? Uh, four turns still, so... Because we could hire one here and get some more units. And we get them quickly, which allows us to go up and take Prague, which I think we really should look at doing. So, let's do it. We get this guy back in five turns. This guy, one turn. Okay. My rule is cemented. Uh, I don't want you there. Good, I want you back here. Tomorrow. That's pretty cool how you can rotate where, they, where they're at. That, that's nice, I like that. And now, Only the most skilled may serve. we can rapid uh, hire from there with the proper edict Bow set up. Looking good, guys. Looking really good. Boom. You need churches. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. I, I do agree. I do agree. Just uh, worried about... Uh, I'm actually feeling confident now. I think also I feel a bit more warmed up now as well. I'm nowhere near as nervous as I was earlier. I'm making much more sound decisions now. Let's 
So, gonna go up and take Prague next. Although, My we should... Hey, what's up, mate? Service. What do you want? You are in a really bad way. What does Draka think of me? You guys are about to die, aren't you? So, I could make much better use of your money <laughs> than you certainly can, so why not? Draka, if you declare war on me, I will burn your shrub to the ground. You will not see the end of it. Okay. Alright, so. Get right to rule. I'm genuinely concerned she's going to fucking wreck me. She is at war with the vampires, which is hilarious. Yes, alright, so there we go. Elven plot armor defeated Azag. The orc and his uh, challenging allies. Victory for us. Alright, how many settlements do you have now? Five settlements, but they're at war with these guys now, too. So, with that in mind. That is interesting. Harmony. Celestial and as surely as the wind. Okay, so. For the we mother. move up to here. Okay, what's their balance of power? So what's the balance of power of both of these factions? So he's quite strong, but he's feed. got three enemies. Where's Aaron Grad? Hmm. He took Aaron Grad. Uh, is the Great Orthodoxy about Near to get wiped out? Orson. It appears so. Okay. All right. Uh, fuck. All right. Shit. This is my. Well, it looks like we're going all at war with you assholes. Whichever woeful day. So, you guys can hire a couple of those guys. I will brook no complaint. None shall question me. I'm gonna hire to Zagad. Shall I for Zagad? I demand absolute loyalty. Is for Zagad too much? Not much is gonna fuck with us if we have for Zagad. Mistress of that was that gonna give us? That's gonna bring our upkeep down a thousand. It's gonna bring his upkeep down. It's gonna send us into the red. But, but we'll be able to uh, move up. So let's just do that. My rule is absolute. Okay. Move! I command it! You're at the base of the bridge. If anyone crosses, we kill them. Easy. Okay, so. The veto. Ah, I'm so, so concerned. This fucking tree is gonna declare war on us. Just needs to live 10 turns to break even. I'm a gambling kind of guy. Increase the infantry. We'll go for growth boosts and that's it. Hmm. 
not going to upgrade that. Just the base level is just enough to get an extra thousand in the bank. Cool. And turn. Uh, double check. No trade. Alright. Enter. <laughs> I win the race. Yes. <laughs> the race is won. We are victorious. Officially. He's at war with the Great Orthodoxy, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, you know what? You don't you keep your money, man. You're not gonna. You're not gonna offend me. Oh, okay. Marauder berserkers. Basically, juiced up marauders. Turns out our ambush didn't hold, but we're going to do this and it's going to absolutely ruin them, allowing us to go straight for Prague. The only risk we have is that it's going to expose us to, uh, what's his name? Clan Mulder. Yeah, Zazel's up there. Zazel's going to be a huge pain in the tail. So what we could do... Where's the edge here? Maybe this is a better way to go, but it's the trees I don't really like. Okay, that's alright. What we'll do is we'll do this. We'll go set up here like that. Worry about positioning in a minute. One, two, three. And we'll put our horses over here. Be number six. Okay. Start the fight. And back there. Right. So they're doing the smart thing, they're waiting for the reinforcements. <laughs> Not what we wanted, but we don't really have anything else we can do. Kind of at their mercy when it comes to uh, the approach. You guys started this. Uh, Quedon, still going, goddamn. Yeah, man, still here, still doing it. Uh, Thordell, uh, cool catching the stream. Hey, thank you very much for joining. Hope you're doing well and, uh, appreciate the support. It's been easy. We've been just kicking ass all stream, right, chat? It's not, <laughs> it's not gone pear shaped at all. We're actually doing really good now. If we can take Prague, I'd say we're in a, a nice position. Absolutely flawless campaign, 
I feel like we lost out at all. We should have fucking deployed just up here, man. This would have been perfect. Or even just over here. Definitely lost out on an opportunity to, uh, to maximize this terrain for us. Oh, shit. Uh, what the hell is this? Berserkers. Okay, so this guy is going to take on my whole army. Yes, it seems he is. Oh, fuck. Nope, just my mage, and he's doing a good job at that. That's fine, just let him go. But what we can do is we can slow down some of it. We don't want to slow down all of it, we just want to slow down some of it so we can drip feed our archers. Because we do have enough ammo to deal with this. I think. I hope. Got hurt. Okay. This will work. Oh no! The horsies! Why? The humanity! Trying to focus down some of these main units. Units starting to run out of ammunition is a bad thing. Usually means there will be more units running out of ammunition. Which is equally a bad thing. Pretty close. Fight the four and one speak. Follow the bell. Come on. There, come on. Oh, wait, we got, we got this. Will this work. Winter 
Shields, I don't. God damn, this is so close. <laughs> oh, come on. Legendary leadership, stop fucking me. This is so close, it's just leadership. It's just the leadership. Motherfuckers. Alright, where could we set up next time? Up here, I reckon, would be pretty cool. Ah, uh, we've lost this one, champions. As soon as she runs off the field. Yep. Yep, they've, uh... Yep, they've all, all uh... Had a, had a hard day of work there. Fuck, that was close. You can check out the gun for, uh, powder formations in the morning. Hey, cheers, man. Well, um, have a good good one, man. Appreciate you um, uh, sticking with it, mate. At Prague in a mere seven and a half hours campaign. 100%, man. I tell you, it seems to be the hardest IE campaign. I'd probably say so, man. But thank you so much, Kanako. You're always a champ and appreciate your uh, support. You're an absolute ledge. Uh, Thorndale, uh, Thorndrill, sorry. I uh, don't know why I'm a three yet. What do you guys think about it for multiplayer? One and two were not what we expected, unfortunately. Still have single player. I haven't even bothered with multiplayer yet, man. Um, I think for people that love it, absolutely love it. For me, there's just, maybe they have fixed it. Uh, I, to be honest, content creation really, really uh, forces me to just to kind of play single player. There's just I don't have enough time to really, to much more uh, creative uh, like recreational gaming. Just because the nature of my videos just takes so long to make, so I don't really get a lot of time to do anything but play Warhammer and film, and script Warhammer videos. So uh, like that's my gaming time, which is cool. I chose that. That's that's cool. I love it, but. I did, tr back when, when I last tried it, was Warhammer 2. And just the idea that you go into a fucking lobby, you can pick a faction, someone else could just counter pick you. Like, why can't it just work like every other thing? You make a team, you just try and fight people like that, you know? Have something that works just, just as basic as that. Alright. We can do this. So that, that, that's kind of what turned me off, just the counter picking, I just really, and then people draw kiting, it just did not have the rules around it to be played fairly and abused. And the other thing is, I think when you're playing at that level of micro, I kind of uh, get a bit more reminded that it is a game rather than getting really immersed, like, and be able to roleplay as much. So I think I like the roleplaying aspect of Total War more than just, you know, like, I'm, fair, I'm more than competent on the battlefield, um, definitely above average. There's... Tons of people that can do it better than me, but um, that being said, but here's the thing, right? Because it's single player, I can have fun. Like if I wanted to try to make the most optimal thing and just try to win every fight, I could do that. But even on legendary, um, I like to have some fun, you know. And sometimes it creates disasters, like we've had today. But other times, you can have some fun, you know. Like that's one thing I really try to push my my, my channel is like you can still have fun on the hardest difficulties, but. Whatever one that you want, you can, yeah. You can do what you want. So that multiplayer, I think, uh, although, man, multiplayer, I still have a mountain of respect for everyone that plays it. Um, some of the best content creators are multiplayers, uh, multiplayer players. Uh, I think that the, the reality is the depth of this game is so big on the multiplayer and single player side 
No one is amazing at both. There's only one person who's amazing at both, and that is Anticity. And Anticity is a probably after Legend of Total War is probably the best Total War YouTuber. But other than that, it's people like Zerkovich that make amazing multiplayer content, but being polite about it, some of the single player advice I just disagree with, you know? But there's no way. If I made a multiplayer video, I'd be rife with inaccuracies, right? It's just too big. Anticity is the only person who's ever been... Um, yeah. Ever really done both really, really well, in my opinion. Like, I would have to completely readjust if I was to jump into multiplayer. And uh, all that, by the way, is meant with the absolute utmost respect for everyone's uh, preferred playstyle, single or multiplayer. If they didn't treat the multiplayer crowd with and give them the right gifts in Warhammer 3, I would be, I'd be right there, rallying behind you, because it's two halves of the same community and they both deserve uh, respect and their equal representation there, so... Yeah. Acceptable. For me to be able to get to the quality of a multiplayer creator, I would have to stop making single player content. That's that's how much depth I think is involved. Um, and I think I give more to the single player side of things. Like I I think I gel my mind gels much better with this than Super Crazy Micro, you know? Like I know full well like <laughs> there's I, I would look up how to do that with from other people that can do that really well, right? Whereas with this, I feel like I have something I can um, give and offer, if that makes sense, which I think is important if you are making content. And even if it's just a different take of the standard formula, you know? But yeah, sorry, that's a really long way of saying I, um, I don't know, but they introduced a new mode called Domination. And I think it had some problems when it first came out, but I think it's coming around really well. I know Anticity does a fair few multiplayer streams, and it's going really well for him. So, uh, yeah, I, I would dare say I think it's in a good spot. Come on. down. Uh, is this good one to do? Oh shit, just talking about guys. Fuck. Come on, shoot. Shoot the fucking Norskin. Come on. That could be the money, right there.
that did pretty good. That did pretty well. If we drop another one over there, that do what we need it to do. Ah, uh, we don't have enough fucking... Don't have enough juice in the tank. But oh. She alright? How about I didn't lose my mage? Down here, guys. I don't think we can uh, quite, quite crack these guys ahead. Come on. Uh, thanks for the reply. Uh, wouldn't even play around the match, but you just play campaign with friends together. Oh, sorry. You mean campaign? Sorry, dude. I thought you meant uh, head to head. Sorry, dude. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that there has been some issues lately. Um, I do know that, so I don't I don't know how good or bad it is. I'm so sorry I can't give you a good reply to that. I really should make sure I'm better read up. I, I know all the single players sort of patches and stuff, but um The People's Ruler Uh Warhammer 3, if you have the first two games, Immortal Empire is absolutely worth the uh the jump into. It's um the launch version was really, really good. They had a couple of hiccups along the way, but you know they always do, right? Come on, guys. I, d I think they're going to wear us down. Yeah. Fuck, that's a hard fight, man. God damn. I am just getting my ass kicked. I've had like fucking eight losses this time, eh? Only four people could play. Um, that's only two people could play. So you expected something like uh, Civ 6 co op. Yeah, so uh, it's changed so it's not you don't have to wait for the entirety of their turn to play. You can start doing other things and positioning and shit like that. But it is, of, of course, one person's in the hot seat. They can initiate battles and that sort of thing. And you still have to sit uh, through the enemy, bat through your uh, other player battles. But one thing I wish they would change is that you still have to press the thumbs up. Like, we'll put a timer to press the thumbs up after a battle has happened. And it's like, I get why, so you can't fly ahead without the other person confirming, but... It's kind of like... Yeah, you know, the other person go do something else for 10 minutes if it's just a trivial battle, you know? Yeah, it's up to, I think, six or eight players, something like that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'd love to do something where we get uh, some of the, the other creators together and do, like, a big sort of head-to-head. -head. We just need to work out what would make a really good one. Uh, okay, let's retreat. Please don't catch me. Yes. Wait. Yes. Fuck! God damn it. Oh no, we're gonna lose the whole fucking army. Oh, this is the worst. Just when I thought things were going good. 
just when I thought it's just, it, this is his initial army as well that he stomped all these other Kislev factions with alright I don't even care if we lose like this actual army it's the characters that I'm upset that we're losing At least this is better terrain. The terrain is better this time. So, we have that on our side. So we might, might get out of this scotch free. Might, might, might. And yes, this is definitely the hardest campaign I've tried of the Mortal Empire so far. There is nothing that's been even close. Uh, uh, Eltharion's is actually pretty fucking tough as well, but that's more difficult because you need to... If you're trying to go for the big flex with it, that's difficult, but you've got so much you can fall back on, right? To, to actually have a thing where you're, you're existentially at risk? No, n not, not like that. Okay. Defenders of this Okay. For the people. All right, let's come. Is this the same map that we had before? For generations. Very similar. Kislev has endured unspeakable horrors. This is a mere distraction. The queen right. abides. Let's just uh, set this up properly. Defenders on Kislev! Making it so! Excellent! Gossards! Indeed! Had to cruise for a while, Adrian Brennan's had his campaign going. Hey, good man! Uh, flawless campaign. Yes. Yes, it was. Absolutely nothing has gone wrong. Um. Uh, you know, it's, um. It's been smooth, smooth sailing. No, it's been an absolute clusterfuck. We're still doing okay, um, but like literally, yeah, not a lot of uh, not a lot of easy breaks so far. Some uh, some bad luck, some just stupid decisions on my part. Probably more the more of the latter. A bit of uh, getting cocky, thinking that. Overestimating, I think, what I th thought I could do with this army. Like, I'm just acting like I've still got my uh, armored Cossars in the army. We're about to be able to hire Zargard from, from Kislev itself, which is going to really help if we had those in this army. I decided to run ahead like an idiot when I didn't need to, but... <laughs> it's fun, right? So fun is... Not much to show for it if you lose your main army. I'm actually really upset I'm probably going to lose these guys. Oh, wait, they're... These guys are like stuff all. Oh, this is nothing. Who cares if we lose these guys? This is nothing. This is fine. We're all good. If that's the case, then it doesn't really matter if you guys die. Oh, fuck. Forgot about them. No, 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 God damn, you guys hurt. So let's draw our horses out like that.
guys should shoot the guy. You want, you want to shoot him? Ah, oh, you guys fucking suck. <laughs> Why are you guys? Are, are, are they on? They're all on fire. Well, you guys are just spanners. Maybe it's the the train. Yeah, there's a bit of a hill there actually. That's a bit on me. Okay. Looks like a good opportunity to... Yeah, let's do it. It's hard of winter. Guys should shoot the Lord, you know? Like he's kinda right there, right? Alright, let's uh, see if we can get this leopard to Those uh, the arches there. Yes. Cool. Hopefully you can uh, hack those guys down. Not going bad at the moment. This is going good. They're all doing well. We're controlling the them the way we want. We might run out of ammo, and that might undo us. But if that happens. It happens. Fuck it. We've got, got to take that risk. Leading us on. Acceptable. It is my path. Very well. Spreading horror. The queen abides. The queen marches. Fuck. Ah, oh, no. Repositioning. Let's, uh... Oh, no. Kattering goes down. Come on, keep shooting, guys. What are you doing? Shoot, you fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Right, let's see how much you guys can take out. Could you guys win? Come on, go Kislev! Ah, they're actually gonna win. We're actually gonna win, this is so funny. Oh, can we, do we have enough ammo? Come on! Go Kislev! them up and away. Oh, 
That's so funny, we won. Lost everyone, but that's fine. Come on. Uh, yeah. Alex uh, Cook, you should send this to Legend of uh, Total War to save your disaster. No, well there we go, we did it. We did it, so that's all good. Um, it's funny, Legend was in here before, actually. Always comes in whenever I'm doing really bad, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm waiting though, I'm waiting for, for uh, to, to have one where you can uh, actually come in and save the day where it's actually doable. Because, uh, yeah. That other one, I don't know, maybe you could have pulled it out. The thing is that with, with Legend though, you got to give them the tools. Right? you got to have uh, like casters and you got to have like the tools so it's not just, it's not Legendary, you can't just match them together. He's got to have something to work with, I don't know. If the, I think that first one he could have done it. I reckon he could have pulled pull that first one off. This could be done without losing all my characters, but we won. We're gonna take the W. Hey Hobbs, how you doing, man? Uh, we're doing okay. We lost all three of our characters there. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's it's all good. We will actually all be good. I'm gonna take. We could heal up. Could get an extra thousand gold, or... Could heal these guys up. Let's heal them up. Fetch my lash! Alright, so who are we going to get to lead this army? At least this guy's got a pretty cool trait. So she's out for four turns. Not a problem. Alright, it happens. Studio Miska, beautiful. Absolute power. As I deserve. So rank four. Let's combine him to there. Him into the Oh, yeah. Nah, no, so we're just gonna lose the high level ones, fuck it. He's left chosen. Because I'm Lord just going to auto resolve this. Just if you make me lose my horses fools. on auto resolve, I'll be pissed. How did I know that would happen? How did I know? Uh. We've come this far and kept these guys alive. I'm not losing them now. Yeah, the commander's died. So what's the challenge objective? Hostile map position? Uh, it's kind of... It's kind of the way this campaign just naturally goes. Kislev are in exceptionally hostile territory. But we've managed to move our way down to the Empire. The problem is, is that the Empire is now a flimsy piece of crap and just falls apart quite quite uh, badly. It's anywhere Karl Franz is not, <laughs> is just going to just fall straight over. So... They've kind of made it like bait. Man, did they, these guys just gave us a full checkerboard off the bat. Look at this. I am so impressed. I'm actually just going to press start battle. Look at that. Holy shit, let's get his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, that went bad for you, mate. Alright. That's okay. Okay, cool. Alright, everyone lives. So now we can pussy back to uh, Kislev. And it's all good. Okay, uh... Do -do 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 -do, uh how we went against Azag. Oh, dude, I kicked Azag's ass. As I, uh, I think we had, including restarts, I think, what, eight, seven or eight defeats against Azak. Technically only seven, but he decided to counter deliberate loss.
to uh, help the dwarfs lose. <laughs> we're testing you out to see if you retreat from battle if an ally automatically loses, and that still works. God knows why, but it does. Okay. Let's take the gold. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to remove this. Wow, that was a fucking disaster. That was like fucking crassus territory. Okay. To be fair, I'm not seeing any chaos armies appearing in our territory. Gold mine, beautiful. We need the 30 Never favor to be able to build that though. This also costs favor to build. I think I'd rather have it here, where we need the control. The old world owes us thanks. Because I'm actually here to defend, this one is is why we'll go there. Okay, we need to build a new Frost Mage because the other one got fucking murdered. And she can boost... Oh, we can do the upkeep reduction. I am more likely to use little Groms. I know that we can cheese the uh, upkeep for that, but we're not going to do it. You're a pretender. A timely arrival. Okay, so the other thing is we could, we could, we could besiege this potentially. Only the most skilled may serve. Increase his movement. With this, my rule is because if he if he sallies out, we could probably still win this on the field. Of the So, excellent. I accept only loyal men. Okay. Shall not be seen. Please let chosen. Okay. What's uh, Clan Mulder's situation? How are they looking strength-wise? They're looking very strong. Feed. Very, very strong. Okay. For Mother Kiesle. Let's just calm down there a bit. Let the gold come in. Upgraded our Kossars a little bit more, which is perfect. We could get this to get four extra melee defense. I don't know how useful that's actually going to be. I think an extra Castle Lord. I know it sounds a bit cliche, but getting extra Castle Lord is going to really help. It's a lot more material than a lot of these other items. So that's the hero version though. So we need the Lord equivalent. All right. With this, Looks good. We stand against chaos. All right, you can hire another. By blood. Boyar of Kisle. So I'm worried if I walk out there, I'm just going to get ambushed. So, Lord of all. we do have risks. Alright. In turn. Alright, get pirate weapons, frost too as well. The first as well. Yeah, yeah, we, we got that. That research was done. So, better late than never, right? All the motherland oh, no. Behind. Oh no. Okay guys, here's something, right? If you don't pay it, she'll probably attack you. If you pay it, she probably won't. This is tribute. And yes, 
They threaten me, so rejecting will result in war, so yes. So, yeah, if anyone ever demands gold from you and you can't afford to fight them, just pay it. Kislev's earliest gem is the unit's uh, uh, early uh, gem units are just too inferior to your uh, rival factions, yeah. Sort of. Not the, the basic units that Kislev have are actually, Kossars are really, really good. The problem is, is that we need shields. We need to, you need to have the, a front line in front of them. They can still tangle pretty well, but the lack of armor piercing really hurts. Really does. Um, let's move. Uh, this guy. Highborn son, my decision is law. I've been looking forward to. He lost his army, or something like that. Which means right to rule. I could no possibly fire. squeak out a win against this. Bow to me. Can we? Force match this up here. We can. Alright, well then, that's what we'll do. Lord of all. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Face my ire. Now, that is a problem. That is a very, very, no. very, very big problem. Blame you, you. Cut them down. I order their death. Yeah. Okay, I've got. I uh, know what I'm gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. I'm going to run this guy. Force march his units up to reinforce. I do not tolerate hesitation. I can't get any regiments around now. Destroy these. So we're gonna run them up. I stand him. for Kislev. Give them all to him. We might as well keep I him on the battlefield to help death. out. Well, we can decisively win. Fuck, but we... Oof, oof, oof. We could... Get hit over the end turn. For Kislev. For Mother Kislev. You know what? Fuck it. If they attack this guy first and it doesn't work, then and their ambush fails, we can reinforce, join the, the battle, and maybe, maybe take them down. Now, with that in mind, I'm feeling the pressure to come up and attack them as well now. Seeking power, I demand absolute loyalty. Only yep. the most Let's skilled get may serve. Four of these. We will choose you to be a your hero. So the heroes who make tempest, the lords will make frost. Sorry, us. Cool. And let's have a look. This should probably send it. Oh. Give it one more gift. And see it's improving now. That should the fact it's improving should be enough to prevent the war. Now greetings. You they're no good. Delta. Uh looking good. Rospodar by blood. Okay. Bow to me. Destroy these fools. Now, could raise another guy here and hire some more troops. I'm a bit concerned about the overspend, but we are in a time of war. We don't have much choice. And we'll probably lose a lot of units over the next turn as well, so there's that to consider too. Need to get walls on that. End turn. Alright, don't auto this. Dan left too early. Yeah, yeah, he left at a good point, eh? The main issue is with the campaign. Um, yeah, I see, I mean, you, you mean comparatively to, to what's around you. Uh, yeah, against... His ambush failed. And I will absolutely auto-resolve that, because it'll probably squash them, because Skaven Slayers... Blows in our ...perform amazingly poor. Leave them to start. Cool. Well, that worked well.
That's a huge, huge blow. If he landed that... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> See, this is the other reason why attacking caravans isn't always the best idea, because... We're starting to rack up a lot of enemies, and that makes us look weak. It makes you more appealing to declare war on. Now, do either of these guys look like they're improving over time? They are improving over time, but... Ostermark completely destroyed. Drika, I think, is a... That's a, a ticking time bomb. Born from the saddle. High ball, son. Okay. I order their death. I will see if I pass my horses <laughs> to this guy. And he. Actually. Instead, we'll go firing drills, so he's better with Cossars. Please just let my fucking horses live. Oh, god damn it. Are you serious? How <laughs> they both died for some fucking reason. Okay. Sorry champions, gotta do it then. At least this is for a big milestone settlement just like Prague. So yeah, we're in a good spot. This is finally uh, coming about. We'll be able to rehire um, Katarin soon enough. Also it'd be worth probably sacking and trying to restore um, Kostalton back to uh, reality and we can then confederate him. Truth be told, we probably won't have time. Like, I mean, there won't be the chance because we'll have demons and shit like that. You shouldn't be auto-resolving this. Yeah, I appreciate that. I definitely agree with you. That's actually so, so true because the little losses we take would definitely add up. Uh, what turn is it now? I actually have no idea. It's got to be like 22 or something. 22 maybe? Okay, this is as good a spot as any. Should not have uh, come here. This is a silly place with towers right there. Not smart. chill right there. Zargard are freaking excellent by the way, anyone that doesn't know, Zargard are amazing. Being able to get them at this early in the game is really, really strong. They're definitely a tier, a tier 3 unit that fight like a tier 4 unit for sure. Look well, at 54 melee defense, just amazing. It's over. It's over, guys. Come on. Okay. 
Well, uh, could have done it like flawlessly, but she'll do, right? That'll do. Okay. Definitely shouldn't be auto resolving. Okay, so we're bouncing back now. Uh, this must be turn like 25, I think. Maybe something like that. So we need to know roughly how far north we want to travel without going too far, right? It's got to be defensible. It's got to have a purpose to it. So, hmm, maybe traveling north isn't the best idea. Same time, we need to curtail Clan Mulder. But someone else might just come up and declare war and just take him down as well. So it's, it's the thing about the demons is they really do put a massive spanner in the works. Has anyone played Clan Mulder in Immortal Empires yet? There we go. Suck My fun. lands extend further. Yeah. Raise it. <laughs> okay, turn Boy, twenty-five. Yeah. There we are. We can get stall. For some money, I think we'll need that. And we'll get the resource. Actually, we get get the growth. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Okay, so this guy, give your horse to him. You can go home, they're both level 4, excellent. Get some better archer fire. A fight. symbol of my unparalleled authority. For Mother Back Kizu. here we'll get the recruitment, local capacity plus 2. Boyar of Kiesland. Lord of the Provinces. Okay, so let's have a look at this this map here. What do we actually need to take? So we've got Erengrad. Erengrad, of course, is tempting, but it is also getting us into contact with a lot of shit. So, I mean, it does somewhat make sense to try to push forward and take up to uh, Troll County. As for these three settlements here, I'm going to raise them, I think, at this point, just because of just the challenge of trying to hold up here. I mean, we do have the mountain pass here, which can work to our advantage, but I fear being overextended. Though these are choke points here, so that's not to say it couldn't work. Man, 11. 11 holdings already. It's doing good. Okay, we'll actually keep this guy here. And we'll move you up to about... It's all 50% ambush, so we'll just start to say... Right here. Oh, fuck. Prepare for shock assault. I think we could probably win that anyway. No, Gracie, Maybe a bit close. See, I've just got concerns, right? If I worried I can't quite pull this off and I'll lose this mage. Already lost a mage. Don't really want to lose another. Thing is, she's a Tempest mage, so is she actually helping that much? Scheme is discordant. Think the side again. I'm thinking I'll actually take her out. They destroy this army, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I shouldn't just be throwing armies away, but that being said, the mage is the most valuable component there, and it would still basically curtail two of their armies. It'll, it'll basically destroy their armies and free us up to be able to finish these guys off. 
Uh, you need the points fighting chaos, so maybe milk them a bit. Yeah, true. Boyar of Kiesland. Okay. I'm going to. Stupid, stupid. Let's take a look at these runes. Well. Okay, so there's nothing there at least. If there was another army there, we Boyar. would have been in trouble, so. Good knowledge, well used. Oh, I do not trust you as far as I can throw you. Still research. I might actually get the assassinate ability. Uh, we can hire a uh, ice switch now too. So Rosh Bodar by blood. I will actually trade him out for her. This befits my station. And how many slots do we actually have? How many ice switches do we do we have currently? We've got actually the old world owes us thanks. I do want to run our uh, economy down too low. Yeah, I think uh, I, I like to have one of each in my armies. I think they they both have their uses. Um, Ice sheet can be really really handy, and also heart of winter can be that clutch battle. I never even saw this asshole coming. Fuck. Ouch. Thing is, if we if, if we ruin his army here, you're gonna have for a beer. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Look forward to your guide. Thanks, mate. Uh, really appreciate the company. I'm due for a beer now too, to be honest. <laughs> you guys have yourselves a good one and uh, appreciate your company. Azag is quite a badass. Okay. Thanks for the support, mate. Appreciate it. only has one tower, we need to find one which has two towers. This is kind of my recipe for siege defense, is find a place, a choke point with two towers. This will do nicely. And we just gotta hold it off. It's kind of that simple. The problem is that this has three entry points, but I don't think we're gonna find anything better than that. Uh, where is this? That's got two towers? Is that even a tower over there? Or we could go over here, which has one point. That's got a lot of points. Yeah, I think this looks good. Yeah, this is the one I like. Alright, so we'll pull him back. Up. Up. Uh, the spear guys are going to be a bit better at holding, so we'll throw them here. 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 Alright. Okay, we'll use this guy, these guys to harass. Come on. Go. Cool. 
Okay, cool. Oh shit. Need to build the uh, the towers. Go down. Uh, let's go. That. choke off the, the entrance well enough. We are going to certainly pay for this, lads. Down he goes. Down he goes. That's one down. Fucking 20 more to go. Come on. Come on, guys. Hold it together. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on. If we can charge these guys in the rear. Stop them from getting to these guys. It's a race. If we can stop this interception. Oh, bang. There we go. Alright. First tower is up. This is great, obviously. a bit more we sit up to get to 14 we get ourselves a second tower and we can hold out a bit more you'd be amazed what we can actually do with just a couple towers Radogas. Come on, just break. Oh shit. No more frats. Alright, I think we might be done. We're not going to get our second tower down, unfortunately. It was a bit slow getting the first tower up, and that's certainly cost us here. Actually, we're down here, guys. Ouch. I do This He must have moved up in ambush stance. That's the only thing I can think of. He just fucking appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> we're certainly expecting to do a bit more damage than we did here. But... You get that? we do yeah it took out yeah decent chunk decent chunk completely wiped a couple of units which is nice uh hey i'm a new uh warhammer player sieges is it worth to destroy their towers with your archers or should you just ignore them really good question thank you for watching as well that really comes down to if you have a ton of ammo and you are guaranteed to win, 
then you can take the time to shoot down towers. Normally, if it's a tight fight, your ammo is very limited and you need to, you don't win by taking out towers, you win by causing the army losses and winning. So if that's the case, be careful with your ammo and make sure you try not to overkill units once they've broken and then shattered. Try to change target, but usually in sieges, just try to aim your archers the right direction and let them shoot at the enemy. Don't target uh, towers. So good question, I've experimented. Almost never ever worth it. All right, he sacked it. He didn't take it. That's cool. He must be short on cash if he did that. So the ambush failed. And his response was... To put that guy back in there. We've really heard his uh, military power, though, which is very nice. No, Gracie, never wrong. Boya. No, you fail, failed. I sweet. Whichever woeful. I could peace out with them. A timely arrival. My warhounds have not eaten in days. Hmm. Could be worth it. Could be worth doing. Just for now. You know what? I'm going to take that. It's a lot of money. I hear you. He's off my land at the moment. We'll, we'll get it later. Right? That, that can come back later. Storm if I was trying to flex and take a lot really quickly, I'd do that. But... We've taken enough risks and they haven't uh, come off our favor this time, so let's... We can win that without losing anything. So, but cheers for watching. Uh, anyone else wants to hop in, say hi, ask any questions, feel free. It's an open floor. There's no such thing as a dumb question. Or if you know something that I don't, I've learned a ton from the chat today. So, appreciate everyone and their... Um, and their uh, contributions, so... Haha, <laughs> seven, seven to two. But we won the war. We won the war, and that's what matters. Alright. Okay, so I reckon we've got another half hour of power here. And then... With that, once we're, I, I want to get us to a point where we look strong, right? <laughs> it's tradition. Legend of Total War comes in, winces in pain at the horrible situation I got myself into. I swear to try and not end up submitting a save file to him to fix, and usually we get out of the bind. Slowly but surely, we uh, we get out of it. Through sheer willpower, we get there. I really don't like this, uh... I don't like the forest here. Not jiving with me. I feel like it's going to just completely fuck our, uh, our archery. Did not think of that first. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll move around this way. Wants to take longer, our winds of magic are increasing. He does, he also has a, a caster lord, so we do have that to be mindful of. Oh,
Okay. Alright, so he's all lined up, ready to go, but we have our Zower Guard, so we finally have some uh, line holders that are going to do a really great job. They've got the armor and uh, the can-do spirit to be able to hold these guys back. Gee, seriously. Okay, come on, guys. Maybe we should have just, uh, <laughs> auto-resolved the amount of magic damage he's doing to us. beat this guy up. Not happening. Cool. Uh, hey! How you doing? Uh, extra thick, it's hard to say, but I uh, usually find it worth it. God damn, I can't believe you read that extra thick. I couldn't actually even read that. That's awesome. <laughs> Low level towers aren't much of a threat. So you, you do you do usually find it worth it, Hawkeye. A high level tower is much more of a threat and much more worth taking, taking down. But if you're more steadily focused on taking capture points, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, escape and warp, uh, warp lining is a huge pain in the ass. Yeah, how you doing, Hawkeye? We have had a... You know what, it hasn't... We've had our asses kicked, but it hasn't been a total ball like. It has not been a ball like of a campaign. It's been t fucking tough and we've been beaten over the head a few times, but not really a ball egg. Maybe a couple of achy ball moments, but they weren't probably the should have just sort of resolved that. Ah, well. Well, now you are in trouble, Clan Mulder, because we've just pieced out with these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Frost Weaver. Okay. Never this is the Chaos Army. Alright, so. My rule is cemented. I accept only loyal men. Surat's one! I'll pass these guys to here. That'll be able to defend. Okay. So this army is populated simply because... Okay, that's going negative again. God, why? Why do you hate me so much, man? Oh, he's so coming for us next. Does he have any enemies? He's got a couple. But he seems to hate us more than the others. Try to repair that. We'll see how it goes. Really can't guarantee if anything's going to work. The ice goes. Roya. Yeah. Power.
Destroy these fools. Okay, so we're going to take this. We need to put our Frost Maiden back in. Them apart. Gifts of winter. Let's say. Can we run our Cut second army up here? Lord of all. Can't reach. That's a shame. Arrange an ambush. Okay. Either way, it's forty percent. Storm summoner. Kislev's chosen. Okay, we'll send this guy back here. He can start recruiting units next turn. Overextending the military a bit. These guys are expensive, but if they decide to hit that again, it will hurt a bit less. If nothing else. I need to build some more uh, Patriarchs. I can't get it till I get to level 2. One of these. And I'm just going to have to suck that up. We're going to be getting these, uh, these guys hitting us up. Okay, the hero will get that one. And as for our lord, we could get another witch lord. Can't afford. Too risky to get right now. What? Child of the Nun. In the name of the Dragon Emperor, I bid you welcome. Take the trade. Agreed. I hunt. I've uh, attacked enough caravans this game. So I gotta come back to bite us. Thousand gold for X two hundred. Don't have the money for it yet. A symbol of my unparalleled authority. Okay. Actually, we'll get the passive. We start off burning spells anyway. Only I may wield it. All right, uh, building upgrade. It's fine. And enter. All right, uh, twenty-six turns and nine hours. It's got to be some kind of record. <laughs> uh, if you have some cheap flying units like uh, Chaos Furies or Felbats, they can easily bash them down. That's not a good idea, actually. Hey, Quaden, how you doing? Quaden, sorry, Quaden. Q Q Q Eden. I suck with names. I really do. Okay. Lord of the provinces. Your mother Kislev. Zuhat's born. I order their death. Okay. Will of the blizzard. So, how many more settlements there? They should have five total. They fucked up six now. Shit. Okay. Impossible. That's not a capital, which is good. Uh, I don't think. That goes up to tier three, tier four, does it? Does it go up to tier four? Stupid. It is my duty. At least we take out his capital. That'll make things easier. Maybe it's spreading us out a bit too far. That's ah oh fuck. He took that. That's where he is. Governor of Kislev's land. A tool fit for a lord. Thunder, fuck. It's fine. Sister of ice. Could even just go and raise the hell pit if we don't want to hold it. Frost weaver. We cannot hesitate. 
The blizzard goes. Right. He just thought I resolved that. Two stacks. Easily done. Now we might need to loot and occupy this. Just to keep the cash coming in. Render them peasants. Now, I believe this can only get to tier 3. It can, so that's a problem. The ice goes. <laughs> now, as for this guy, I or this lady, I should say, uh, how many moot turns would it take us to go from there to there? I wonder if we can actually make our way to help it next turn. This could be a risk. This suffices. But if it works, we're gonna do really well out of this. Oh wait, wait. Movement. It will render me unassailable. Only the most skilled may serve. God would you bow before me. Never yield. Lord of all. We just have to hold this down. So we need to curtail these rats, and then we've basically pieced out this top area here, and then we'll be fine to move south. And it will be alright. Uh, is the hallowed wood? Is that the church building line? No, which one's hallowed wood? Uh... Fuck knows what they're talking about. Oh well. Ah, oh, it'll be a capital one. It'll be uh one of these. Let's see defenses. Nope. God knows what they're talking about. Okay, local uh, recruitment capacity plus one. You. Gotta take that. Even level 1 towers will slowly destroy your unarmored archer line though. It's true, it's true, but I find um, running out of ammo is just really, really bad. Three turns gives an extra 200 per turn. I feel like that's maybe not the one to upgrade right now. So, if we hire, next turn we'll be okay, so... And she can increase reduce corruption. High born son. Cool. Power is my craft. Let's go, it wins. A tool master. Fit for a law. Cool. Alright. Get in there. Get in there. Indeed, so we have Draka from the south, and she could make her way north and attack us, but it all depends. The big news soon Hiles, Dark Elves, Wood Elves, and Kislev. Yeah, there is a pretty big difference. Also, oh, bring better melee units so you won't run out of ammo. That's true, that's true. Well, the thing is, though, Corsars aren't bad in Belay. The thing is, they still made a really good point. Um, who was it? It was... I think it was Alex. Alex said, um... That the enemies that we start off fighting are just really good at what they do. Uh, in Malay as well, like, you know, Greenskins. The snow oh, how did I know that would happen? God damn it. Storm summon up! To the blizzard, Frost Weaver, sister of ice. Hoar Frost, guide me. Okay, so you do that. This is my right. Ah. What? I will. The ice 
goals. Overcome your exhaustion. That's what we'll do. We'll start here, and hopefully next turn she can go from here to there in a single turn. Well, that's that's the goal. Apart. Yep. Face so my it's... Fire. And the Lord can be a nice witch. Alright, so we've got a bit of an issue with costs right now. Wow, before this is my right. If we could afford some patriarchs, that'd be amazing, but we can't. Never yield. I think we're going to have to disband a Zargard, and that seems so counterproductive. Lord of because the we problem. need them so badly. I stand for Kisle. Destroy these fools. For Kisle. Get rid of one of them. Okay, we need to save on a little bit more military. What else can we save Lord on? He's that guy's stopping anyone from coming Keep into our kingdom, so we need him. That we can't compromise on. Cut them down. If the what if we asks, fully repair one of you? Winter get rid of another. Is our calling. I order their death. I will suffer no waste. There we are. Governor of Just Israel barely, but time. enough. All right. You like playing dwarfs, but the fact they're so slow, you really got to get your get your ass handed to you sometimes. Yeah, definitely. If you you, if your formation kind of comes apart, it can be really hard to correct it. Cause shall benefit the world. What's up, man? You want military access? You can certainly have it, and you can absolutely pay for it. That's worth at least 235. Bang. Thing is, this army here, I know I can defeat with this uh, basic Kislev defense here. Alright, please let me order resolve this. I don't want to have to fight it. Nice. We are Kislev! Pardon them, we don't want to do that. Let's get some devotion. Let's get back up to that devotion. Oh, at least these uh, supported milestones are still worth getting. I mean, at least we're getting some uh, global bird benefit, uh, bonus bonuses, not Face benefits. Courage flows in our vein. I never tire. Might have a revolt, but we need the money. It's kind of a bit of a blitzy conquest Bride we need to. The ice. God damn it, I knew that would work. Wouldn't work. Uh move up to say here. The ice spreads. Clock yourselves Sense. immediately. Let's go. Death fog it just in case. My ice mastery. Well this gets us back in the green and we can even reduce this more with some quartermaster action. She can get uh, Blizzard. And down here, nothing's really bothering him, so that's good. Uh, we can... May as well upgrade the capital. I know it's tempting to upgrade this side one here, but at least we upgrade the capital. You know what I mean? That if, if we, we might lose those. We're not going to lose the capital. At least this can be our main sort of uh, protected point here, because like I said, this shrub is going to... It's it's gonna go nasty on us any moment now. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, we'll make her a caster, of course, being a witch. We can get a new adamant, nice. Uh, let's put it in Prague.
Let's get growth. I genuinely think with this now, we could actually Make hold them off. Those line holders, plus the towers, is... It's money right there. He must be hurting pretty bad now. Yep. He's got two more two more stacks left. So how many... How many settlements? he got four left. So what's he got? He's got one, two, and you have to say three and four. So, Erengrad is in sight now. I'd say he probably... Well, I would have said he raised that, but maybe not. It's like quite quite likely took it. It's going to get get us some heat take here, but... I'd say it's probably fine. This was never okay. Okay, what are we going to do for... Reduce corruption, I'd say, is probably the best thing we do, or we can increase control. Let's try to crush that corruption nice and quick. And we'll change it over next turn. Hey, how you doing? Daddy Elvin's been uh, since nine hours, absolute madman. Yeah, man. It's doing good. Uh, Piano, math, and science. Went to bed, he's playing. Get up, he's still playing. Constance, love him. Yeah, cheers, man. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Appreciate everyone. I've had like a constant near 30 people to stream. It's been really, really good. So appreciate you all for jumping in, jumping out. Uh, it's gone from disaster. Legend of Total War had another laugh at my expense. And I am now want to get this to a point where I'm still going to have my pride. <laughs> uh, I'd say here... I don't want to take them. Oh, that is a lot of money. Maybe I do want to take their money. They look like they're dead next turn anyway, so you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> just getting through the day. I get you, man. I get you. I am the storm. All right. Make them tremble. Weaver of the Frosts. And you're gonna make me besiege it, aren't you? Yep. That's okay. Feel my power. Highborn son. Kislev's chosen. The plan scheme is discordant. Ah, they hate them because they peaced out with us. How do you like that? Your life is so trivial. Hey, Zazel. I could fucking kill you. I'm so tempted to wipe you out. Damnation. You are not looking strong at all, mate. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. I'm gonna have to load that. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. This is exciting. We're gonna wipe out Clan Mulder, Azazel. Like, that's two of the biggest northern threats. This is come and turned right around. We ground we grinded and grinded or ground and ground, whatever. I like this this outfit here, by the way. The masked uh, Cossar with the lance. That's such an awesome outfitting. Oh, this guy. Eh? Cheeky swig of vodka. Okay. Oh, yeah. Baron of the Motherland. 
Okay. My decision is law. No higher. I still got five settlements, you absolute fucking crazy, crazy rat. Okay. Hack them apart. Oh, he ran. Ah, oh, he's out of range, you asshole. A boyar for life. Hearts of ice. I'm gonna sack it this turn. Bow to me. Gospodar by blood. Is this our territory? No, we can't get up get past it. No, need my warp token stash. The relationship is degrading. It is degrading. Lord of all. Fool, fool brings. If you guys were smart, you'd actually ally with me at yeah. this point. Right we have both got to way bigger threats to deal with. You're stuffing around, fighting me. With this, my rule is absolute. Yeah. Highborn son. Rise wisdom from them. Sneaky level and a bit of a boost in technology, not a problem. Peace lives chosen. We'll get that next turn. Eradicate them. And finally. Oh shit, hey dude. What are you doing up here? Well. It's about time that uh, Zarina Katarin dropped oh, yeah. back on the scene. I think it is. Showtime, bitches. Yep, that's the only thing that's going to possibly hurt. So, if you guys want it, come and get it. And I know I'm running the budget a bit tight, but one there and the other one over here. And fuck it, you know what? We need them all. We need them all on the field. Oh, I've got another frost maiden. Hell yes. Maiden of the Frost. Okay. So we're gonna have to cancel. What did we build last time? We will not be able to afford that this turn. That's fine. Uh, infantry, cool. That's fine. He's basically just to hold, hang out there. You must have, I think, Clan Mulder are right there. Like, sorry, uh, I think he's himself is right there. And that's why we're not moving this guy. Cool. Alright. You got the day off today. Nice, man. Had a 10 hour shift uh, this week, and so you got the extra day off. Well done, man. Good work. So, 40 hours and 40 days. That is efficient, my friend. Good stuff. Kind of like me. I do all my. I do my two weeks of streaming in one day. <laughs> I was originally going to burn down uh, the, the hell pit, but I think I'm going to take it now. My rule, my decision. 50% to assassinate. Oh, that's tempting. I shall. Okay, so here's the thing, right? We could break this siege. Boyar of Kisle. 
Frost Maiden. Yes. Okay. Cut them down. Gifts of winter. Let's do that. We're gonna brace the ground. Wow, you really couldn't Tomorrow. fucking wander further into enemy territory, could you? Baron of the motherland. I grow weary. Never yield. Okay. Frozen glory. Does she have the uh she so she's got an assassin buff there. If I buff this by I can only get I get another eight percent. And go. What's that turn into? Sixty percent, I like that. Those odds are much nicer. They will cool, feel one down. Defy chaos. Priest of the great orthodoxy. Oh, chance that he could get wounded back. The non oh, nice. And we wounded their character. That's awesome. Don't cross lines. That's cool. That's cool. I have great. I still, I think we can win that. So that's cool. We removed the heroes, which was the real, the real threat we had. Now this will hurt. I'm gonna auto resolve this because ah, oh, well there we go. Easily done. Now we could sack it, but I think that might be a mistake. It is Kislev's now. It's already going to be a bit of a basket case to keep uh, orderly, switch. so we're not going to do that. Okay. Lord of all. Okay, so this guy's trait was. We had one guy with a trait that didn't do a lot. Fleet footed, so we don't really need that. The other guy was a bit more useful in the battlefield, so we'll keep him near this guy, but we won't put him in the army because he'll inflate the upkeep. And we really can't afford much right now. None shall question me. Next turn she should be able to force march and bail them out. So we're looking good finally. Finally, looking good. Uh, we can't afford that. Kislev is land. Land is Kislev. Okay. Line of sights, little grom movement. Uh, or we could get. Channel more winds of magic. That sounds kind of fun. Although we don't really run out of winds of magic, to be fair. Travel resources, five percent. It's not really worth it. That's kind of cool. Buffing Zargard. I can get behind that. Resource buildings. Boost the Empire diplomacy, but the Empire already kind of like us, so I think we're okay. Uh, Alright. The great orthodoxy provides. We'll just get that. Now, this guy. He'll be fine. She'll be fine. She can increase. Ice it will render me unassailable. And that's looking about right. Wow, before me. Oh wait, oh, oh, we have a, a brand new edict Winter we can drop on this and we'll choose. I think you're actually choosing control. Yeah, we'll go control. Ask court requires attention. We need better bows. 
Got a rebellion coming. It's alright. We're already under siege. Sweet. Man, just a few more turns and I think we're going to be in a pretty good spot. I wouldn't even mind just charging in and just sniping out his Azel just for the bragging rights, I guess. You know, just to show that we had some control at the end of this. Now the next most important thing would be is trying to make sure we tech up and get ourselves some more bears. Don't go too crazy, just maybe four in each army, but that will be what really holds this all together. Like two, between two and four Zargard, two and four war bears, you can still get away with basic Kossars as the backbone of your army. So that pussied out, they, they retreated. Bride of the Ice. Okay. Sister of Ice. Seeking okay. intrigues. The Orthodox replenish. Put these guys in the Caterin and provide. she can basically just win this for us. Kislev yep. never falters. It's like he never left us, Catherine. The Tsarina is merciful. Will now, I'd rather reason. keep the witch on the map the right to rule. than this guy. Your life is. She has a lot more oomph. Oh, oh, how weak is he? How weak is he? Actually? Your life is. He's probably got some more armies around, but. Man, if we could just take that capital. No higher authority. God damn, it's tempting just to go on a tear and just burn all this shit to the ground, but... I don't think it's really worth it, just yet. I kind of want to keep my head down and not really attract the eye... ...of them just yet. Highborn. I reject any who crave power. Keeper of ice magic. Overcome your exhaustion. The Tsarina. Malfunction. Bad plan scheme. Hmm. Could she win oh. that? Could her and her heroes win that? Not skies will. They will fall. Ah. Uh, surely they could win that. Let's win that. That sounds fun. I should have uh, given them their upgrades, but I should have put some equipment on them and uh, done the upgrades. But we can win this. I have faith in you, Katarin. Welcome to the stream, anyone else? It has been an absolute roller coaster. Finishing on a high, which is good. Now, how are we gonna handle this? We need to break them up into like you know, sort of three small pieces. You guys want to chill out while uh, I've win some magic increase, that's fine. Hey Dan, you still there man, good to see you. Come on. It's good I can waste their menace blows.
Hey, we got uh, got the whole Discord in here. Uh, anyone else that uh, is uh, at all keen at all, Discord is completely free. Uh, if you would like to support, we've got Patreon, but the Discord is completely free. We've got a competition starting, I think, tomorrow, actually. Uh, the parameters I need to work out, but yeah, we'll be doing a... Might as well announce it now, we're going to do a campaign competition where we basically will let you send save files into us. Uh, they'll be just basically probably how you're doing at the end of, say, turn 20 or something close to, and um, we'll start them easy, but eventually we'll try to build these into larger scale challenges. And uh, yeah, we'll, once a month we'll do a, a stream on a Sunday where anyone can now hop in, anyone who's submitted their uh, video can hop on stream and explain what they've done, and yeah, uh, the idea is that we can all sort of see how we all play a bit differently, and um, what worked, what doesn't work, and yeah, my, it's uh, just in the early stages at the moment, but it sounds like something that could be quite fun, so, well, so completely free to join, if it sounds like a thing, please, come join us. Come on. Very well. Nice. Very well That's done. what we're talking about. It is so. The cross has mine. It is my path. <laughs> Just chilling. We're supposed to be working. Playing Melvin. Yeah. The queen yeah, it's all my fault. Actually, really impressed with how this lumbering bear is actually dodging these shots. Like, not what they're known for. I am the blizzard. It is so. Repositioning. I did not think this would go so well. I'll be uh, looking to probably finish off in about 15 guys, so where our goal is, we're going to try and wipe off Azazel and uh, basically leave this guy crippled for dead, so if we can do that, I am more than happy with how we are going to finish up here, so I am pretty fucking happy, actually, we were was looking really dicey there for a while. Oh no, oh it's gonna miss. Shit, what a terrible shot. I am the blizzard. Let's give that a go. Repositioning. Oh shit. Alright. Uh, should we try this? Should we try hard of winter ourselves? It's not that desperate yet. That's 14 wins. That's maybe a bit much. Hopefully this demoralizes them off the field. And they should break with that, I'd say. Right, 
Okay, chase him down. There we go, we did it. That wasn't hard, by the way. There was that. I uh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing truly amazing about that, but I'm still happy that she basically did it all by herself. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks to everyone else that's uh, still jumped into the stream, and hope everyone has had a good day, night, all that good stuff. Find Doom extremely arousing. Well, Azazel, your own is pretty much around the corner. And if we take him out, there's only really like basic Norskan tribes around there, so that kind of takes most of the pressure from the north by not ever letting him get started. After that, it's just Wintertooth, really. They are no threat. Ah, oh, damn it. Sarina Catherine of Kisner. Ice Ripped witch. off. Ripped off. No, blame you, you. Oya. I'm too uh, smart, clever for that. Too smart, clever. God, they're so funny, aren't they? Okay. You can upgrade those Cossars one more time. Chaos at bay. Oops. Upgrade Prague. Absolute necessity. I am the storm. You are like a figure. It's the thing, he's actually at war with uh Wintertooth. But I think he probably ra you know what? Wintertooth's probably taking his stuff. That's poss possibly what's happened there. So Oh yeah. It is my duty. This is his last stack, though. If he loses this, he is just screwed. Patriarch of Kisle. So I actually feel safe sending ice. this army up this way Douse the home to put fires. that down. It aids my ice mastery. Oh, we can get another one. Cool. Uh, let's take the one up. Oh wait, I didn't mean to take you out of there. This is to level you up, uh, footman. Accept suffering. Assign skills. We can get Saliax lullaby. Easy. Hellstorm. And it would be nice to get a couple hundred extra gold, but we just don't have that availability right now. Okay, and how many settlements does he have left? He's probably got, what, three left? Come on. Three, exactly. Good. So we've got one, two, and what's the third? Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Nice, and I think I would actually rather flatten all of his units in a single order resolve. Oh damn, that hurts to be you. Boy, does it hurt to be you. Fetch my lash. Well, there we go. That is officially the momentum back in Abercourt. And we can go up and snag Erengrad. What a recovery. Your blood will freeze. You want peace? 
Hell yes. I also would like peace. And all of the gold. Yeah. Position. Don't you seriously? Oh, dude, what a dick. That's all right. At least it's at Prague, right? Thing is about the thing about it being at Prague is that. Yeah, okay, so it's happened here. So we can quite easily raise an army. Should we? We'll even send Katarin over there to take care of that. The Orthodox sees all. Governor of Kislev's land. Okay, so we'll just encircle. Them apart. Okay, so the reason being is we first want to see. Hmm. There's nothing really to gain by taking that, so I might even gift it to them to. Okay. Endless we'll see. Replenish. Live and die for Kislev. Let's just be sure. Actually, we can see what they have. They've got nothing left. They threw everything they had into that one attack, and it didn't go their way. Sorry, guys, but... Yeah, yep, that's a bit rough. Okay, and we'll get... Reduced attrition. No other may wield it. The motherland never falters. Or taxpayers. Excellent. I cool. stand for Kislev. A symbol we'll, of uh, my unparalleled another authority. Few Corsars. Head up to Erengrad next turn. Mistress now, we can send us. Katarin back Never to Prague, fall. and that's exactly what we're going to do. This She'll be able to hold that quite safely. We'll have some public order issues here, so... We'll knock that down in favour for something that can help us Sister a bit more suitably. No higher authority. Okay, we can only get to forty percent there. What's his the power look like? The snow. Baron of the okay, we'll go ambush stance. It's gonna take us an extra Over turn to pull die. this off, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Um, now is chaos. Seek out Kislev's foes. Okay, so this should be okay. Uh, hopefully, if we lure him out with this ambush. Storm summoner. Distraction for all. Winter is our goal. If it holds, that's if the ambush holds, but it might not, but that's okay. Okay. Build those walls up. And we can finally get that gold mine. Can't afford it. That's okay. Let's double check our diplomacy. This night be what? Ostland. Oh, you know what? I will take you Sigma's will for that peace. because I'm going to destroy your enemies for you. By the comet. Cool. All right. So next turn, we can hopefully curtail Azazel. I would love Azazel to go out and try to take out a witch, get caught in the ambush, and then we can just march in and just take his uh, his holding. Um. How easy it is to hold? Uh, not quite sure. Are elves still in the favourite race? Um, definitely high elves are still my favourite race. High elves and dark elves are still the top of the, the heap, but uh, Kislev are actually really up there. There's... They're... Yeah. Honestly, every time I make a guide in a race, I have to dig, di deep dive so much into it. And when I make a guide, I try to dive into what makes it special. So, like, I try to think, what would make me want to play it? Like, I try to sell the explanation in a way that's really cool, that makes you want to go, yeah, this is, there's something good about this. So, by trying to find the positives, 
it makes you really positive and sympathetic to the race. You don't even start to dig it. Like, I was not that interested in covering Wood Elves. I'd played them before, but yeah, I was right. like, well, the namesake of the channel means I gotta do it, so... Like, I didn't mind playing them, but having to get to the depth and level of play to do those guides... Wasn't that big on the idea. You remind me. Now my question to you, Azazel, is... Wait, who are you your against? country freeze, Kislevite? Lord of all. There are those who destroy these folks. Power. Hey, Drog, please don't fucking kill me. This could go the disastrous. Goals for the ice court. Don't be a dick, Rob. Don't be a dick. Just... Don't be a dick. It's not that hard, man. Oh, he could be a dick. He could be a right dick. Weaver of the Frosts. You know what? Fuck. Cut them down. Oh, if it happens, it happens. But we can curtail both no, of these guys. Never yield. Aaron grab. Come on, let's take this. Sweet. Cut them. Interference will cost you dearly. Well, here we are. So next turn will be turn thirty-five. Right, so let's see at the end, let's see, here we are, let's do a recap at the end of the stream, because if we keep going on, I'm going to end up uh, going past what I said I would, told my missus I'd finish around now, so this is uh, where we've ended up, okay, so we these guys did declare war on us, but we have Prague right there, that is going to be able to push away anything else, and we have Zarina Katarin right there, we've got ourselves Goldmine, and we've got ourselves a dependable ally here, he's doing great, nothing is coming in that way. This side here, we'd love to unite it with the Empire. It could happen eventually. We've got Festus being a pain in the ass here. We will have to help them with that, right? But that's not such a bad thing. We might even have to deal with Draka. It all depends which way this sort of goes, right? But we're on great terms with the Empire. We might need to build a few relief armies here, but we're starting to all these up. It's not going to be a problem. We'll take Erengrad next turn. We can easily take it with that army. It'll get us bordering here, and then we'll be able to actually seal this area up. And I won't move any further in. We're going to take Azazel's fortress here, and that will be the corner here. I don't care if we don't complete the province. Completing provinces is the biggest trap in this game. Who gives a fuck about a single edict if it overextends your empire and introduces you to new enemies? Not important. Not important. We're just going to hold this point here and these seaports here for a bit of extra cash. We've got uh, Castle Alexandrinov, as well as Aaron Grad there. That'll be the third and final of these big uh, ports that we can own. We could even hire another Lord right there to go and finish off uh, Clan Mulder. Clan Mulder's got no military left. Two basically barren provinces, which are there and there. Um, yeah, we did it, guys. We came back. We came back. Legend, if you decide to skip to the end to see how we did... We did it, bro. We did it. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's how you kids live and you grind your teeth and goddamn. Uh, what would I do differently? I started a war when I didn't need to and that was stupid. I should have taken the time to make sure my armored Corsairs stayed alive because not having a front line really, really helped us get beat back by the Orcs. But we're here now. So, uh, where are we? So, you think he's uh, Demon EPA? Pretty sure it's his job description. <laughs> Grog or whatever champ was giving you trouble. Well, Hobbs, everyone else, love you all. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the stream. Uh, we could continue this, but I think we'll probably dive into a new stream next time because this is basically hitting the stabilized points. We, like I said, we've got. We can hold them off uh, from here. We can even take that if we really wanted to, but hold these guys off from these points here until we stabilize this frontier. 
that will just keep on swatting them back because they're at war with them so that's not happening we've only got these two areas here that have any concern now we've got the income to be able to deal with it so yeah that's it that's how you kids left and we made it so thanks so much for supporting us today guys you're a champ uh discord and patreon in the description or at least i think i did and if not you have to do work now. I'm sorry, Dan, but thanks for supporting. You guys are champions. Thank you so much. You've got new shit coming out this week. I'll catch you soon. This is Elven Plot Armor, and I'll see you next time, champions.